You are watching the vodka stream. Boop. What is happening, everybody? All right, let's turn off the name thing first. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> How we doing out there today? It's Saturday and we got a vodka stream happening, of course. So obviously you guys know that uh, I was at the uh, LA premiere of Godzilla Minus One, which I'm going to give a little mini review because I didn't have time to actually shoot a video today uh, to basically just, you know, talk about that. But And then, of course, I wanted to give like a, a, another little review, of course, when it comes to the Marvels. But then, of course, we'll do the Q&A portion of the vodka stream and, uh, you know, for about a half hour or so. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, let it be known and uh, I'll answer them for you. If you have any questions for me, so I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, cheers guys. Cheers to Saturday. It's weird. It's weird because I had to do day work too. And I have a vodka stream. I'm like, my, my brain doesn't know how to like calculate what's happening. Is it Friday? Is it Saturday? What is happening? And then I got to work again tomorrow. My my day job, sadly, is like just it's just one of those. It's not bad, though. I, I can't complain because I have a very flexible schedule to to the point where I can actually work on the weekends because it's just it's all about workflow and all this everything. And sadly, a project didn't come in till late. So basically, I had my weekend already kind of in a way during the week where I didn't really have daytime work. So, so now I'm just kind of making up for it and it's not bad working from home. Anyways, I'm rambling. Cheers. Ah, the good old vodka, the good old vodka. All right. Say hi to everybody right now. Hello. Made it home in time. F oh yeah, that's right. The, uh, the formula one stuff's happening in Vegas right now. Huh? We'll get to see Elisa. Rebel Moon going to take us all the way to the, yeah, there you go. We got a new trailer tomorrow. It's going to be great. What's going on, Jose? Happy Saturday. Man, sounds like some uh, ex-Dodgers might be coming back, huh? Uh, the Giants got an ex-Giants as a, as a coach. Matt Williams just uh, got hired on as the uh, Giants, so that was good. That was good. All right, we got Tet. Good to see you. Good to see you, Tet, Tet. Tet, always great to see you. Ah, Mr. Jason McKenzie, always helping out the pirate ship. Much appreciated. Every little bit goes right back into it. I love it. Cheers. Mm. Jason, you're too kind, sir. Love it, love it, love it. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. What's going on, Mr. Droga? Always good to see ya. All right. What's going on, Lane? Gun is again. Okay. At it again. But hey, at least we know... People want, oh, yeah, that's right. There is that whole thing that he was even talked about again. Who knows if that's going to happen? It probably will. I, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. Dwayne Johnson running for president. It's going to happen. I mean, let's face it. The Dwayne Johnson, like, crazy, you know, ride that he had or it, the, for a bit. Or it's just like, you know, he was just the biggest movie star, biggest everything. It's kind of dwindled a little bit. Let's face it. He's getting older. It's probably, you know, it's probably really difficult to keep his body that much muscle on his body at what, 50, almost 50. I mean, you can't tell me he's not taking stuff, even though, you know, it might not be. It's probably not illegal stuff, but yeah, you know, he's TRTing that shit. Uh, so, but yeah, it probably will happen. It probably will happen. Cortez, good evening, Dave. How about, yep, I'm going to talk about that. And I haven't watched the, the Loki finale. I haven't had time to watch the Loki finale. I'll watch it tomorrow. That's usually when I watch, and I know I've been dying to see it, and I know a lot of people have been, you know, raving about it, but I haven't watched the finale yet. Just have not had time. Like I said, it's just, you know, it came out Thursday, right? Thursday, I was at the Jeff Dunham show. Last night, I'm at the, uh, the premiere of, godzilla and it took me two hours to get out there because it's stupid fucking la it takes forever to get out there so yeah so i just have not had any time have not had any time to watch and i was gonna try to fit it in today but like i said i had to like catch up on daytime work and that and then of course edit some videos that i wanted to get out today Got two videos out, a short and a, uh, a regular video talking about the Josh Hartnett Superman image, which will I'll get the um, when the panel gets in here. I want to see what other people have to say about that. 
So it's already Sunday right there. It's already Sunday. That's right. You're in the future. The future. If Snyder Cult is getting triggered. Oh, yeah. I know. People hate the Superman font now, apparently. I, I don't get that. Why do you hate the Superman font? Especially one they uh, still use in comics. Yeah. It isn't further proof. <laughs> They're there. That's the thing. There's certain people that, again, what I always say, the ones that are like the diehards, they are not Zack Snyder fans. They are not DC fans. They are just DC Snyder fans. That's it. And I get it because that's how like they probably met a lot of friends online and got into these groups and stuff. I understand that. But and then they probably built their whole identity. Some people have built their whole identity on it. So and then they just they're going to hate like everything else. It's got to be DC Snyder. Other than that, it's all garbage to, you know, and it's just like, yeah, I saw like people complaining about the font. It's like it's the Superman font. It's not a big deal. I mean, you see that, you know exactly what that is. What's going on, Phil? Good to see you, buddy. Bennett, what's happening? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Have you seen? No, I, that's another thing I need to watch, too. I, I'm telling you, tomorrow night after football is over and everything is all said and done, I'm going to watch Loki and I'm probably going to watch The Killer because I've been wanting to see that, too. You know, it's just been a crazy movie uh, weekend. Obviously, I was like, I got to get the Marvels out of the way <laughs> and then go into uh, Godzilla, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit here. So, all right. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and start uh, asking them now. Start asking them now. I'm going to go ahead and give uh, some little mini reviews. I'm going to first start off with the Marvels since I saw that one first yesterday. Cheers. <laughs> like, I, I gave a pretty lengthy first reaction review, but when it comes to thinking about the Marvels, I mean, it, it, there's not really much that has changed. There were some things, like, one of the things that I didn't mention when it came to my first reaction was the VFX. The VFX have always been talked. I mean, do they always look bad? No. But... I don't know what it was, but any time that Carol landed, it was all just jerky and weird. I don't know. It was like any time it felt like they they had to do that little transition of like her like floating and then and then her landing. It, it was it would just be weird. And it, it came same with the other two as well. But of course, Miss Marvel doesn't fly, right? Anyways, I thought the Miss Marvel effects were okay. I mean, I thought that was fine and like i said the, the v effects weren't terrible the whole time it's just sometimes yeah they stuck out and for some reason anytime anyways that's that's besides the point yeah like and like i said in my first reaction i mean they turned nick fury into a a, a, a parody of him of himself it was i i was going why did he even need to be in this movie it felt like nick fury they just wanted to put nick fury in there just to put nick fury in there and they probably gave Sam Jackson, probably $37 million just to be in the movie, just to make some, have some lines and what it just, it, he was a parody. And there's like this, there's a bit with a fucking cat, which is stupid. It, and it just, what was that? There was that bit. And then there was like this sing along bit, which I was going, all right. I appreciated the uniqueness of it, but it was just, again, like a big Disney show. And the stakes didn't feel high at all. Like, like when it when it came to the villain again, President Scrooge. I mean, they see essentially was wanting to do what President President Scrooge wanted. I mean, I'm I'm surprised they didn't have uh, Mega Maid trying to suck out air from a planet. Um, suck, suck, suck. But she was very forgetful, and I believe that's that's Tom Hiddleston's girlfriend, fiance, wife. I think they're together, right? The, the actress that played, which is kind of funny because everyone's praising Loki and it's a mixed bag for the Marvels. Uh, I'm sure that it's no big deal, but it is cool that now that the strike is over that Hiddleston and, and Brie Larson and, uh, you know, um, and everybody's able to promote and post videos, make surprise appearances, go on talk shows so they could actually talk. I don't think it's going to save it because it looks like the box office. But yeah, overall, again, it's just, yeah, it's a movie that's, it's a, it's a superhero flick that's definitely not for me. I probably will never, ever see it again. I didn't, I didn't only watched the first one once. So that's just like, just more thoughts about that. And it's just, it, it just didn't know, it, it didn't know what he wanted, what it wanted. I don't think they really knew what they wanted that movie to be. 
I don't know. And then, of course, when it comes to post credit scenes, again, we're going to be talking spoilers. And I'm going to, you know, the post credit scene, we all, if you haven't seen it already, you haven't seen it. I appreciate that they're going for the animated, the, the look of that blue furry creature. But I did like how, how, how Kelsey Grammer did look in the X-Men movies. But this one, of course, the VFX were that rushed and you could tell it wasn't totally polished and everything and it didn't really quite make sense like why is her mom the okay maybe they'll figure that out in another movie anyways there you go there's my little review of that now godzilla 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 am i gonna get canceled for saying it like that i was thinking about that last night if i say it like godzilla but no I, you know, you can't get canceled for saying it like that because that's the iconic way of saying Godzilla. That's the way it was first said, and it's been said since. OK, so no canceling. I get it. I'm, I'm doing like what the Asian voice. Yes. Or, the, you know, it, it's that's 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 the better way to say it. OK, well, you say it in American accents. Dumb. It's whatever. We say it also. Godzilla. No, no. I'm saying it like like they say, it because it's iconic. It's iconic. And yes, guys, I saw. So don't cancel me. I'm already canceled. Anyways, I get canceled all the time. No, but, um, you know, when it comes to Godzilla minus one, you guys can't. If you guys are Godzilla fans, anybody's a Godzilla fan, even if you're just somewhat of a Godzilla fan, you have to watch this movie. This might be the best Godzilla movie. Yeah, I'm not I'm not shitting you. I love Godzilla 2014 Gareth Edwards. I think that's a that's one of my that's that pretty much was my favorite Godzilla movie. This one might it's I it, I I'm 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 sitting there, I have to watch it again just to see like I think it might be my the, the best Godzilla movie made, you know? And I wish I could uh, I should have pulled up uh the IMDb so I could credit, you know, the director uh you know, I I don't know the names and the lead actor. They were both there at the premiere last night answering questions and they were there and it was great. Uh, but the, the the director is also a VFX artist, which was great, which is it helps because as he was making the movie, he was able to like make some 3D renders already and get everything going. So he was like editing while making the movie. So I guess the filming process was flowed very well. But I'm telling you the what is the thing? What is the thing? And, and this is where I like the, the, the American studios, U.S. studios need to take notes. Watch this movie. Take notes, especially when it comes to Godzilla movies or any kind of movie that has to do with like, you know, these big monsters or robots or something like that. Because what always suffers in those movies, the human story, the human story in this movie. Holy shit. Holy shit. It is so good. It is so good the main character when you see him at the beginning he is almost a 180 flip to the very end he is not the same character you he goes through the ringer and i'm not going to give away the story because it is a complex layered story that he goes through and he's just not the same character as he is in the beginning and of course there's other characters in there too and it's just like that that they nailed it absolutely i got choked up I got choked up a couple of times, choked up from the human story. And Godzilla is just, they weren't trying to do anything too crazy because that's what tends to happen, you know, like with uh, some of these movies as well is like, sometimes they just, they're trying to be, oh, let's do this and do that. And then we got to add this, this human story and it's got to be, they, they just, Godzilla is just a menace. There's no other monsters. It's just him. And they didn't try to modern, they didn't try to bring it into present day. Of course, it takes place post-World War II and all that fallout back in the 40s. It's right then, which is, I mean, essentially the director just took those old, the old Godzilla movie and modernized it, but didn't like bring it into the present, if that makes sense. It just obviously modernized with better cinematography and better VFX and everything. I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on this movie. Go watch this movie. It is excellent. Am I, am I, I think it's definitely in my top 10 of this year. That's It's only two hours, too. That's what's so shocking about it. It's like it, there's so much story in there that they fit in two hours. I'm like, God, take notes. Studios in the U.S., take notes. Take notes, man. So I highly recommend Godzilla Minus One. Highly recommend it. Go watch it, guys. Go watch it. But uh, yeah, the premiere was great. Uh, it was kind of uh, crazy because I don't I don't really get starstruck. 
and I was in the front row, which is kind of interesting. I, we got the tickets that I got. I got hooked up. Thank you, Rob. Uh, hooked me up with the, uh, the, uh, the, the ticket. But I was like right in the front row. And of course, me and uh, me and my friend were we we're like, oh, God, we're going to be in the front row. We're like, we're in row A. But luckily at this theater, you know, it's known for doing this kind of stuff. So there's like a stage. So there's like a stage which had built in built in speakers, built in speakers, which is great. So there's a stage and then the screen. So it wasn't that bad. So and it was kind of cool because you have plenty of like leg room. So I actually was OK with it. I was like, all right, plenty of leg room. But the speakers were built in the steps that I tell you what, the movie was loud as shit. I mean, I felt it in my goddamn taint. Felt it in my freaking, I felt it in my lungs. I felt it in my throat, like the rumbles, man, because it gets loud. That movie gets loud. But yeah, there was like other directors there. I was like, I think I know who that is. There's like people where you go, eh, it's, that person looks familiar. Uh, I did see Seth Green. I walked, I looked, me and Seth Green looked at each other and I kind of went like that. And then he just kind of went and then just looked away. And I was like, Seth Green. I just saw Seth Green. We were like literally like not that far apart. I just I, I shouldn't say I look straight. He's a little dude. I mean, he's, he's a small guy. Uh, saw Seth Green. And then when I was going to the bathroom, I walked past Dave Filoni, you know, the Star Wars guy walked right past him. And I remember just going, I think that was Dave Filoni. All right. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, all right, there's like people here that, you know, might have seen. So pretty interesting. Never been to a, a premiere. Never been to a premiere. So hopefully maybe. Uh, this can be something where maybe I can go to more. We'll see what happens. But anyway, so I've been rambling. I've been rambling. Okay, so go ahead. We'll get to, uh, let's talk about some uh, questions here. Dave, you're not ready for the Loki finale. Hoped, hey, I've seen some things, but I, I'm, I, 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 I've been pretty good at avoiding, avoiding spoilers. So I think I'll be, I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. So, uh, and then uh, let's see what else we got. Into retro Superman. Let's see where are we at. I heard a rumor that James Gunn is going to play Superman. Yeah, you never know. What was the biggest issue with the Marvels for you? My biggest issue was the the fact that they were just that it, it felt so shredded, and we knew this because hour and forty four minutes. There's no way. There's no way if you have three leads that you could fit it all in there. So my biggest issue was. You could tell that they really condensed it and removed some some things like right at the beginning, right in the beginning. You could tell that they did stuff. And then and then, of course, I think my second gripe was they just made Nick Fury like a fucking parody of himself. It just ugh. Oh, by the way, Dave, I binged Loki. Yeah, he's the best character. So uh, by far. Yeah, now, man, the show is just so freaking good, man. Have you watched any uh, previous Godzilla movies? How would you rank minus one? Like I said, yeah, like it, it's it's. It's top three. It's top three. My it, it's I, I, I again, I love the Garrett Edwards one. But the, the fact of the matter is, as much as I love that version and that that the, the, the final act is just insane. And that's why I'm like, mm, that skydiving sequence is just so freaking good. Um, but again, nobody was as soon as Brian Cranston's character died in that movie. Nobody was giving a shit about Aaron Taylor Johnson. Nobody was. So that like fell flat when it came to the human story. But I tell you, like when it comes to, um, but when it comes to like a Godzilla or a Kaiju movie, this is up. This is, this is top. This is top notch. This is top tier. Do not sleep on this movie. Okay. I mean, obviously there's going to be subtitles and everything, but like, again, they just, I, I, the story, the human story is just so, and Godzilla is not, I mean, I mean, obviously, he's like a Jaws like creature where it's like, you know, he's not in every scene, obviously. So the human story needs to be at the forefront. And it's so it's such a good story. And then once like Godzilla shows up, he's scary. He's so scary. He's <laughs> dude ain't fucking around. Dude ain't fucking around. Dude ain't fucking around. <sighs> What's up, RJ? Did you like the Disney sparkle effects? With the uh, dress transformation, <laughs> are you talking about with like Cinderella or whatever the heck? Just... Are, if you're if you're talking about something that happened in Loki, oh, are you talking about in the Marvels? Did they do that in the Marvels? Oh, they did. <laughs> that's right. When they got to the whole sing along thing, right? And she was like, "Oh, that's ah, oh. <laughs> good God, oh boy, yeah, that's right, oh boy." 
Yeah. Okay, so it was it was Tom's wife. I wasn't sure if they were married or not. I was enjoying the movie until the musical planet. Then the uh, movie started falling apart. Yeah, the musical planet part. Oof. Villain and story, bad. Yeah, I know the villain. He's just like whatever. I'm gonna use the. <laughs> All right. Was there anything in the Marvels that made you think of Candyman director? Uh... Oh no, not really. <laughs> it did. It was like it was nothing like Candyman. I didn't see the new one though. I, I only saw clips. I didn't see the new one, but. As far as I I could tell when it comes to that, did not see anything. I'm curious if there's anything in the film. Uh, I couldn't like really tell you. So Miss Marvel is the best part. Absolutely. The chemistry between the three leads say, yeah, they had they had they had good chemistry. Um, they did they definitely had good chemistry, and that was the sh some of the shining parts of that. Ugh, I think Marvel needs to abandon its comedy tactic. It doesn't really need a I mean the you know, certain comedy. I mean, the thing is, though, I mean, it's not it's not going to be for everyone. There's got to be a good balance for sure, because like I like I said in my first reaction, the uh, the pe there's like people like over here, like a big group of people. They were enjoying the shit out of it. They were laughing. They were cheering. They clapped at the end. So, yeah. And and I'm not going to say like, no, you're wrong. That was hor horrible. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not that kind of person when it comes to movies. You enjoy a movie, you enjoy the movie, you know, so. Yeah, let's see what else we got. I know cultural. Yeah, that's how you say it. That, like I said, I was thinking about that last night. I'm like, uh, somebody would probably get upset if you say Godzilla, you know, but that's the iconic way of saying it. You're not mocking the Japanese people. You're not doing you're not mocking their voices. They say it the way and that's all over the that they say it all throughout the movie. Godzilla. And not to mention one thing I forgot to mention uh, in my initial review, the score, dun, dun, dun. you know, the, the Godzilla score that's in there. It's so good. Ah, it was so good. She's adorable as hell. She's adorable as hell. What's going on? Cy cyber size Cy Siles. <laughs> Let's see. Naval, hey, what are we talking about? Just came. Well, we're just talking about all kinds of stuff. So Godzilla fans are eating. Yeah, totally, man. Any, if you're a Godzilla fan, you're going to love this movie. Love it. I wasn't sure. I was like, I saw the trailers. I'm like, trailers look good, but who knows? But man, I tell you what, and it, it's just, man, the way, again, I can't talk enough about the human story. And every character in the human story is great. And the way that they come together is great. It's just so good. I'm like, goddamn studios, you need to take notes. What's going on, Mama Film Junkie? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Yep, trailer's coming out tomorrow for Rebel Moon. I don't think Godzilla Minus One is even playing. In a yeah, it might be limited release because it is, you know, it's a foreign film. So. Uh, Koi do a good show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was. Yeah, he did a great job. I mean, he's got that energy. Uh, I don't think he remembers me. <laughs> that was like right there in front. I was in the picture too. I know you spotted that, RJ, uh, on Twitter. I was like, yeah, he did the selfie, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> you know, I'm right there. But uh, no, yeah, he did a great job. He's 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 his st the way that he carries himself is totally for something like that. And the Q and A for that's not easy because. They, they had the, the director and the star. And again, I apologize. I don't have their names up right now. Um, but uh, they had them. So they had the translators, you know, translators. So the questions had to be translated and the answers had to be translated. So, you know, it wasn't easy. So I, I give him props, man, for uh, hosting that. He did a great job. Uh, and trick or treat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think I saw him too from a distance. I saw him. But yeah, he was there as well. That reminds me of when I walked by. Yeah, right. I know. It's just like you don't sometimes you just don't know. I walked past. Uh, what was it? This was like over 10 years ago when I went to CES in Vegas. I walked past Michael Bay going to the bathroom. <laughs> Michael Bay was at CES. This is when he had that meltdown. Remember when he like he he, he was trying to do something with Sony, uh, not Sony, but Samsung. And he like walked off stage. Something happened where he just he couldn't do, he couldn't just do his thing. Remember that? That was like 
that had to be 2010, not eight, nine. I don't know when that was, but it was funny because that was, I think that was at Caesars. And I walked past Michael Bay going into the bath. Like I was going into the bathroom. He was walking out. And I just remember like, again, I was like, was that Michael Bay? And then my buddy who I was with, I was like, I think I walked past Michael Bay. Is Michael Bay here? And sure enough, yeah, he was there. So that's the second time I walked past some director without even knowing it, going to the bathroom. <laughs> Should have asked him about his buddy Whedon. <laughs> Dave Filoni is, yeah, I mean, I didn't know that, but that's, I'm, I don't doubt it. He was there, so that's cool. And I, I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm not one of those people who take a selfie. Go take a selfie. I'm not, I don't want to do that. I'll do it sometimes, but I'm just, you know, not to mention, again, I'm not going to stop somebody walking out of the bathroom. I was walking into the bathroom. Hey, take a selfie. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. What's going on, Stephanie T.? People enjoying chopped up studio mandated movies because they had fun, fun, fun is no. Hey, if they're having fun. They're having fun. Is it the best part of the monster verse? Are you talking about minus zero? I don't even know if it's part of the monster verse. I think it's kind of not, but the monster verse people need to, they need to take notes. This is how you make a fucking monster film. It's just, I'm, I was so impressed by it. So impressed by the film. Um, but yeah, it's just, it was just, just really good. Just really good. Yeah. Yeah. Please support the film, support the film. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of care went into the film for sure. So <sighs> I had no idea the director of the new Fantastic Four was involved with uh, Always Sunny. Fa Is he really? I didn't even know that either. I don't know, there you go. Marvel doesn't deserve all the hate. I'm not throwing hate at it. I just didn't fucking like it. <laughs> I just thought it was not that good of a movie. Exclusive, I'm going to be an uncle. Are you? Well, congratulations there, Jose. Cheers. Uh, you know, I'm already an uncle, so cheers. Uncle's good. Uncle's good because, you know, you get to be the cool uncle, and that's that's what it is, you know. Sorry, I disagree hard with you about uh, Nick Fury being a, a parody. It didn't feel like the movie being chopped up. It flowed pretty well for me. Yeah, I mean, I was I was noticing I was like, wait a minute, there's probably more for that. I was like, especially like it was like right in the beginning when, you know, they were doing the switcheroo stuff. And then it just kind of just jumped to be like to like uh, Monica just going. So I switched with somebody. I'm like, wait a minute. They they already switched back and everything. there's. Yeah, it, it definitely um, I, I definitely felt uh, things were damn were missing. We're, we're missing when it came to certain scenes. No, there were subtitles when I watched it. Maybe they'll have a dub thing. I know, I know, I know you hate reading. I know, I know your generation hates reading, but uh, yeah, um, it was, there were subtitles for mine. I don't know if they'll have a dub thing, but we'll see. We'll see. Whoop. Hey, thank you, Accuracy. Appreciate that. I appreciate that. There you go. You're going to be a Funkle. There you go. That's what you got to say right there. <laughs> All right. I ain't guys talking about that. Thank you for the uh Kyle. Kyle. Thank you for the uh the super uh the super chat, the $20 super chat. Cheers. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Happy Saturday. Floor that Zaslov cancel. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that too. Yeah. What is uh uh you know what? I mean, we'll talk about it tonight, probably a little bit, but on Monday's Film Junkie Live. I'll dive into it a little bit more because just talking to my friend who's in the biz, he broke it down. Like there is a, there is a business way to look at it, but then, you know, and he broke it down very well and I'll, and I'll break it down for you guys. Um, sorry, I'll break it down for you guys. But also there was something else I was thinking about too. Like when it comes to something like this and, uh, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk about it tonight as well too. But when it comes to what he was telling me, I mean, he broke it down pretty well when it comes to a business side, and it's like you get it, but then of course there's like the, the there's the whole like aesthetic. There's a the whole you know there's a it's just not a good look. Did uh, minus one set up a second film? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it set up a second film. It definitely did. So support it. I want to see this second film. Yeah, I definitely do. So what's going on, Azteca? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. 
Should James Gunn be concerned uh, that they Batgirled his... Uh, uh, well, I mean, one of the things, you know, that this should, you know, and and, and again, I mean, uh, obviously, and, uh, ugh, you know, there's people, there. obviously there's like the people who hate Gunn that were celebrating it, which I say, fuck you, because, you know, put your little fanboy isms aside. There are people, creators, crew members that lost the movie that they busted their asses on and you're celebrating it. So just because you hate one person, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. I hate those types of people. And I saw that shit and it's sad because guess what fandom they're a part of. And it's the fandom that I would, I love to be a part of too. Um, it's like you, you're celebrating a movie being canceled because you hate one person that's involved. Yet there's all these other people, hundreds, thousands of people that busted their asses, asses, hundreds of people, whatever, busted their asses for this movie and they don't get to see it. You know, I mean, yeah, they got paid. Sure. But it's just sad when I see that when it comes to fandom and I'm like, that's the worst kind of, that's why, that's why people call people toxic. That's why talk, you hear the toxic word all the time. Um, I, I think. Gunn doesn't have the power that maybe he thought he was going to have or that people thought he had. I think this really shows that he doesn't have the power like fully, even though like, you know, it's DC studios, DC studios. Yeah. But Warner brothers still owns DC studios there, Jimmy. So it just kind of shows you right there. It's interesting. Do you think James Gunn should respond to that? Many are upset. He hasn't. Yeah. I saw that people weren't upset. I don't think, I think he needs to focus on Superman legacy and not really think about that kind of stuff. I think he, I think he needs to, to focus what he needs to focus on. You know, yeah, it's like part of me does want him to say something about it, but it's like, nah, just focus on Superman. You need to have a winner. You need to have a W focus on Superman, build up the hype. Just do all that. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for. Was it set before Secret Evasion? You got me. I think it's, I'm not, I think, it, I don't know. I don't know the timeline, to be honest, about the Mar the Marvels. I don't. The stuff with the Miss Marvel, I really enjoyed. Now I have to check out the show. Oh, you haven't watched the show? Yeah. Show was good. I mean, it kind of dips. It kind of falls flat, but it starts strong, just like the other ones. It was fantastic. Do not sleep on it. Please watch it. Support it. It's a great film. Absolute great film. <clears throat> Absolute great film. Yeah, here goes the WB. <laughs> what, Axel? You don't like James Gunn? I didn't know that. That's news to me. Ah, uh, whoa, whoa, we getting a little crazy right here. Okay, smiley faces. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? What's going on, Tehran? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, I really like the whole monarch connective tissue in the recent movies. Yeah, uh, I can't. I, isn't the monarch series already coming out? Didn't it come out this weekend or is it about to come out? I, I'm looking forward to the monarch series. I hear that's like that's good stuff. You know, we need we need a good we need because it's supposed to still be in that universe. Kind of right. I don't know. Was Gunn involved? Yeah, he uh, co-wrote and produced it. So that's why everybody was like, whoa, watch out. Zaslav canceled a James Gunn movie. Now, when it comes to the DC stuff, uh, I mean, obviously they could pull. I mean, nothing's safe. Nothing is safe for sure. But like when people think that Superman Legacy is going to get pulled, I don't think that would ever happen because they're, they're like they're riding on the new slate on Superman. Um, so I don't see them ever like pulling that for sure. So. The worst thing, honestly, would be if they cut the DCU short and meddled with the production. Yeah, you know, I don't know. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Gunn was hired to run DC Studios. He could, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just do that. I'd say just do that. Gunn uh, has to be pissed about, but what what can he do? Yeah, I mean, I, that's why I'm kind of looking at it. When people are saying like he should comment on it, I'm like. I don't think he really wants to because his focus is right. You know, his focus is on Superman. Okay. Monarch comes out on the 17th. Okay, cool. Thank you, Phil. Um, wasn't sure. I, I was like, was it this weekend? That's cool. I'm definitely going to watch that. Really bummer. Really? Yeah, no, I was actually, I forgot the movie was coming out. I'll be honest. I remember hearing about the movie, but I'm a Looney Tunes kid. 
I grew up on Looney Tunes and I loved Wile E. Coyote. He was, I mean, me and my brother loved Wile E. Coyote, the Wile E. Coyote, you know, little episodes. He was my favorite character growing up. So I, for, I, I will admit, I forgot the movie was coming out, but now that it's canceled, I'm kind of sad about it. But have you guys noticed that John Cena? His, his, he's not really a a box office pull or a, any kind of pull, right? I mean, he had that freelance movie come out, and it got like a zero percent of Rotten Tomatoes. I know Devil Fruit site, but like no critic liked it. I heard it was horrible, and it just kind of went away. But it's like John Cena doesn't really have what was a John Cena movie that was like, you know, a big box office pull that he starred in. Is there, I mean, he was in the Fast and Furious movie, but that he, again, that's just like Dwayne Johnson. It's like, you can't really count that because you're not the star. I don't know. That's why I'm like, James Gunn, you don't need to do a Peacemaker 2. You don't need another season of Peacemaker. That one season, I really enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised on how much I enjoyed Peacemaker because I did not think I was going to enjoy it, but I absolutely did. There does not need to be a season two. There really does not need to be a season two. There doesn't. They're, 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 please, James Gunn, just don't need it. Just concentrate on some of the other characters. Please concentrate on some of the other characters. <laughs> ah. Dave, did you cry during G1? Shut up, Russ. <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> I, the guy next to me was like, ah, my ears. Uh, how long do you think Zaslav is going to last? He can't just keep pulling movies like this, especially after the strike. Yeah. Um, but the thing is when he does, when he pulls movies like this, it's probably, it's probably in the benefit in a business sense looks good to the people that he reports to. So that's, what's so fucked about this. So that's what I was kind of thinking about is like, yeah, this, uh, I, the, the business side of it, there's a whole different thing. And if you break down the numbers, like again, uh, I'll probably do that more on uh, Monday on Monday's film junkie live. But the bad part about it is it just, it, the studio then looks bad because now we're in this, obviously in the social media world where we get everything just, you know, sent to us quickly. So yeah, it's just, and then it's like, does anybody want to work there anymore but then people of course want to work for every any studio but then the big names might not want them work i don't know it's such a weird thing i don't even it's it's such a weird thing uh nerdy can't wait for, oh yeah uh that's next week right i'm gonna watch that i've been i've been wanting to see that movie ever since the grindhouse fake trailer that they had uh, okay does aslov have final say or not I've seen people say different things and Gunn saying, yeah, I, 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 of course, yeah, I think Gunn is trying to make it seem like he has more power than he, than he actually does. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It's like, no matter what, Zaslav still has the, the final say, but then he's trying to make, I don't know, whatever the higher ups that are on Mount Olympus or whatever the fuck he's trying to make them happy. I don't know who even is Acme. I don't know. They should do like a whole like story about the Acme company. Like how does Wiley Coyote get all those, uh, get all those, uh, toys to get to Roadrunner so quickly. I mean, let's face it. Acme is faster than Amazon. There you go. There's your little, there's a story pitch right there. Do something like that. Marvels happens after secret invasion. Oh, okay. So after all the death and all the shit that, that, that Nick Fury went up you know, went through and all of a sudden he's just making jokes and hanging out with Kamala's family. Okay. Uh, okay. And petting kitties. Um, but there's only one reference to it with uh, the Kree scroll uh, treaty. There you go. He says that. I wonder if Wiley would have talked in the movie. Hmm. That would have been interesting. Yeah, he's definitely not The Rock. Yeah, he definitely isn't. I think they have another Looney Tunes. Do they really? What the? How's he? Uh, you're telling. 
his Marine movie. <laughs> I remember the Marine. But yeah, I'm like, is there anything that he starred in? I mean, this is this just go, goes back to like that question I had on last Film Junkie Live. Is like Daisy Ridley, any movie that she stars in, you barely hear about. You know, but she's been in ensemble casts like Peter Rabbit, I think, was did OK. And then, of course, you had uh, the first uh, the murder on the, or the Orient Express or whatever. She was in that. But that was an ensemble. But she just had a movie that came out like last weekend or something that nobody like, it was it made under a million dollars. Like nobody heard about it. Uh, let's see. Cena is mediocre. He's goofy. I mean, I give him that, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I never, I never, I never got into wrestling. I like the rock. I, I've always liked the rock. I just, you know, I, I, when it came to the whole black Adam stuff and, and the DC stuff, you know, I was kind of, to me, I was like, he was rubbing me the wrong way a little bit because it was like, all right, I see what you're trying to do here, but why wasn't his fought for during, why wasn't this fought for? What what are we talking about? <clears throat> I I'm just saying it just felt like it was just a one off to me. I don't think there needs to be more. I think Gunn needs to concentrate on building more of the universe as opposed to making another peacemaker. To be honest, and you know, I mean, I get it's one of the biggest hits, but hey, uh, they need to release a yeah, Coyote versus Acme movie. Just sell it to another streamer yeah but the thing is is like are this are the other streamers going to pay for what they want because you know obviously there's a reported budget but that's always bullshit they always report the budget under what it is so if they sell it to another streamer it's like are they going to get the money that they want and that's the thing and we all know that wb wbd is like you know they're fucking broke and they're they're in debt you know that's the thing it's like are these other streamers going to pay them you know, so then they can make an actual profit on it. That's the thing. It's the thing. It's like, this is what's been fucked for the past few years. You know, this can uh, damage reputation with creatives in both uh, the short. Yeah. One time was bad twice. Yeesh. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't really look like it. I understand the crew feels bad because no one sees the movie they worked on, but they still got paid. Right. That's I mean, and I, you know, Shane, I totally I see that point of view. I do see that point of view. But, you know, when you're a creative, you want you get a high. I mean, I you create something. And yes, even though you get paid, sure, that's great. But there's something about, obviously, a reward that you get for people seeing it and people talking about it and people praising it and telling you about it. There's that level of it, too. That's the thing. But but at least you do. Yes, they did get paid still. They did get paid still. So that there is that whole part of it. That's the business side. But then, of course, there's like this other side as well. So what? No, nah, I, I, it's the first time I'm hearing about it. First time I'm hearing about it. Uh, let's see. Has uh, Cena done enough acting to truly judge? He's done a lot of things. He is like in a lot of shit. Okay. He's in commercials. He's in TV shows. He's in TV game shows. He's in all kinds of things. So I'm just, I'm just saying like, he's in a lot of things. He's in a lot of things. So, I mean, dramatic. I mean, I think, you know, um, I don't know if he could really do as, you know, dramatic yet, but we'll see. Well, no, I don't know. It just seems like Cena has been around forever, but it just doesn't seem like he's, I don't know. It's such a, he's a weird thing. He's such a weird, he's such a weird case when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, uh, John Cena, it's just not, it's not the same as Dwayne Johnson for sure, but it's all just crazy. Let's see. I'm sending out my inv invites now. I'll start getting this stuff in here. All right. Start getting some people in here. All right. Invites sent. Superman versus Super Carrot. <laughs> yes. Want to see that. Uh, yeah, that's right. Takashi Yamazaki. And then the lead actor was Ryun. Uh, yeah. I, again, you guys know I butcher names all the time. But yeah, that's who was there at the uh, at the uh, at the, the premiere last night. And like I said, I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Y Yamazaki uh, just 
dude was he just he he made like an excellent movie you could tell like he just loved the love the mythos of the character really wanted to just take that first godzilla movie and modernize it but not too much where it was like it'd be like present day and and just being having his vfx be him being a vfx artist too it's just so it's great that that's the case yes there's another is there really so what the that's probably gonna get written off too zaslav trust gun he didn't hire him to start the dcu and then turn around and cancel his movies well he canceled his looney tunes movie shane that's what we're talking about you know gun wrote and produced <laughs> co-wrote and produced that Looney Tunes movie that just got canceled. So that's just kind of, I mean, I'm sure that when it comes to DC property, it's going to be a little bit different because I can, uh, you know, again, I'll break it down a little bit more on Monday because of the fact of the matter is just like, this is Looney Tunes and that could be an interesting way, you know, because a kid's show cartoon, it's a little bit different, but uh, yeah, I, I think there, but I will say, I will say that, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I will. I don't know what I was going to say. I just totally, just totally left my brain. So eh, whatever, it's fine. Give me Tom King adaptation, uh, of the crossover. Yeah, there you go. Do something like that. Maybe, uh, shoot. Yeah, that's right. Chaos theory. That went nowhere. Oh, well, yeah, there's that. Yeah. But let's face it. He wasn't the star in either one of those. That's the thing. He he was he wasn't the star. Let's face it, Haley Steinfeld was the star of Bumblebee and Bumblebee. And then uh and then when it came to Fast and Furious, he's not the star in that. He's just part of the ensemble cast. So that's what you know, you can't really count those. I'm talking about movies that literally he is the star, the actual star. Like he's the lead. He's not the lead in those movies. I don't believe puny. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, they fluffed. They of course they fluffed those numbers. Yeah. Then then mean I people still didn't enjoy it. I still thought it was great. I was pleasantly surprised by it. Sounds like the tax loophole that needs fixed federally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Taxes taxes in America suck. We're all being robbed. It's all bullshit. It's always been bullshit when it comes to taxes. You know, we bust our asses and then, of course, have to give a percentage of it to the government to do what? Sometimes, yes, it does go into some good things, but, <laughs> but it seems like a lot of it just ends up going overseas to fund wars. Isn't that what's happening? Yeah, it's like our hard-earned tax dollars are going to fund wars. And this has been a thing that's been happening for decades. Not just now, but, you know. Let's see how Cena truly, if he puts focus on it. Until, yeah, he's not a bad actor. You know, he's not a bad actor. The axes of movies, Dave's. Why didn't the actors fight for that not to happen anymore? Mm, true. I know they should have put that. Oh, you're right. Okay, so you're saying that in the demands for the sag after. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, raunchy comedy yeah he's 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 funny he's definitely funny they should make season two of p vinker and continue to get him grow evolve it yeah i mean that, that's probably what they will do it's going to be interesting all right it might be something the directors have to fight for not the actors yeah could be that yeah he could be right could be right but yeah the scarlett johansson versus disney yeah that was like the uh the residuals for her uh because she was supposed to get a box office cut a good box office cut for black widow but since they put it on disney plus that wasn't in her contract so she had a fight for that mm. let's see robotic dre hopefully somewhere down the line yeah it'd be nice that and bad girl i still want to see bad girl as well so <sighs> what's going on mr pal good to see you buddy good to see you up, oh, we got hashtags. Hashtags. Oh, here comes the hashtags. Gotta love it. That's right. Don't worry. They're gonna. They're, they will sell the Snyderverse to uh, to Netflix. I, I feel that's coming there, Fabian. It's going to happen. Zach's gonna drop everything he's gonna do and finish those movies just for you, just for you, because of your hashtags. 
He's going to drop everything he's doing, creating new universes and new stuff for us to, to love. Like the trailer we're going to see tomorrow. He's going to drop it and just head over. And then he's going to direct it all for Netflix. There's going to be billions and billions of people that are going to flock to Netflix. All because of your hashtags. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little snarky on that one. <laughs> uh, all right. I've been talking too much. All right. What else we got here? Can we uh, take a minute and appreciate that there's no... Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're going to take a nice little break from CBMs next year, which is fine. I'm totally good with that. We got Joker and we got Deadpool, which I'm looking both looking forward to both of those big time. So long, you know, long as those stay there, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. So anyways, guys, all right. There's the Q&A portion. There's a last bit of vodka. Ah. <sighs> There we got my Topo Chico. Get the, let's get some uh, people in here. We'll start talking about some some things. All right. Oh, well, what am I doing here? All right. Make sure the background's up. All right, cool. There we go. Andy, Phil, what is happening, gentlemen? <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect timing. Look at how evil his face looked right after that. I am Loki of Asgard. I have... <laughs> Glorious purpose. Nice. How's okay, going, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of hot. Uh, You're, welcome. But, uh... <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. There you go. Uh, how's everyone doing? It's been a hot oh, minute. It's yeah. been a hot minute, my friend. Yes. I know your hair is like grown. Like you all of a sudden, you have all this hair on your head. And Wait, I keep it long. Oh, oh, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did I not have hair last time I was on? No, you did, but it was just shorter because it's been like <coughs> over a month. It's been a bit. Yeah, it, and it no, it's no fault of day. I'm the one who's just been like super busy on my last couple of Fridays. Either I'm doing. No, like, you hate me. I'm just kidding. Yeah. You know, you no, didn't wish me. me. You, you know, you didn't. You didn't wish me happy birthday. So you know what? That's why you know. Oh, even was it your birthday even, recently? Even, even Lip came to my birthday stream and wished me happy birthday. He came in three I'm times. I'm sorry. Uh, Mm -hmm. happy, happy late birthday i'm sorry of, a happy belated birthday to you too that's true uh, yeah yeah uh, we're october children but uh we're libras uh, are you libra total libra yes there you go rock on if, I, if, I, if so i'm that if means I, but whatever it but it, that means that we were born in october oh well, yeah i know that. <laughs> i know that but i know there's more meanings when it comes to all that stuff i just don't know what that Oh, okay. I don't get into that. I don't get into. Yeah, I don't get into that I, shit either. Oh, yeah, really I'm. A, I'm just like when people are like, "I'm not gonna use such a leap," but I'm like, "Yeah, I am born in October." So like, that's why you should tell, and then they would be like, "You just don't get it." <laughs> right. Uh, but also, I wanted to say Happy Veterans Day to everyone too. Today is Veterans Day, so all the veterans out there, cheers to you. Uh, cheers to, of course, Papa Film Junkie, who is a a veteran himself. So he's uh, retired Army. For over 30 years so cheers to my dad i should have i should probably text him <laughs> oh man it's been a big hey, uh... yeah i know i'm gonna do that right now totally didn't even think about it i was like oh yeah shit mm -hmm. i should probably do that mm -hmm. okay anyways talk amongst yourselves <laughs> no no no, no. I, I want to see, i want to see this happen Oh, I'm, it's ha it's happening. So, well, but it'd be right. at least two emojis. Two emojis. I'm gonna. Two. Do, I gotta send a gif. I send a gif. Like a, a gift? salute. Oh, oh, wow. A That's, Captain uh... America saluting, maybe or something. I don't know. Does he? Does he? Uh, does he like Captain America? Yeah. Which one? Oh, is yeah. His, he likes. Which one is his favorite one? Uh, Cap movie? Civil War. I don't, I th <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> you know. Just kidding. Yeah, I hope I hope it's I hope it's uh, when a soldier. Oh, I could see him being a first a first Avenger fan, like from you know the original Captain America movie. I could see him be a fan of that. All right, since but well, certainly, um, yeah, you know, that's a good question. I know he's seen all three because uh, I've wa I watched probably all three with him. So you know, watch yeah. the fourth. I'm sure he's gonna he's he'll be down for he's he's all he's into all those movies. Um, so. I mean, no matter what, if I, if I recommend it, right. Sometimes he'll see stuff late. If I don't see it with him, <laughs> mm. he'll like see stuff. But I think he just saw black Adam, like not that long ago. And he thought it was all right. You know, he likes the rock, but he's like, yeah, it was fine. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's kind of, did, did he see the Falcon and the Winter soldier? Uh, I don't think he watched that now. Oh, you, you, well, that. you're going to have, you need to have him watch it so he can understand Cap 4. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's actually true. He's like, wait a minute. 
<laughs> what happened? What? This is the what? That's he's he's, he's, he's Captain, Captain America now. What? <laughs> what is going on here? A black man is Captain America. I, know, I was like, wait a minute. Did did Steve get a tan? I mean, was, you know, but, uh, they were like, no, that's Sam, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, you can't say that anymore. You it's can't not say that. <laughs> no, that's funny. No, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if he's seen that. I'll have to ask him. But yeah. So. Reminds me of a conversation I had with my dad about Aquaman. He's like, why is Aquaman brown? I'm just like, Dad, <laughs> no, we're not <laughs> having this conversation right now. Number two, he's Polynesian. There's a difference. <laughs> like, yep, it's it's all good. It's all good. See, so like, he just texted have... me back right now. He just texted me back. So he said, thank you. Huh? Uh, good, uh, uh, it's a good it's a good son. It's a good son. Now I also ask him, have you watched Falcon Winter Soldier? The internet wants to know. I know. Now, now, well, next time I see him, I'll ask. I'll ask him about that. Although I feel so bad for him because like, the show is kind of garbage. Uh, so, like, but again, he, he's going to have. I think it's definitely. Like, I, a, I, I wanted okay. more of it. Yeah. I think I wanted more of it because, because for me, I think I went to the mindset of thinking, well, you know, we've had shows like Black Lightning, Luke Cage that deals with political themes like this. Surely we can get this, you know, because in the comics, when Sam becomes Captain America, it is a very big deal because he has to deal with it from the inside of the government in a lot of ways that are opposed to it. But in this case, they're like, nah, just, just, that's just, just, just you, Kurt Russell's son, that's a baddie. Yeah. I, I mean, that, uh, that, like, uh, I mean, he's going to be in the Thunderbolts, right? Bucky is. is. Bucky's in Thunderbolts. But I thought, is, 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 uh... isn't you, you as agent? He has to be. Yes, it. yes. I forgot about him too. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's going to be in Thunderbolts as well, he, right? Lip, he is what very forgettable. What was his name in the movie? Thunderbolts. Yeah. No, no, no. What was, uh, uh, Wyatt Russell? You, name? you as, you as agent. U.S. agent. So that's what his name yeah. was. Yeah. Right. U.S. agent. Yeah, that's right. And then, oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Lip, uh, and to anyone who watches Shameless here, I was because uh, I've been on like another rewatch. Um, guess what? Zack Snyder alum was in Shameless. Hold on, hold on, I should, I hold on, this. Um, hold um, on, Shameless, um, Shameless, Shameless. Oh shit! Oh, shit! Shit! I, I only watched like the first three seasons. I I've seen every it. season, and I should know this by now. What? All right, Andy, ah. me. which one? Who is ah. it? Ray Porter. He 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 he, he right. was he was, right. he, he was uh, Lips um, uh, cafeteria boss. That's right. Ah. That's right. That's right. You're right. Speaking of watching that series, what, what, speaking of Lip, what's that guy's name again? Jeremy Allen White. White. Jeremy Allen. Yeah, I want to see you, the Iron Claw movie. Me that too. He's in with uh, uh, Zach Efron. I hear it's great. I mean, that's what people are saying that it's pretty damn great. Also, speaking of Jeremy Allen White. The Bear season three is a grow. Oh yeah, I still gotta watch that. I haven't watched that. Did you I guys see that? his his reaction to being like the whole like he was asked like being a Marvely movie and he's like, why should I be in your movie? And apparently the studio was like, fuck you. And he was like, oh okay, whatever. <laughs> that is that is so, that is such a shameless way of him getting an audition for for like it's like because you know we all remember in um, season one when he got caught you know doing you know doing all the SATs. And it's like yeah. why should I why should I want to go to Chicago University or whatever? So like yeah, it's it was it's ironic. Uh, Marvel doesn't deserve him. They would waste his talent. He should be in. He should be in DC. Didn't, didn't he also say like like uh wasn't there a quote from him that said like why does like some like an actor's career have to be defined by like a superhero role or something like that? I, I'm totally I thought I read something that he also mentioned something about that, which something I'm like, like yeah. It's like I I mean I get it. It's like superhero movies can be, you know, obviously it can want you know launch your career. It's launched many careers and they've done very well when it comes to all that. But then like when I launch something like the Marvels, I'm just watching it going like and I'm seeing Brie Larson, and I'm like, man, you won an Academy Award for an excellent performance in the room or room, whatever. There's just room, room right? Yeah. It's not the room because that's the other one. I was about to be I'm like, the Tommy, the Tommy it's called room. It is room. No, but, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and then I'm just like, then I'm watching this. I'm like, I feel like I'm watching one of those movies, like I'm like I'm in the world of of like Vought. Like this is a Vought movie. It's just that's what I was feeling like. I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait, uh, a what movie? A like Vought, Vought movie, like from the boys. yeah, like from the boys, you know? Oh. Yeah, you know, like Vought made the movie, and like you know mm. when they show like the fake movies, like the movie within the show, and it's ridiculous, and you see people like you know saying some lines, saying a line, and like basically winking at the camera. I mean, let's face it. Sometimes when it comes to, I wouldn't be stuff. that hard on Brie. I thought I think <laughs> I think Brie Larson was was pretty good in. The, she's definitely. I'm not I think it was all the time. To do. 
I'm not saying it was like the entire time. I appreciate her too. She's very attractive too. I think she's gorgeous. And, and, but like, I don't know, just sometimes, I don't know, just sometimes when it kind of came to certain bits and certain things, I was like, eh. I wonder, I wonder if it's just the direction from Marvel Studios where they like, they want it to be more stoic because they're like, mm. well, she's like our oh, Wonder Woman, but we can't really get, um, we can't really, we can't really get too deep with her because yeah, I feel like she got more to do like a lot of times in this movie, both both writing and directing wise. Because I, even though I do like Captain Marvel the first movie, like I don't, I don't think those two directors knew what they were doing. Honest, I think Bowden me and Fleck, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also, I also don't get why we needed a duo for Captain Marvel. It was almost you know, like we want a woman, but not by herself. <laughs> that movie was really strange because I always felt like if you look at, and I've probably said this here and I've probably said it a bunch of places elsewhere, but like that film in particular, you, like b by comparison to other solo origin Marvel films, like you look at Iron Man, you look at Captain America, you look at Thor, you look at any one of them, there is a clear synergy of what the director wanted to pull out of the main star. Whereas you look at Captain Marvel, it's not quite there at all. And I'm sure that's probably more prevalent in this film than it, in the second film the marvels because i still haven't seen it but the post credit sequence was sent to me by like six different fucking people and i was like okay yeah thanks now i know what the oh, ending is cool beans that's, sh that's shitty i'm i'm super numb to it now because i've grown up watching these movies and it's it's kind of more enjoyable for me to see other people's reactions to stuff like that but when it's it gets funny. sent to me it's just like oh, okay cool that's neat it's funny because like i didn't see i didn't see it i mean i saw like uh, the only thing that I saw was the ending, you know, where basically they start setting up the Young Avengers kind of yeah. thing, which yeah. I was like, cool. I actually I thought that was actually funny the way they did it, because it had to do with Kamala and she was act. they basically she reenacted what Nick Fury did. Oh, I'm, I don't I, you don't care, right, Phil? You. Yeah, no. you don't care. Yeah. No. <laughs> and, and of course, guys, we're Go talking right spoilers. Ahead. We're talking spoilers when it comes to uh, the Marvel. So, um, and I thought that was kind of like cool. Like she kind of like they kind of did it. She did a Nick Fury thing and she's just adorable and funny. And it just the way that she she does it. I was like, OK, that's cool. And then, of course, you have Haley Steinfeld and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, there's Kate Bishop. Cool. But I, I saw that on my timeline. I did not see um, the mid credit. Which was like interesting. I heard it. Obviously, I heard it was, but uh, and then finally seeing it, I'm like, wow, those VFX were washed. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think they looked bad. I mean, I, I think he. Uh, I, I, they could have. There needed to be a couple more times that, like, you know, the design wasn't bad. I mean, obviously, it's not the same design. It's not the same design as. In, and I love the design that they uh, gave Beast um in um what was it it was f f f the last stand right that he showed up and yes. he wasn't in the second one yeah he was only uh, in last stand days of yeah. future past that's right so obviously and then of course you know we had young version of him and they had the makeup uh which was great but uh i mean i get what they're it's like okay we're just gonna go for the uh for the, the look of him from the books and the animated series and i'm like okay i get it you guys totally nailed what he looks like but i was just kind of like eh, i was just a little disappointed that it was full on cgi maybe it was some mocap i don't know but yeah it's just that, that, is, that, that is that is a fault of disney and marvel studios because they're rushing their vfx artists so we you know we stand as we you know i think we i can think i think i speak i can speak for all of us that we stand in solidarity with the vfx workers that are, they're about to go on strike soon too mm. oh yeah that's right that's supposed to be next year right yeah. i think that's gonna happen in march possibly i mean it uh, might not happen but hopefully it doesn't happen but and they can, you know, things work well, out. Well, if these, but... if these, if the AMPTP have learned anything, maybe they should just realize that, hey, they, you know, these people, you know, these unions, they will, they will stand, for, uh, you know, they will stand till, till, till it's over. Um, so it's just, you know, pay what they they deserve, get them better in working conditions, because you know, again, I, without them, they, I mean, you know, we will have, we will business. have, you have no business. You will have to do stitch figures. Yeah, I mean. It's all very, it's all very interesting, uh, but I mean, uh, but you know, well, uh, back onto the Marvels thing. The Marvels, we'll get yeah. to the stag and all that stuff uh, next. But uh, um, so you saw it, Andy. Like, yeah. what was your overall thoughts? I really had a good time. I, it's, okay. I think, I, I think the reason I also I enjoyed it a little bit more. I think is 
some people know this week has ever been an emotional roller coaster for me and my mm-hmm. family. So I, uh, you know, I needed something. I just needed to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he's fine. He's doing good. Right, uh, I'm glad. I'm uh, glad. Glad, yeah, glad to hear. Um, I just want to go visit him already, but I they they won't let me. It's uh. I didn't yeah. know there was going to be this many rules, like you know, because I'm like, they're like, oh, what's his immune system is messed up. I'm like, but I, I don't have COVID. I, I can, I can wear a mask. I can wear gloves. But, um, so for me, going to see Mr. Marvel was like, you know, going to see something familiar, something that that I, you know, because again, I loved Miss Marvel so much that I'm like, listen, let's just, you know, let's, cool. let's get back to that. And of course, that's the fact that she's the one that opens up the movie, kind of like with like, like a previously on MCU. Yeah, and <laughs> I did like that sequence because it was very much like that, like like the show because it had like the drawings and she was like, it was like she was voicing her own little like animation stuff and it was, I, I liked how they did that. I was like, okay, cool. And then, and then of course her family is great too. I I didn't quite understand why they needed to be in certain. And you know, up in space, but I was like, I'm glad they're there because they were kind of like a refreshing. They're, they're just refreshing when it comes to like the MCU because obviously she's a child that's wrapped up into this crazy shit, and she has to team up with two other people, two other ladies that have this similar similar type of powers, and uh, you know. And she's so I, I did. I they're just like kind of like a breath of fresh air in my opinion. But oh. I just don't understand like why they had to go. There. I don't know. Well, they were probably they were concerned. You know, listen, like you know, okay. listen. Uh, this uh, is uh, like uh, a uh, top secret space station. Like what the? It well, I think once Monica. I think once Monica spelled out what Saber even stands for, they were like, "Oh fuck us!" It. Uh, it's basically like Age of Shield. You know, like the most secretive organization, but yet they brand everything they have, like water bottles and cars and yeah, and shit like that. But okay, I so okay, it, I want to ask this, Andy, since uh, mm-hmm. you've seen it, because I was kind of confused because obviously the the whole. The story is like when they use their powers, this whole thing happens where they use their powers and they end up swapping. How come it didn't happen all the time? It was like certain powers or it just was inconsistent or what the hell? I think it was either certain powers or it was that they all three had to do at the same time. Was it at the same and, time? Okay. Yeah, because I kept hearing, I think Monica said something like, when we use our powers at the same time, we switch. And it was, you know, because that's why, like, remember when they were doing the rock, paper, scissors thing? Yeah. And only Monica and uh, Kamala switch? If you look closely at um, Carol's hand, her hand, like, she doesn't use her powers. So they all have to use it at the same time. Okay, and, so, okay, because... I thought it was like that was a little confusing because it just seemed like anytime, you know, some kind of light would shoot out of a fist or something like that, something would get swapped. But then I'm like, they're using their powers and then I okay, but I don't know. See, that's another thing. That, that's, that's, that's 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 my understanding of it. Okay. Like, you know, if that's how if that's exactly how it played out, like I can buy it because I thought again, it really gave us some neat action sequences um because I, again i mean i don't know how you how do you shoot that like you know like in between like you know do they say you know use power and then they say cut now you go stand there like i you know that was kind of curious for me but uh um yeah I, the action was a lot of fun in this movie like to be it honest moments yeah for sure it definitely for did sure. yeah i mean it's but I mean, I, I again, I could just there's just times where I'm going, all right, I think this was going to be a little bit. There, there was something that was cut out here. Like there's just some times where I was like, yeah, there's probably something that was more fleshed out right here before it jumped to this, you know, and I'm like, uh, oh, there was. Oh, my God. You know, I just read a scene that was cut. Remember huh. in the trade, the first trade where where Monica said, um, you're not the you're not the only thing that that's threatening this universe or something like that or like you're yeah. you're not the only thing standing between us and the universe. That scene is never there. Yeah. Well, I mean, just like right in the beginning, because obviously we know that the, the that you know, it, and even if anybody you know, Phil, you haven't seen it, but obviously you know that it's going to start with them swapping and then going, "What the hell?" You saw the scene where like you know, Kamala is in the spacesuit and she's like, "Ah," but it like literally you don't see how like it's just like when that happens all of a sudden it's like you cut to nick fury and monica walking in the space station and she's just like so i swapped with blah 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 and i'm like oh okay so they already swapped back we didn't see that we didn't see anything more when it came i was like all right immediately there was something more there was a longer probably sequence when it came to at least that part because it just you know what, why it's so from, weird you know what's so weird why they, like when I, I feel like i look at the, the run i look at the, the length of time of this movie i'm like 
only 105 minutes and they still had to cut things? Like they what? Like the movie is 105 minutes long. Yes. And I still and I like I and I and I, and I, I, I watched it and I'm like why did he have to cut things if the movie was already short? Like, like I, that's why I'm like, you're talking about moments like that, like when she swapped back, like, why would you, is it really that much, that much about money? Because they get more screens. They get more screen time. That's the thing. It's like, that was why, like, when it comes, when going back to like the whole Justice League thing, uh, like when, when that, when Justice League got ripped to shreds, they, uh, Suji Hara was like, oh, get that thing two hours. So then they can put it on as many screens as possible because they want as yeah they they want the quantity because they knew that these theaters weren't going to get pulled out. So mm. I'm thinking like they just they just Feige probably didn't have confidence in this and it was like cut it down as much as possible so we can have as many showings as possible to maybe you know work out the difference. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I guess we have to put up with two Tough hours situation. of admin nonsense. <clears throat> All right, all right, and we got Draga showing up right here. Hey, what's up, James guys? Gunn's biggest fan? Uh, <laughs> yes, the, fo- the, the bacon fork eater. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and I do have pizza right here. Look at that. Oh, oh you did you do not get to tease me with pizza like that, and then did, not have it. I did just uh, make a pizza ad lately for for. You did? Did you eat that whole thing tonight? No, it was, that's that's a box from Friday. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yes, Why do you still have a box from Friday. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't. We haven't. Because uh, I needed it in case we needed to film it with the box in. Anyway, uh, so yeah. How's everyone? You don't have. You don't have. You don't have trash. You don't have trash cans in in, in no, Australia. We do. We do. I just needed. <laughs> or or um, you just oh, to just put it all in the kangaroo's pocket or something. <laughs> the kangaroo. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Or throw it up to a koala, might catch it. <laughs> I'm sending some spiders, I swear to God. Oh, anyway. God. I love this. As soon as Angle gets on, there's like just like five minutes of intense bullying, and then like, we're like, okay, we will get back to it. We will get back to it. Uh, have you seen the Marvels, Axel? No, have. I have not. I do want to see Godzilla minus Fuck me. Fuck you. I do want to no. see Godzilla <laughs> minus one. <laughs> So, like, I want to see that too. That looks. Incredible. I want to see that on the big screen because I saw God's. The last movie I saw was. Uh, let me turn the notifications off. I did see um Godzilla versus a uh, Kong, Kong like in the theaters, and that was insane. And yeah, I saw that with a was, friend. Was, it, was, it, was like, it that during? Was it that during COVID? Uh, I yeah, it was, but like it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't that huge in Australia yet. Yet. <laughs> Yet, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you guys like that. I was, I, I was just per, um, watching Godzilla minus one. I was pleasantly. I, I mean, I obviously the trailer looked great. I was like, okay, that should be. It's maybe, but who knows? You never know. Trailer could be cut very well. We've seen that many times before, and I was like, okay. And I just wasn't sure what to expect, but I was like, well, it's not, it's a Japanese film. So I think they might actually have something here. And then sure enough, when I watched that was like, I'm telling you, like they nailed the human story so well. And it's so unique where I don't even want to explain the, uh, cause it's so layered. It's very layered. Uh, the only thing that I said was like the fact that the main character, when you see him in the beginning, he is not the same character as he is at the end. I mean, it's almost, I mean, it obviously, yes, it's still the same character and there's still a one certain thing that, that he, that he has still in common with himself in the beginning, but he's just like, he gets sent through the ringer and then he just comes up on the other side. And then you're just kind of going, what's going to happen with this guy? What the, and it's just, again, I, that's the problem that some of these movies have is the human story always ends up sucking yeah there were so many humans in uh the godzilla versus Kong. like i was just hard yeah. To keep track of it. yeah they yeah. went to the middle of like to the middle of the uh, like the middle of All the earth. earth yeah that i forgot the name i thought the I first like, i thought the first um like monster verse movie that he that he made i think got you know with the original godzilla from 2040 i think that had way more yeah that. i think kong they kind of they kind of they, they kind of like cut it down a little bit yeah, I think it was just like when it, I love Godzilla to 20, 2014. That's why I'm like, 
yeah, when I was comparing this one, I'm like, God, those two are like up here with me because Godzilla 2014, that's probably my favorite Godzilla. I mean, obviously, when you watch the old ones, there's, you know, there's a nostalgia aspect of it. But let's face it, it's a dude in a fucking latex suit that's just, you know, it's um, but when it comes to Godzilla 2014, it's like, yeah, they did a good job with the human story with with that. But when Brian Cranston's character died like halfway through it did kind of like go, oh, okay, so now we're just going to be following Aaron Taylor Johnson now? All right. <laughs> it's like, I mean, besides for kick-ass, like, he doesn't have that... Yeah, he, I don't that's know, the he thing. I think we've, talk, I think we've that talked about that on here, too. Yeah. He, 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 yeah, I think he says even more better than, a, than, like, a side character. Like, in Bullet Train, he was great in that. And, yeah. And, um, yeah. But it's just like, his character wasn't interesting. That's the thing, in Godzilla, but Brian Cranston's character was interesting because he was all in all that. He was a scientist and everything. So, and you know, Aaron Taylor Johnson was just a Marine son. And it's like, okay, so he's a badass. you know, he's had a, you know, you know, he's done a, a hydro jump or whatever the hell they call that. And that scene is just beautiful. I fucking love that scene that I, I, I've, I, sometimes I'll just watch that scene. I'll pull it up on YouTube just to watch that scene of the, the jump so beautifully shot garrett edwards nailed that that was in like the trailer as well and he was even part of the poster that scene is so oh, glorious yeah. and i mean there's nothing like that in godzilla minus one but at the same time it takes place you know post world war ii this is in the 40s in japan it's a it's a different it's kind a of story piece. yeah but that's the way that's the way that the original godzilla movies took place so that's why I, that's what i loved about it too it's like he the director uh didn't want to just hey let's do a present day godzilla movie no no he let's keep it back it, you would is what you're trying to say it's like, yeah yeah like he didn't he didn't bring it in the present day he kept it into like where the original movie started so it was just like that and then there was no it was it was a simple story but yet had so much like heart and community and and like I said, the human story, just I, it's such a unique story, such a unique layered story that I was like, yeah, U.S. studios, take notes, take notes. This is how you do it right here. So, yeah, support it. Because yeah, I'm definitely going to I just looked like before I go on the stream, I like I looked up when it's going to come out. It comes out like in first of December. Yeah. For my course, so I'm like, OK, yeah, I'm gonna doing fan screenings on the 29th. I'm trying to get tickets for it. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I actually just rewatched uh, King of the Monsters yesterday. Yeah, I rewatched that one yesterday. I kind of want to rewatch Godzilla vs. Kong. In my opinion, like I think Godzilla from 2014 is probably the greatest one yeah. like of them all. But I think the best made film is probably Kong Skull Island. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, that's yeah. My ranking like kind of goes like it goes 2014 Skull Island, King of the Monsters and then and the versus. Uh, uh, Monarch premieres this Thursday on Apple Plus TV. Ooh, oh yeah, and then I can't. I'm can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. But uh, we got somebody there. joining right now. It's been a little bit since he's been on. Uh, here we go. Scott! Keep calm, everyone. Yes. There, there's no need to worry. I am here now. <laughs> the world is live. Be okay. He's live. <laughs> He's oh, alive. come on. I'm here every Sunday night. I mean, seriously. <laughs> true, true. Very true. Very true. How's it going, Scott? <sighs> I, tired? Just walk, I, just, I just literally just walked in the door from work. So, yes, oh. I'm tired. So a little tired. A little tired. Well, grab yeah. something to drink. It'll wake you up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but I have to be right back at a, the other job at eight in the morning so it can't get... So can't, you can't stay too long, huh? No, no. <laughs> and yeah, I still I have the... And I still have the last 30 minutes of the killers I need to finish from last night. So, oh, you're talking yeah. the I'm killers or the killer? The, the killer. killer, the okay, Fast yeah. Bender movie on yeah, Netflix. Yeah. 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 David Fincher. I, I want to yeah. watch it. I know. I, I think tomorrow night when it, when football is all done and we're obviously done with the stream, that's when that's when I catch up on my shit. That's when I catch up because I have, I still haven't watched the season finale of Loki. Or possibly series. I know some people are like, "Oh, is it the end of that? Who knows?" They should not like it. The six I know that limited, limited event series. Yeah. Uh, see, well, I mean, it might be. And hey, if they if they don't have any more ideas, fine. Then don't do it. You know what? You know, I think I'm it. I'm kind of low keyed out. I'm like, you know what? I'm, what? I'm You're low key, low keyed out. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Damn it! I was gonna make yeah. a pun like that, but yeah. right. you know, you no, Axel, no, Axel, you're not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 
Axel, oh, I love you. Axel, Axel, I love you. Axel, I love, do you need some? Uh, do you need some aloe for that burn? You, you, I mean, you, you want? You want? No, he you needs aloe, dead? ice, a Mister Freeze gun, all of the above. <laughs> yes, Axel, I, I love you. I'm I'm just messing with you. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, like, I, just some that's all. He's just doing that yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I, 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 if I genuinely didn't like you, I wouldn't even joke with you. So. Exactly. Oh, okay. it's true. Um, it's a sign of love. This is why we yes. make fun of you, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. You. Listen, listen. I will find. I will find ways to make fun of the rest of the crew as well at some point. So, am I? Don't. Are we the only one who's seen the marbles, Dave? Oh Jesus Christ! I thought I was a spider. <laughs> yeah, that red looked like a spider. But it's like, he's that's in Australia. Spiders. They have like, these like humongous spiders. Those Australian spiders. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Scott. You don't have any desire to see the Marvels, right? Really? I no, not real. I mean, I'll. It'll be like a lot of these, like, uh, like I said, except for Spider Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness. It, I, any Phase Four movie I've seen, other than those two. Oh, and Guardians Three. I keep on forgetting about Guardians Three. What about uh, those, Wakanda Forever? Did you watch that one? On Disney Plus. Oh, my point was what I was getting oh, yeah, to was I oh, wait yeah. till Disney Plus where I can just watch it at home for free. Yeah. So and and yeah, there's definitely. some movies, and so there's some movies I haven't even gotten to that yet. Um. See Thursday night instead of going to see the Marvels, I went and saw the Holdovers, which oh, is an that's right. You told me about it. Excellent movie. Yeah. Excellent movie. So Alexander Payne, uh, Paul, Paul Giamatti. Giamatti. Yeah. yeah. That Small is movie, great. but uh, it's a Thanksgiving movie. Yes, Which it's is Christmas. Love. It's it's technically Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. Oh, I thought it was for. I thought like the whole. It's Christmas. Thing was... It's Christmas break. Oh, that... it is Christmas break. I thought it was Thanksgiving break for some reason. Okay. Oh, no, it's a it's it's a Christmas movie. So it's a and it's really good. Giamatti is fantastic as you know always, and no. I it's a it's bit it's a very bittersweet movie, but I loved it i thought it was really really good and i can highly recommend people go and check it out um it shot like it it takes place in 19 the christmas of 1970 and they shoot it in a way that feels like you're watching a movie from the 70s oh interesting so i like uh, it i really i really enjoyed it so hey go support a Go support a nice, you know, small movie. Small movie. I yeah. mean, Alexander Payne, he did the, the, the Ascendance Sideways. And it's kind of funny because, like, it's 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 funny because I think like a month and a half ago or whatever, I watched Election with uh, Matthew Broderick, Reese Witherspoon, which is an Alexander Payne movie. And then all of a sudden, like, the trailer for this movie showed up like two days later. I'm like, I just watched the, oh, yeah, all great movies. Yeah, he's, he's a good filmmaker. I mean, it's a good storyteller for sure, so... I don't yeah. doubt that, that it's a good movie. And if you haven't seen any of the other movies, check those out as well. They're great. I, I found myself and Andy, you'll, you might appreciate this. Um, I mean, because, you know, I, every time a Marvel movie, uh, like any of the like Marvel movies are coming out now, I always find myself like literally in like five theaters over watching the smaller movie that came out at, the same time like i remember when i, I went and saw no way home of course spider-man yeah. yeah. but but thursday night when everyone else was saying no way home i saw nightmare alley and then mm -hmm. i forgot what was the other one such that like good movie. Oh, such a good movie El toro man there was another one that didn't that got kind of glossed over but you know it's, it's a great so noir great noir type movie bradley know? cooper and Fantastic. oh kate blanchett, kate, kate blanchett. Uh, i've always oh. had a crush on her i don't know I've always had a crush on her. That that woman age is like fine wine. Anyways, she doesn't right. age. That's the thing. She doesn't. doesn't she looks age. exactly the same. Yeah. That's why. I, that's why I have a. Yeah. Jesus. I think the first uh, time I saw. Her, yeah. <laughs> I think the first time I saw her was in the talented Mr. Ripley. So. Hmm. hmm. I wonder when I first saw her. Mm. When was when was that? Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, that was like nineties. Yeah. Good movie too. Um, I remember the last Matt Damon, I Jude Law, Philip yeah. Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, Jude, Jude Law. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> yes, yes. It's but, still, uh, it, it's still. I can't. I still forget that he is gone. Like you know, when I, I was like the other day, I saw like a clip for like one of the original uh, Hunger Games movies. Um, oh yeah, he was in there. Uh, right. Yeah. And like, and I, and I see him. I'm, I'm like, man, I haven't seen him in a while. I'm like, all right, we did lose him pretty early. So yeah, sadly. Teen, I think. Maybe a little later. Name, I think it was. Uh, I 
know. Gone too soon, man. Oh, absolutely. I remember the first time I saw him was Boogie Nights, maybe, or Twister. I think, they, they, they I think I think I yeah I would have seen him in Twister, but I didn't. Yeah. Kn- but it was one of those things where I don't remember him in Twister. I go what? back. He was such a presence in that movie. I, I saw the movie one time. It's one of those really? movies that I saw once. And, and and it's not a knock against the movie. It was just at the time it came out, it was like, I saw it once. I saw it at home. I rented it, uh, you know, back when you got DVDs. And and then I just never saw it again. But I think once again, I saw him again. And t- I think the first time yeah. he made an impression on me was Talented Mr. Ripley. So 19, 1996, when Twister came out, that was the movie of blockbusters. He had like Independence Day. I think Mission Impossible. Yep. Yeah. There was just like that. I, that was the year. 96 was a year. Yeah. yeah, 96 was a year that just, man. I, my freshman, I, I, I was my freshman year of high school. Jeez. You were in high school? Oh, wow. I, I was a freshman. Yes, a freshman. I was just three years old. Like I was like I think I I was just walking around like. I was Why are you gonna make it so old? Ah, yeah. Hey, I wanna I need to find someone in the chat for a second because I I don't I if 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 you're gonna come from one of my homeboys, it's not all right. Um, uh-huh. uh, someone I don't wanna give I don't wanna talk to say his name, but he's saying oh so Scott saved all the diverse Marvel movies to watch privately, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he just said. Oh, he said besides two of them that he saw, all the other ones he hasn't seen, and a lot of them are white. Oh. So, yeah, and also Scott was so. You know what? I was so proud when Scott DM'd me and tell tell me that he had booked his tickets for Blue Beetle. So yeah, you know what? He goes and sees that first movie in theaters. You know what? He also works a lot of jobs. So don't be a prick. Coming from my okay. homeboys, like ain't no right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Andy. The thing is, I just I go see movies. That's that's the that's the thing. And I and it's whatever. But you know, yeah. I just I mean I didn't like the I didn't like Captain Marvel. I didn't like the first Captain Marvel movie. And I still need to watch Ms. Marvel. Ms. On, Marvel, it's enjoyable. It's it, it kind of falls off very a little bit at the, at, a little bit at the end, but like it I has said, a very it's very strong. When you guys were talking about it, when I found out they did a whole episode about the Great Partition, I was like, oh, now I need to like like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah. made me go, oh, oh that's like I need to see this now. Te- that's like almost like appointment television. If I if like if, if this is aired on like let's say ABC for example, uh, which ironically it did this year, uh, but like if it had aired, like, if this was a broadcast TV show and I see a trailer. For next week on Miss Marvel, the Great Partition. I'm like, what the fuck? They're gonna do? They're gonna actually do this? But instead, you know, for us, like, you know, we just have to wait. Oh, we will just wait till next week. Uh, but we don't have a trailer, for example. So yeah, that was that's that's a huge, a very important episode. Well, and that's why I want to get to it. But it's just so many things. Like I just finally binged the last two episodes of Gen V a couple oh, of days ago. I watched that yeah. last week. I binged all this oh, today. Oh still my haven't god! Finished it, but uh, I've watched three episodes. Yeah, there, I, 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 I told you wrong. I, it's eight. There's eight total. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we were talking about how many there were. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's um, eight. And then did we get wait for the boys season four yet? Uh, no, they've just released teaser posters, but it's coming yeah. out next year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because Eric Kripke, once the strike was over, he released a tweet that said, like, he gave all the, this is done, this is done, uh, this is halfway, like, he, er, it, go into that. Eric Kripke's uh, Twitter feed, and he has a single tweet that has, like, the rundown. The big thing they were waiting on was that now the strike is over, uh, Boy, actors can come back and do ADR. ADR, ADR. Yeah, right. yeah, that's all that, too. No, that's great. I mean, yeah, Jen, I mean... I waited a little bit, but then, yeah, I saw uh, is the season finale already happened, right? Yeah, yeah, it happened. yeah it's, 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 that was it's, last it's, week. It's, this week was Loki. Yeah, and it was, it was a pretty weird. short episode, like the season finale. Was it? Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah, but like I still... less than four, like, like less than forty minutes. It was I like right 30... around forty minutes. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. Oh, it was, yeah. That's fine. Damn. Get get to it. End it and fucking yeah. And then we got Invincible. I got to. So I, I have it right. I need to start. That's the next. Now that I've caught up on Gen V, I need to start watching season two of Invincible. Um, and then, uh, like I said, but I wanted to get to, I, I got Gen V finished. I had to go to work. Uh, and then, you know, if school hadn't been out on Friday and I didn't have my whole family, you know, hanging around the house when I normally would be catching up on things on Friday mornings, <laughs> I would have, I'd be, I'd be caught up on all this stuff, but yeah. I, uh, I need to watch, I need to finish the killer. And I, the only reason I didn't finish it last night was because it was like, I was starting at like 1145 at yeah. night. And it just like after about an hour and a half, no knock on the movie. I was interested. 
but there's only so far like interested it gets you before your body starts going. Well, yeah, and it's I, I can imagine it's not like a it's not it's probably a it's not a, an action movie, <laughs> you know. It's no, it's, there's a, funny enough though when I stopped, it was like this really you know not big action, but a action sequence yeah. that just occurred, okay. and I just kind of went, okay, my body is like go to bed now. <laughs> yeah, there, there is something interesting about that though, because sometimes when you're if you're watching something that is like totally grabbing your attention, you want to stay awake and your body's going, fuck you. You're going to, you're going to sleep. But then there'll be times where like, something's like not grabbing your attention and you, and you were like, hope it would put you to sleep, but it doesn't. It's yep. like that whole thing. Yeah. Like, oh God. I've, I've, I've unfortunately, how many times have you tried it? You were like, I got to watch this and your body's just going, Nope, <laughs> Nope. You know, because it's like the more you try to stay awake, the less like it. Yeah. Out. but I, I yeah i'm gonna watch that hopefully tomorrow i'm gonna watch loki and then, uh and then watch the killer because i'm a fincher fanatic fanatic i guess oh, uh, that was the thing <laughs> and, and, Andy, i know you're about to say something but, Sorry. But, but let me say one thing i i still remember the moment that i realized that i was a fincher fanatic i it was i had just watched gone girl mm. and i was giving one of my kids a bath and while they were playing, I just was fiddling on my phone a little bit. I said, oh, let me look. Let me. I know I, I went down the rabbit hole of looking at Fincher's filmography. And then I started looking at all the movies that Fincher had directed. And I went, that fuck, one. I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fight Club is one of my all time favorite movies. Seven. Oh, seven, seven. Seven is like my Zodiac. second favorite of his. I haven't seen those in a hot minute. Uh, yeah, Zodiac's um, great. Zodiac's a fucking phenomenal. Zodiac's the fantastic. Only, the only yeah. Fincher movie to this day, and I just got it on sale like a few months ago. Because the only Fincher movie, there's two Fincher movies I've never seen. One of them will shock you because everyone has apparently seen it, but me. Which Alien is Alien Three. No, I've seen Alien Three. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, I've director's seen Director's cut. Director's cut. I I still need to see the director's cut. You have, have yeah, that's the best cut. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It doesn't take much to make that movie better. I'm just no, gonna it say no, it no, it does not. <laughs> um, but I've never seen the Social Network. Yes. So I need. I still need to see that. Oh, and, I'm jealous. I'm jealous that you get to be someone that they watch it for the first time. Um, uh, and so then cool. I've never seen Panic Room. Oh yeah, Panic Room's good too. That's a young Kristen Stewart in there, man. With Jodie Foster. Yeah. Uh, genuinely shocked you haven't seen Leto's in that movie too yeah yeah but i've seen but i've seen everything else and you know and and at a certain point i've seen it in theaters like i i was i I think it was at salver it was salvor on uh twitter that we were lamenting the fact that i never got more girl with a dragon tattoo movies from fincher oh yeah that was also a good one too i know we got a sequel but it wasn't it wasn't as strong from him I don't think it, it wasn't, wasn't no, it wasn't from him and it wasn't based on one of Steve Larson's novels. Right. Yeah, it was right. interesting because I remember watching it and just like I was just not impressed. Because when you watch the Fincher one and you could tell it's a Fincher, and, and you know, it's got Daniel Craig, it's got uh Kate Mara. Kate Mara, the, the Kate Mara, or is it Mooney? No. Mooney. Oh no, Rooney yeah. Mara. Rooney, Rooney Mara. Rooney. Uh, Rooney. Rooney. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. sister. Yeah, that's right. I was like, wait, they're sisters, wait, right? They're yeah. sisters? Oh, I didn't know oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate Mara and Rudy oh, Mara. Yeah. <laughs> Sisters. Uh Miss Mrs. Joaquin Phoenix. Uh they're married, right? Or really? yeah. anyways. Uh but yeah, it's just like it's just when so. you you know, you just didn't I don't know, it just didn't feel they try to make it more like an action movie, I think, you know. But that might also be that. based on the, the it was adapting it was adapting a book, but it was adapting a book that was written by somebody else using those characters ah okay okay but uh i mean scott i was also talking about how like uh godzilla minus one i i don't know are you how are you how are you with the monster movies i don't think we've ever really talked about um actually i own i own the uh criterion collection box set of the original showa era godzilla movies okay and 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 If, if, if you can Watch this movie. Oh, oh it you. is. I am just waiting on. I'm going to go see Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes on Thursday. And once I see that, I'll free up an A-list reservation. And then I'm immediately going to book my ticket for Godzilla, Godzilla. Minus One. Good. Because I, <clears throat> of the MonsterVerse movies that have come out recently, that first one is yeah. like, that's the yeah. one that that's the one for me like are I you excited love... about monarch it, 
And I'm telling you, and I'm telling oh, I'm, you, and I'm looking forward yeah. to Monarch. I want to yeah. watch. I want to watch Monarch on Apple TV Plus because Apple TV Plus makes damn good television. They definitely do. But I'm telling you, Scott, like uh, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure you've heard me say it and stuff. But I'm like, this movie's up there. It might be my favorite Godzilla movie. Like it's <gasps> like it's just crazy. Like I was so shocked just because. What do these movies suffer from? The human stories usually suck, and this human story, you're like, and it's just. Oh, it just blew me did away. Did you have a like, Zilla wow. With that? Did you have a... <laughs> <laughs> did you... Did you... I shouldn't be laughing at my own joke. I'm horrible. Did you Did you have a Zilla <laughs> A Zilla gasm? Yeah, a little bit. You know what's kind of funny, though? You know what's something I was thinking about uh, watching it last night? Because obviously you're... In... At a premiere, there's Godzilla fans everywhere. It's just funny how, like, you cheer for Godzilla right when you first see him. You're like, there's the big guy. Yeah, just destruction and blah, blah, blah. But then at the end, you're like, kill that motherfucker. Kill him. What the hell? Get rid of He's like, you know, it's like you flip flop on him. Because obviously it's like you cheered to see him and him doing his things, you know. But then at the same time, you're like, all right, now you got to die, dude. Now you got to like, or at least <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, die, whatever. You always have to flip flop on Godzilla, you know. It's like you you first you root for him, you love seeing him, but then it's like, all right, now you gotta like go away. Well, which is what I like about the 2014 version was the fact that it's like, yeah, he was making causing destruction, but he was also defeating the the worst monsters, yeah. you know. So then it became like Godzilla is Godzilla is an antihero. Can we can we agree on that? Godzilla is an antihero. Yeah, but uh, in this it movie, depend, well, it depends on. It really depends on which movie you're watching. Yeah, in minus right, zero, he is yeah. not a hero. He oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, not, oh, yeah. I'm, and... I'm only talking about MonsterVerse right now. I'm not. Oh kidding. okay, I'm, oh, you know, okay, yeah. I'm talking, you know, like they, they, you know, yes. Well, in Godzilla vs Kong, he is kind of the villain, kinda. I still haven't. Uh, I still you haven't seen Kong? Godzilla vs Kong. I still really? haven't seen that one. Wow. Yeah, wow. I saw that in the theaters on a date, and I was like, oh my god, this this was not the movie on a date. Yeah. Yeah, it was not the movie for that. Was not the right. Did you movie. choose that or did she? Uh, I did. Oh, I mean, that, 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 that's I'm not, that's not fucked up. That's not believable. You yeah, up. I fucked up. So, so, Axel, so Axel, Axel, not, not to go full reporter on you for a second, but like when you made the decision to take yeah. your date on a movie that deals with monsters, what what do you feel that they conveyed to your know, date just, and to yourself? Like, do you feel like like where did you send? <laughs> Next time, is we'll a monster. next time we'll Axel made choices. Make her oh, pick no. the movie next time. Yeah. Learning okay. experience. Or you, or you kind of just like, hey, or babe, they're just it's, you're me. And, you mean we're just like Godzilla and Kong? We fight each other. <laughs> like, was that was that was that? Oh, that <laughs> oh shit! I believe in true love, but as I'm, I, I'm thinking like Godzilla is Kong. I'm like for a date, like the, um, no, no, Andy, you might agree movie. with this. I would this. have taken a date to see Mortal Kombat over Godzilla vs Kong. Yeah. My God! But the funny thing that. is, the best way to see a bad movie on a date is when you both agreed to go see the movie. And then you both realize. Oh no, we did agree to watch it together. Like, I wasn't like, yo, uh, you're gonna come with me to this movie. Whoa, what the hell just happened, Scott? Did you just I don't know. Did you, know? Did you fart? <laughs> Uh, oh my! I thought I was having a stroke. I thought, I thought you did. I thought you did something, Dave. I did nothing. I was not touching anything. Wait, did, did what? Say, wait, what? Wait, okay, did, maybe maybe we said a key word. <laughs> Fireworks. I saw that date. Happen. No, no. Come. We both Godzilla. agreed. That was weird. I, I, I am to be celebrated. Bad movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's a bad no, idea. That that had to be something with like your camera. What? That was, what? I don't know. Oh my god! I thought I was having a stroke. I'm like, this is it, Andy. This is it. This is it. Because I'm like, because you three were like reacting so slowly. But I'm like, this is it. I'm dead. And then you're like, what is going on here? Ooh. Um. But um. What a yeah. Well, a great um. Great choice, Axel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. How did, it's all good. It wasn't really a date. Was just, uh, uh, you, you, you called it a date. You called it a date. Yeah, just hanging out. Whatever. It's fine. It didn't the work bed, out. The, right? I, I still remember the first movie I saw with my wife on our on our first date. 
And the only reason we went to a movie is because we drank so much on our first date. We had to sit through something to sober up to drive home at the night. End what of the it? night. National Treasure 2. That's a good one. I like Better. that movie, but that's a funny one. <laughs> uh, you know, it just it doesn't hold the candle to the first one for oh, me. No, but no. literally, it was it was one of those things where you walked up to the movie because the movie theater is walking distance from the restaurant. And it was literally one of those. It was the only thing, like, it was the only thing showing. Like, like at the, at the when we walked up to it, it's like, if you're going to go buy a ticket for a movie and you have to go to the movie that is playing at that moment, and that was, like, our only option. And it, I mean, it wasn't, it's not, it's not a bad movie. It just, it just isn't the first one. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think the last movie I saw on, like, a, a legitimate date that I went on was, like, was the Batman. And matter of fact, funny enough, to Scott's point, like, I got, kind of drunk before seeing the movie so i'm pretty <laughs> glad that movie was a three-hour movie damn near because i was the one driving yeah. Yeah. it was it was sober up okay yeah um, hi right hey ray up by the way she's in the oh, yeah, ray is out there. oh ray is the chat oh cool hey, ray. Showed up. Um, all right good to see you but uh you know the marvels good. the marvels right. The Marvels. Nah, I mean, we're. I think we're over talking about that. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Andy's poor face. Oh, and oh, Andy's poor heart. Well, what else do you have to say about the Marvels? Heart but, just shattered well, into a million. We, we didn't talk about any plot, but we talked about like the effects and what stuff. We talked about. We talked about like what's the plot? The plot. Hey, is... well, don't spoil anything from me because I will. Yeah, because okay, now, okay, okay. Okay. now can we, we just can we just here? celebrate? Can we just celebrate how? Well, great at least he missed the whole mid credit sequence talk, so he doesn't have to worry about that. <laughs> can we at least talk about how knew... great Kamala Khan is in the MCU and that we don't? Okay, we yeah. don't, okay, we we don't deserve. Her. We don't deserve Iman Balani. Wait, like we yeah. like Kevin Feige should be fucking lucky that he has her. Yeah. No, she's great. That's the best part. She's the best part, which we all knew was going to be. Okay. Great. If Kevin Feige's lucky to have anyone at the moment, it's Tom Hiddleston, Iman Vellani, Tom Holland, and, and Ryan Reynolds. And Ryan Reynolds. Thank you. Yep. Those are <laughs> and, the big Hugh, four. And, and Hugh Jackman. Well, I mean, yeah, but that Hugh comes Jackman. with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It, it kind of comes with the package of Ryan Reynolds. Like, yeah. Hey, you know, you, I would you, say, do like, do we not think he's going to stick around? Do we not think nah, he's going to stick around like, after nah, that? I don't see him sticking around. Not because for too it's long, just no. like, I think like Secret Wars and then yep, and that's it. You know, yeah. like, I really need to get something off my chest. Like, like I am looking oh, forward to Deadpool. <laughs> I am looking forward to Deadpool three, but it just sounds really overwhelming with like all the cameos and stuff. That like, just makes me like, you oh, know what? I, okay. I actually agree with him. I actually agree it with him a little bit. Okay, hold hold the fucking phone here. But How many you... cameos are actually confirmed in this movie? Oh, I'll tell I, you I, I one. That, Electra, think... Electra, Wolverine. Okay, we can almost guarantee that fucking Taylor Swift's going to be in this movie, too. Okay, yeah. You know what would be funny? If Blake Lively is the one who's in the movie and not Taylor Swift. That would be laugh. hilarious. As I a would dazzler. fucking laugh. I, I laugh fucking, listen, so I, listen, 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 listen. Everyone, listen. I am a Gossip Girl fan. I love Blake Lively. Serena is my homegirl. So if she wants to finally get back in the combo movie, because that was one, that was the number one. Re I didn't even know who Ryan Reynolds was when I saw it, when, when Green Lantern was coming. I'm like, I'm watching Green Lantern because of Blake Lively. Like, I'm like, you know, because my sister was the one who grew up with her, him and, um, which Blade movie was he in? Was it the Free second Trinity. one? Trinity. The free one. Like, the third one. The third one. Yeah, so like for me, like, I, Blake Lively is my girl. She's my queen. Uh, if she's in that pole free in any capacity, I will. That's a cameo I want. I don't need like. No, hey, by the way, Andy, to your point though, oh, she was Paris. fabulous in A Simple Plan with Anna Kendrick. I did. Oh, was oh, fucking yeah, great though. and accepted did, too. Did you see her with Anakin? that? Did you see her oh, in Anna Kendrick? Okay. What is it Anna Kendrick? That no, he didn't. That didn't even sound remotely like Annika, sweetie. Uh, did you see the one where she was in with um, with Harrison Ford? Which one was that one? It's it's one where, like she can't age. Oh oh oh! What was it called? I forgot what it was called. Yeah, it was called Anna Annabelle Annabelle Jezebel. Like Age of Adeline. Yeah, Age, Age of Adeline. Adeline. There, it is. Yeah. there it is. That's yeah. a good movie. I good can't movie. believe I just pulled that out of my ass. <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, wait, oh yeah, I remember that one. Totally. That was a that. really good movie with her. Like, yeah, Blake, you know, Blake Lively, like she's fucking, she's a fucking good actress. Yeah. She's gorgeous. That yeah. too. Yeah. Very that much so. Especially in Accepted. Oh my God. Oh, oh man. That's right. Second. She was in that. Holy yes, which one was, yes, which was. one was that? Which one so was that's that? That's Justin Long, Jonah Hill. It's basically where Justin Long doesn't get University. accepted into any college, so he decides to create his own. Yeah. That's oh great. my god. Yeah, ask, me about, ask me about my wiener. Yeah. Yep. That <laughs> when he's dressed up um, in the hot dog, he's like, ask me about my wiener. Yeah. 
pretty funny. Fucking hilarious movie. Yeah, uh, that movie. Before Did Jonah you... Hill was like big, you know, like star Jonah Hill, pre super bad. Yeah. Yes, that was. And then like and then and then, and then we learned that he was a, that he's a complete uh, psycho. Apparently, <laughs> he is. Um, I'm yeah, he is so a... glad he wasn't the Riddler. No penguin. Oh, was it Pen- I heard it was Penguin. You know what? It's a little it stereotypical. If they wanted him for Penguin, and he wanted to be Riddler. I think. I think that, was that what it, what it was? I'm pretty yeah. sure that's that's. that's but honestly, even like even though, if I, even, though, even though I don't like him as a person, like, I can understand why he wouldn't want to play the Penguin because, like, oh, just because I'm the big guy, it's like you know. I get I'm it. I'm just brought back to like that. Been. Like that old fan art when Jesse Eisenberg got cast as Lex Luthor, there was a mock up of him. There was Michael Sarah as the Joker, and then right behind him was Jonah Hill and like a Michael Sarah penguin hat. Yeah, that's funny. And then and then and then Michael Sarah wound up being Robin in Lego Batman movie. Go figure. Everything comes full circle. Yeah, yeah, there's something I I, yeah I I was trying to forget that lip. So uh, (laughs) I love the Lego Batman movie. I love. No, I know. I mean, I mean, I I was trying to forget that Michael Sarah was Robin. I don't like Michael Sarah. Oh, why? His existence just annoys me. So yeah. you don't like him at all as Scott Pilgrim? I didn't think so. Okay. okay. Uh, Which, by the way, the more I see from that anime on Netflix, I am cannot wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Really excited for that. Oh my god! Cannot wait. Oh. I'm giving the Marvels four out of five. By the way, just for the record. Oh, now. Oh, nice. behind it. I give it one point. Seven. Dave, <laughs> Davery. Not a good movie. It's just not a good movie. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just not a good movie. Okay, so what do you what do you rate Ant Man Quantum Mania? I mean, Ant Man and the Wasp. Man, you know, Ant Man Ant Man and the Anti Baxter Quantum Mania. <laughs> oh, Jesus <God>. Christ! <laughs> well, yeah, I forgot about all that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I recently rewatched that lately too. Funny enough, um, I would probably give that a two point seven. <gasps> two point eight. Two point eight. You give you give that piece of shit a high rating in the Marvel that has yeah, because Paul Rudd. I love Paul Rudd. Yeah, but Paul, Paul just does the same thing every time as Ant Man. It's like, yeah. okay, I'm just Paul, a little he's goofy, like a little, shrinking. He's great. And, he's a treasure. I love Paul Rudd. Yeah. I hate him because he doesn't age. Um, he does oh yeah, age. you know what? Uh, How Jordan says in the, uh, Blake Lively was awesome in the town. I bet after that, oh, yeah, she, she was, was in the oh, town. Like, yeah, she was in the town. Yeah, yeah. she oh, was so right. dark. Like the, it was like her with an accent and shit. I'm like, I'm like, this ain't Serena Vanderbilt anymore. <laughs> catch catch, catch a girl on netflix or wherever it's streaming now yes. it's on mm. i think it's netflix or is it oh, max that's i'm about to rewatch it the in, town now. Type it in google it'll show you that's all well it feels, it feels like gossip girl is jumping from netflix to hbo from uh, from, from netflix to max every uh it's called it should have been called hbo max like why are we calling it max it has no brand recognition whatsoever careful yeah. if you say that online casey boys will find you and talk to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey no. daddy boys. Hey, daddy boys. I don't give you shit if you're gonna. You, if you wanna troll me, troll right to my face. I don't care. Yeah, Mr. Boys, I would just like to let you know, I did not like Peacemaker. Feel free yeah. to at me at Unfiltered <laughs> any which way you want. I don't care. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Wait, can we, can we talk bored. about John Cena's cancellation? Because like when that happened, I'm like, wait a minute. So now, not, so now, even white people movie are not even safe with Warner Brothers. Okay, now, 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 now. Oh, yeah, oh, John, Cena, that, yeah. Yeah, John Cena's movie. I was like, now, white people, you know, movie with with some of the whitest, biggest actors in Hollywood, like John Cena. If that's not even safe, it's, not, like, it's never about color, Andy. It's never about color. I'm not movie. kidding. No, but listen, that was my initial reaction. <laughs> but now I'm thinking, like, what's what filmmakers? Nobody's safe. Movie. So Nobody's something's saying. moving its lips. Oh, it's a cat. Never mind. I was like, wow. Like, why is there's? I thought it was like a creature walking around. <laughs> but it's like, why? It is a creature. She is a creature. Well, she's a cute. I just got a kitten, by the way. For so me, there's that too. For, for for me, I'm just like, I'm just wondering at this point, like, how are you as a filmmaker in Hollywood going to feel safe working for the studio? Like, you know what's ironic is... about that is like Christopher Nolan was just had this big spread in variety, and he's like, oh yeah, Pam. DeLuca, or sorry, Pam Abdi, Mike DeLuca, and Zaslav, they're all doing good stuff over there. I'd work with them again. I'm just like, oh, and then the news comes out about him axing the Acme movie, and it's like, oh, 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 oh. I I would, I mean, I wouldn't, I would stay, I would stay so far away because it's just the idea of you're going to, you can completely film a movie. It can be all like in the can. Mm Mm-hmm. And then they can say, nah, nah. we're not going to roll it. Nah. Tax write-downs. 
Yeah. And it tested really well, apparently, too. Like, really well. Like, very positively. And I'm just like, you would think if you have a movie that tests that positively, you'd do something to get a buck off of it. But hey, you know, there's a business angle there, I suppose, that we're just not now, privy to. Oh, okay, now, here's something, though, that I'm curious about. <laughs> because content has been removed. Like, I, And I'm going to use this as an example because it's one of the first times I've seen something like this happen. In this era of things being erased from existence but like the princess it was on hulu it got taken off i remember because i watched it like the last day before it got taken off hulu and now it's been brought back and they're selling it like you can buy or rent it you can't stream it on hulu anymore so you know all these things that have been disappearing off of streaming services and you were and we thought like they were just going to be gone forever it's interesting that they're able to like turn so there was a reason for dropping it but yet they can turn around and then start selling it and i'm just kind of curious like is there a loophole wasn't there something like you have to pay some of that money back like i i'm i'm very curious about the legal and financial nature of Same. you you That's write fair. something off and well my understanding was if you write it off you can't make any money off of it without it, you know, well, you're having to pay that right off back. So I'm just well, I, I thought I thought they couldn't even distribute it. That's why they I think that's one of the reasons why they do this is because distribution costs, you know, a well, lot. They probably, well, let's say, say it theoretically, if, if, if they put it on their Warner Brothers YouTube channel with no like they don't do the advertising and uh, mo the monetization whatsoever. They can't. They so, can't even do that. They they make money from that. No, they, I mean if they put it on that, I mean even on YouTube, <laughs> it wouldn't. I mean, yeah, it, you'd have to get like millions. You have to get like Mr. Beast type fucking views yeah. on, and they wouldn't get that on there. I, I think it just comes down to maybe they just didn't have faith in uh, the fact that you have this hybrid movie that's a kid's movie, but maybe there's some adult things in there, but maybe not enough to appeal to adults. I don't know. It's like, I, I, w w what did they say the budget was? Like 30 million or 40 million or 50? I don't know. I don't what know. But, Wait, but I'm pretty sure. But again, you always, have, you always have to tack on like, you know, 30, 40 more, more million at least. Uh, anytime they report like a budget, you know that they're down. They're 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 downplaying it. that number. Yeah, they're totally... Ray, you brought up a good uh, question in the chat. If we can bring it up, like because I hadn't even thought about this. Okay, but first, before we do that, we're gonna bring somebody else in here. <gasps> uh, where the fuck? I can't even find. Oh, there so many clips. That is the sexiest thing I have ever seen. Casey. Hey. And with hey. no camera. After all that. <laughs> Yeah, what's going on, Kevin? <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing it's well. Yeah, doing good. So much great stuff to talk about, right? <laughs> yeah. Lots. Well, I mean, now that you're you're here, you're I mean, no, besides me and Andy, nobody else has seen the Marvels. Obviously, uh, oh. now I mean, we were gonna talk about spoilers, but you know, we're gonna uh, we talked about spoilers earlier before Scott came on, and he didn't hear anything. So now that Scott's here, we're gonna you know. So now it's not, so that's all Scott's fault. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I own that. It's you know. <laughs> yeah. We can speak in code. We can speak in code, Dave. I know, right? Uh, but all right. So first off, Casey, what'd you think? I think that it's getting overhated yeah. <laughs> because um, I feel like there's a lot of great elements in the movie that they set up um, and the plot points have been, you know, properly set up, but not explored enough because I felt that, you know, um, there were a lot of deep, um, you know, elements in the movie that could have been explored, which would actually uh, make Captain Marvel and the others even better mm -hmm. um, as a char as characters, but also I feel like Captain Marvel herself um, has been improved a lot, obviously because of better writing and directors and whatnot. And this time around, I finally liked her character, and it was kind of similar to, um, you know, how Clark's character is shown in Man of Steel. So it's not the perfect type of, you know, role model, superhero and all of that, which kind of they were trying to play with that, you know, pre-Endgame and setting up 
um setting her up in her uh, first movie i think the first movie was absolutely trash like it was <laughs> literally so bad okay. i just did not like her at all and she was good in endgame um but that's very limited so you can't really tell but in this movie she was really fine uh really cool and you know fun to watch and also she was likable like as char as a character she had that. flaws yeah she had flaws and more depth and it's not just that stoic kind of you know overpowered character um so i liked that part of it and i liked obviously the chemistry is awesome between the three um you know miss marvel is awesome and the entire family is awesome um i was surprised by how much uh action there was and the humor also was pretty good because you know miss marvel's humor is awesome yeah so the story is basic um the villain is also basic but i really liked the story of the villain of how it tied to captain marvel i really loved that but i wish that was explored more again like with more time and stuff um so there's a lot that i like and i actually wish the movie was longer like after it yes, ended so thank you. release the costa cut <laughs> But I don't know if she actually had, you know, a longer movie there. I just feel like she tried to introduce some stuff, but did not either have time to explore them or just did not want to. Because mm. it was all there, like the deep character moments and all of that. It was there. Even with the villain character at the end, it was there. But um, yeah, everything else I felt was well done. It's not like the top tier Marvel movie, um, sure. But it it really gave me that vibe of the pre phase four mcu which i really dig and the uh kree stuff i obviously love because of agents of shield i'm always fascinated by the kree stuff and uh yeah um overall i felt that it should have been longer you know explored more themes and stuff like that and yeah the post credit scene was also cool but i didn't feel much for it yeah. <laughs> because you kind of go like it, well how is that yeah, yeah yeah i mean it was kind of a lazy way to introduce it was, was introduced you know, yeah it was kind of interesting but yeah. it's whatever but, i guess it's fine yeah okay that's good yeah i just yeah to me it was just it just felt like a disney movie oh i loved the switching the technique they used yeah, but I, it I, was I was confused so by it because done. i was like wow well, okay so but i, I think well, they, that sounds like a that, yeah they, they, that sounds like a you problem not a that problem so uh, you know like, no but uh, like I be? technically achieving it was really good like the camera was moving and mid fight they were switching yeah, no, no, uh, it was like, that was perfect cool position. So I, I even like, liked it when they were trying to figure out how to you you utilize yeah, that. The montage was really cool. You could tell that they had like fun doing that. They were having a lot of fun doing that. Now yeah. I actually did like that little montage. I kind of want to see on the. Uh, I hope there's a feature right, when they actually show us like how they were doing it. Of like, you know, did you say? Yeah. Do they do their pose and then they say cut? Now you switch places or like do they just? I I I'm just. It would be so difficult to match three people and doing three different takes with the same people. Yeah, I feel like, like they use VFX. Yeah, mm. it, of course. A lot of yeah, a lot of VFX. How did you feel about the VFX? It was pretty cool. Like for the most part, it was cool. Some flying sequences were, you know, green screen. Like, like anytime that. she was land, like like she would land and right? then walk, it would yeah. get all jerky. Like, like you couldn't just fix that. Like it just. Wait, wait what do you mean? Weird. Like when she like when she would like fly wait, in wait, and then wait, like wait, have to like wait, walk. Wait, wait, All of a sudden it would just it would get like 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 she would like be jerky. You know I don't know how you say it jerky, not beef jerky, but you know just kind of like which, which she are you talking about? Are you talking about Carol, the, Monica, Captain or... Marvel, the main okay. one? The, the, yeah, because I mean the she's the one that mainly one. flies and lands. Uh, they all, yeah, they would, but they they did. I'm pretty sure. Oh well, yeah, Monica does one. too, but you know it's not a lot, and and <clears> Miss Marvel does not fly. That was i actually really like the concepts as well that they introduced like the problems they introduced and the solutions they came up with uh were pretty cool like for example you know photons flying like she can only f you know touch people when she's not flying but when she's flying she can't that was wow. really funny <laughs> okay cool. like it's a cool power to you know think about mid-flight you know how to save someone while flying when you can't touch them <laughs> That was yeah. That was actually that was actually pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. predicament. It's a predicament. Also, also, uh, Casey, because this is mandatory, uh, I need you to say as much nice things as you can about Imam Balani as Kamala Khan. 
she is amazing. Like I from the very first episode, I I just loved her, you know, in the yeah. show and like the entire aura around her with her family, you know, the vibe she gives, the the um the joy she brings and all of that. It's it's pretty great. Like she's such a huge asset to the MCU. Like within one show she became such a huge asset and now um okay, I won't go into spoilers, but there's some big stuff with her in the future, right? So that's cool. Yeah. There is. Which will be good. Hopefully. But anyways, um, I can, by, 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 I can just say this, like if anyone ever needs, like, you know, for people wondering, like, you know, cause I was talking to my dad earlier. So basically my parents are essentially like Kam Kam Kamala's parents. Yeah. Like, like it's like, there's <laughs> literally a line her mom says that my mom has said in real life too, when she doesn't, you know, when she's like talking about, um, uh, Oh, I'm so happy for you. Uh, for yeah. <laughs> like my, my mom has said like, for being like, I'm so happy for you. Now give me the answers that I actually want. <laughs> no, the family's great. Like I said, I, I like the family. I didn't really understand why they cast you know, that family. Yeah. It's a really, yeah. 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 No, they're, they're, they're likable. They're definitely likable, but. Yeah. Also, also by the way, because I was like rewatching Miss Marvel, I'm like, her brother Amir is like, he's kind of hot. Now that I'm really, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm kind of just like, yeah. There's that one scene at the he's end married. uh with the remote that I just <laughs> laughed so hard. Uh, the remote. Yeah, scene. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoever said he's married, I'm like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Listen, Tom. Tom Welling has had two wives, and I still, you know, I call yeah. him whenever I can. What does that mean? No, you know but what? I, I understand like, just... that. I understand that perspective because Kat Dennings is engaged. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, is, is this the point where we're going to start fighting about two broke girls again that we did a couple of months ago? Like, I, for some reason, everyone was like, "Andy, how dare you like two broke girls?" I'm like, "It's just for my brain to relax." Like, Nobody said, "How dare you?" We just didn't agree. <laughs> That's all. You guys, you guys, that, I could not, I could not. You treated me like Axel. You're treating me, I was Axel. Uh, Phil is giving such low key vibes, yeah, with the green. Low no, actually, yeah, low yeah. Riddler and the vibes. smoke, yeah, low Riddler I can do either or. Am I still don't know? Loki who also know was so left, fucking by good. the way. Oh my god, Loki was fucking phenomenal. That I haven't seen great. it yet. No spoilers. I mean, I, all I'm season two is, is just is by phenomenal. far the best MCU show, by really? far. Best since the uh, I'm, I'm I'm thinking it's safe to say that Loki is the best MCU show without question. It period. Bar none. I mean, Daredevil, Age yep. of Shield still exist. So I don't count that. I just love how sci-fi and self-contained it was. What's yeah. that? Disney Plus. Disney Plus for sure. Yeah, but, but it's a it's the best maybe the best sec, uh, season two of a uh, Disney Plus show. Well, it's the only one that I think has a season two. I feel it's yeah. the oh, best also... season overall. Yeah, I don't know. Better than the first I don't season. know. You know what? Yeah, because the ending of season two pretty much kind of trumps season one yeah. almost. Yeah. The oh, yeah. Of one. oh, yeah. Even though, without, even, even though the ending of season one is just absolutely phenomenal in its own it's right, too. too. Just, yeah. WandaVision was along. great and oh, yeah. uh, Miss Marvel was great, but I feel like Loki season two just, you know, just on another level. Scott, yeah, I cannot wait for you to see Ms. Marvel. I cannot wait for you to see Ms. Marvel. It is. I think you're gonna like eat it up, Scott. Like, like I, I, I am almost convinced. If you love Blue Beetle for the family, so you will love Ms. Marvel for mm. the family stuff too. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. And just yeah, where they like take it. the character, and like you said, you know what you read. What was it again? That's part of the story that you that that you heard about, Scott. The partition. Partition. The partition. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because I, I read a book called The Night Diary that was all yeah. was about a family having to get from, I think, Pakistan to India. You know, when, you know, when that happens and you're like, yeah. oh, yes, yeah, suddenly there's magically a country now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're all, yeah, you're definitely going to like that um, for sure. But tomorrow, what's happening tomorrow? Football? Or I, I heard there was some football Monday. being played. Yeah. Monday, tomorrow. El football americano, yeah. Uh, when we got this right oh, here, oh, oh, we have the second trailer. Oh, it's, it's a teaser trailer for the trailer. Yes. This is the dawn of something better. Ah, Woo! I see what he did there. The dawn of justice. Dawn no, of justice. I have you seen the meme that's like dawn of justice. So it's the movie. Uh, it's the movie completely. Is it completely done now in post production? 
I'd hope so. I'm sure part one's probably. Yeah, part one is probably pretty much done. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Did you guys also see the teaser for the 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 anime Terminator teaser yeah. that's dropping yes. next year? Oh my god. Wait, is, so is that a, is that, that. Like a prequel to the movies? No, so, um, I don't know if it's a prequel, but they did say that in it in like the the lingo of the trailer that August what is it thirtieth nineteen ninety seven. So I'm, it's probably going to take some inspiration from the second film, and it's being written by Mattson Tomlin, who's co writing the Batman Part Two and wrote the Batman the Imposter book. For DC, so I'm really excited for it. Oh, he's, no. a, he's, a, he's a good writer. He's oh, he's a he's great a. writer. Yes, he's great A, great A writer. Definitely. Well, apparently, you know, it's supposed to take place two days before Judgment Day. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Judgment Day is that the first one? No, no, Second no, one. no. Ju oh, yeah. well, so judgment well, Day. What, what I mean by that is, I mean like, by the actual Judgment Day, like the 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 day that everything goes <laughs> to shit. Right. <laughs> I haven't seen the Terminator movies because they were. I, I was really scared of Arnold Schwarzenegger as a kid. <laughs> See, Arnold Schwarzenegger never scared me. What scared me was Robert Patrick as the T one thousand. Yes, the second one. That yeah, yeah. Terminator scared the fuck out of me. Although Apparently, when I saw when I saw Arnold in that Christmas movie where he's like trying to get his like a toy jingle all the way. way. Yeah, I love that movie. I, like suddenly, I'm, I'm suddenly I was like, oh, he seems so nice, and then I see Batman Robin. I'm like, ugh. Did um, you ever watch um? Kindergarten Cop. I love Kindergarten Long Cop. Kind of kindergarten Cop you. is fucking great. Oh, it's amazing. Love that movie. And then, of course, Remember, as Dave Junior? and I like to talk about, uh, it, of course, Andy, you have to watch The Last Action Hero. Like, that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Best movie ever. <laughs> yes. It is. Cosign. It's movie. Well, what was yeah. it called? Last, Last Action, Action Hero. Hero. It's, it's, a, it's a parody, parody homage to like all the 80s and 90s action movies like it's it it's self it's it, it's self making Shane it. Black wrote this okay yes Charles is Dance Zach is the Penn. I thought too. Zach Penn was part of that too Zach, yeah. Zach Penn Adam oh good left Adam left to two F's Shane Black they wrote it and then a director named John McTiernan John McTiernan that's, that's like, the director uh, because uh, yeah. Zach Penn didn't Zach Penn help write uh, Ready Player One, the movie, right? Didn't he yes. be a co-writer on there? I do believe that's so. Yeah. You actually Ian see McCallum plays movie. Deaf. Yes. Like, yeah. Jim Belushi. Charles oh, it's Dance. Charles Dance. Yeah. Charles Dance. Yes. It. It. it and it's there's great. so many cameos. Uh, it's so great. Ew, it's such a great movie. Oh, ill. Ah. Okay. <laughs> what? Chevy Chase is in Last Action Hero. No. Wait, the, we're talking about the, we're talking about the movie from 1993, right? Yeah, yeah. It yeah it's, it's, in in the, uh, in the IMDb credit, it says uh, Chevy Chase is in the movie. Where is he in that movie? He uh, he, he he plays Chevy Chase. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot of cameos of people playing themselves. I don't remember yeah. Chevy Chase being in that movie. It might be Where the movie it? premiere at the end. Oh, so. you might be right. You are right. You are right. Yeah, he does get. Uh, cause uh, yeah. I think do you think I was lying? I'm just reading off of Charles Dance. I know but he's, he's a villain. villain. He's yeah. the villain. He's of the villain. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I haven't great. seen him in the hot. He gets like knocked over by uh, Jack. Can Slater, you not, like, can, you, can you not spoil it for me? Like it's like it's exactly like you know. I know it's 30 years old, but like you know, that's your fault. Usually, it's not my fault. I was born 993. <laughs> it's not my fault. It is your fault. <laughs> you haven't seen it. You haven't seen. You haven't seen the cinematic greatness. Yeah, you're right. That's right. That's right. It's yeah, on Netflix. Goes. It's on Netflix. Yes. yes, it is. That's right. He's standing next to Damon Wayans when that happens. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This is at the premiere of the movie. Okay. Okay. It's very meta, Andy. Very meta. Yeah. That's what makes yeah. it so oh, great. Is it kind of like the precursor to what Deadpool does today? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Even though I watched Deadpool last night, but no. No, it's not that. I mean, there's no like, uh, it's not like. So like Arnold is constantly like talking to the camera, and, you know, doing anything like that. Now, no. yeah, if you read the if you read the the plot or the synopsis, yeah, you just uh, all I'm hearing you know, now in my head is Arnold Schwarzenegger doing Deadpool dialogue, staring into the camera. No, no, no. no, no what you need yeah, is Arnold. What you get in this movie is Arnold doing Shakespeare. Yep. That's hilarious. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, not, not no, I'm serious. No. Not this movie. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's so good. He's, I'm just yeah. like, listen, like he he's he's a goat. Like he's a fucking goat. I love him. Well, what's sad is like if you watch the Arnold Doc, like the movie didn't do well at the box office. It was just, it was like Schwarzenegger's like first bomb. 
mm-hmm. and he was very depressed by it. And I, I remember just watching the doc going, that's like one of your, my, my favorite movies of yours. What the fuck? Like I, it's just, I, I, it, but at the, the t- I didn't see it in the movie theater. I saw it on, I, I rented it at fucking at a video store. And then I fell in love with the movie, bought the movie, bought a shirt, had the little a fake ticket that you get in there. You know, if once you watch the movie and you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, I, it, but it, that was like his like bomb. And that's why, like, I remember when, uh, it, did you get anybody watch the Arnold doc? No, I haven't. Uh, I yet. saw a bit of it. My dad was watching it. Yeah. Because what was funny about that is like James Cameron, like called him up to like check in on him because apparently it like really affected him. Yeah. And then he's just like, Hey, well, we, you know, and like he was very sad, got depressed that his movie bombed. And then they're like, and then James Cameron's like, well, let's do a movie then. And then they made true lies. And then it's just like <laughs> and then blockbuster the fucking magic, you know, it's like Jesus Christ. The first art, like, you know, you know, Hey, remember when we made Terminator an R rated blockbuster, you know, phenomenon, let's do it again with true lies. And sure enough, they did. So it's like, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ just funny how that is you know but well, it's just so funny because like if i would have had a you know in my top three arnold schwarzenegger movies last action hero is in that on that list in the top of the list right there most it's definitely such, it's such a good movie no, I'm just, so I, again i need to get i need to get this concept out of my head that i for some reason like see him doing deadpool lines in action hero like because i really thought like artificial like when you say that like, he was like it's very self-aware and whatever and so i'm like i was just thinking oh honestly it's just oh. talking to a camera for two hours no <laughs> no 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 it's not it's not that there's nothing like it, it's just yeah again you have to watch it because yeah, we it, want it, to tell you just you need to experience it andy you just need you to really watch do it. you really Indeed. do because it's just yeah uh, is there a post-credit scene no, no, <laughs> no. I know. I just, I just wanted to say to annoy you guys and be like, oh, this, well, this generation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but tomorrow's gonna be fun with uh, for Zack Snyder. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> we took okay. a tangent right there. <laughs> but okay, but I'm really interested in this because Netflix is like going like all like it, you're doing a big premiere of a trailer during Sunday NFL football. Yeah. And Welcome. you've got, you know, you got people talking about like this is this is something I've not really seen Netflix do. As much as I am pissed at this whole idea of there's only four theaters in the entire world that are actually going to show the movie for a week. You know that's it, how I feel every time, Scott. I understand, Casey. <laughs> I get it. I get Sorry, it. guys. Yes, I'll I'll you know. I'll, I'll tell you how it is on the big screen. Right. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just take solace in the fact that a few of us got to see Zack Snyder's Justice League on the big screen. If people want to go see Rebel Moon, they can have that solace, too. Dave just <laughs> happens to be lucky enough to see both. Yeah. I'm just wondering if there's going to be a premiere. <sighs> it's certainly well, they, well, they, well, they can now. They can now. Yeah. Because well, that, that was the best over. thing. That was, that was my favorite thing that came out of the strike. Like It ended quick enough so that Rebel Moon cast can you know do all the promo. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I want to see Charlie Hunnam and Ray Fisher doing press together. Yeah, because like, you know, listen to me. Everyone will the... watch that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. And I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping that so you know, like, you know, like when they do that uh, Wired article complete interview, and like on Charlie Hunnam, I want to, one of the search results to be that <laughs> Charlie right. Hunnam Green Arrow is that he's gonna be like, <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Charlie Hunter would be like uh, Green Hunter Arrow. Who? who the fuck is that? <laughs> no, he's no. He's not. He's got that. Yeah. 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 that red, that green hood that he's wearing. I'm like, what so, were you thinking uh, right there? According to the tweets that I've seen, it's going to air during the second quarter of the game. Okay. And uh, what does that I, mean? I, Okay. Yeah. Okay, Andy. Andy, doesn't Andy, Andy does not understand sports. Okay, sports ball. Okay, <laughs> American football mm-hmm. is divided into four quarters because a quarter is a fourth of <laughs> of fifteen minutes each. Oh, really? <laughs> so fifteen of, minutes each. Fifty. Oh, okay. Fifteen minutes a clock, but with penalties, timeouts, commercial breaks. A quarter lasts longer than actual. 15 minutes, but there's why is it called a quarter then? Because there's four of them. 
<laughs> but if it's longer than if it's longer than fifteen minutes, why didn't you say like you know? Yeah, but it's a quarter of the actual game because but the game the is made up of four quarters. Yes, so it's a whole. So then you divide it up into four different. You know, yeah. This so basically, an, okay, Andy, like the uh, okay. So I, I'm uh, Pacific time. It is currently nine twenty p.m. Um, tomorrow, I would say like it's the game starts at five. 20 p.m. I would think 5:15. I don't know what it is. So I would say about 6:30 my time, maybe 6:15 my time. That's when it probably will show. So whatever, yeah. use whatever math you have to do mm-hmm. when it comes to that. That's when they'll probably drop it. The only football I understand is in Friday Night Lights terms. So like just, just, oh. just, just well, just, there you go. That's Friday Night Lights. Yeah. The um, movie or the TV show. The TV show, I don't, the movie sounds horrible. Like they don't even sound like they honored uh, the original book even. So I was like, oh no. I mean, there was an event at school, like where on a Friday we like there would be a basketball game at schools, and it was called Friday Night Lights. So I'm just thinking of that. Yeah, so. yeah, that, that, yeah, that's not what this is. What it is at all? This is this is. Yeah, I know, Andy. Football. I know. Don't like, don't just tr- don't try to take a beloved title like that and apply it to basketball. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> go, 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 chuck on the bacon on your okay, floor. Okay, so uh, uh, one of the things that <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bacon Axel. forker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Axel. I just got a burger. I just got a burger. <laughs> bacon forker. Oh god, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! I'm oh, okay. right. That, look, that here's my is, pizza. I'm gonna Rolodex cut it now. I'm, I'm not, here's my pizza. Hey, I'm gonna, but, I'm gonna draw to be slide. fair, I mean, the bacon that he was eating was essentially ham. It was thick. True. Right? Oh, you yeah, you oh, you're still talking about me. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, yo. Yeah. But anyway, Final Lights is one of the best TV shows. It was that was one of the best summers of my life. Going through the whole show. Coach um, Tyler. Uh, Oh yeah, he was in that. Oh, I fucking uh, yeah, Kyle Chandler, absolutely. Kyle, Kyle yeah, Michael B. Jordan. Um, right. Holy shit, there was a lot of people in that. Ad- Adrian Palicki, Minka Kelly, and then the next summer they were both Mockingbird and uh, what's her, uh, and Dove. Dove. Yeah, so I'm like, they became superheroes. They be- <laughs> they both became bird superheroes. <laughs> okay, Dave. So what was the point you were gonna make? Yeah, I have was no idea. Part? We were trying to explain, uh, no, I was we going to say, like, uh, um, I'm, I'm assuming that when it comes to tomorrow's trailer, because if you notice, uh, oh, I should pull it up again. Uh, I mean, it's it's because the first trailer that we got was basically sh- showing part one, one and, and two. two. Yes. Tomorrow is going to be strictly about part two, one, part one, because they but say I it's that later you showed us said, said Child of Fire. Wasn't that isn't that the, the name of part one? Yeah, that's yeah, but I'm that, that's the, that's the tease for the trailer they released today. Yeah, there's tease Why? for the trailer, the tease, the teaser to the yeah to so, tell people to you know yeah. tune into go the watch the trailer tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, like, uh, but you know, what I would say is just like the like the first trailer we got was just like the whole thing, but this <laughs> is going to be strictly about this first part. <sighs> um, which... and there will be a story trailer, right? Yeah, right. so we'll get more of a story that's going to be happening, and then, um, and then of course we have Geeked, Netflix Geeked Week, right? That's happening. Yeah. This week. isn't that literally happening right now? Well, the, the, yeah, but the Rebel the, Moon panel will have Zack Snyder talking about it. Yeah, and it'll be after the trailer premieres during the football game. Um, I think it's much later. Almost kind of like a break. He's probably going to do a breakdown of the trailer. I think it's much later. There was a time, you know, given on the To Doom page. There was okay. What's the I time? Can I can I can look it up. Yeah, no. Yeah, Ta-dum. it's uh it's yeah, I mean there's so we're gonna get some of that. But then uh did you guys see that uh I think the R rated the R rated version's probably not gonna come out till like next fall year. of twenty twenty four. Yeah, that's well, that, that, that makes me. sense though. Like I like uh, I, I was hey, hoping hey, like, hey, hey. 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 No, you're, you're gonna you're gonna wait till you get both part one and Damn part it. two, <laughs> and then you're going to show because mm. you're gonna you can you can pout all you want, Dave. But I this is kind of what I expected though. If yeah. you're gonna get if you're gonna get part one in December and you get part two in April, the R-rated cuts that are each an hour I mean, longer are going yeah. to come out 
because what think about the it, it's good though it yeah keeps I, I the get conversation it. of the movie yeah. going you get part one in december you get a couple you get three months you get part two in april it rides the wave and then what brings back the conversation the yeah. r-rated director's yeah. cuts of okay. both movies that you released later on in 2024 Okay. It's a way yeah. you ride. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, yeah, I think I like in my head. I was like, they do. You know, they release the 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 first cut, and then we get the R rated cut before the second PG thirteen cut. But then that, yeah, that could get a little. You I know. think the the director's cut is a combined movie, including both of them, right? No, or is it just two separate? No, no, it's two. It's so. two. No, it's two longer versions of the movie because it is okay. a trilogy it's going to be a trilogy so yeah yeah all of that, that that's one of the good things about strike being over they can probably start shooting number moon free next year oh they will be yep. yeah Definitely. i don't know yeah when is planet of the dead coming out then that's what i'm wondering oh yeah army <laughs> is just dead yeah i know it seems like it, it kind of is but at the same time we did hear that he did say that you know there's a connection there which we've talked about on here and apparently like uh -huh. i remember like somebody i think it was lane uh he said like yeah he, i think he said that uh before. and we all assumed that there was like maybe there's a connection here because obviously army the would just be the very same minor. universe yeah it's like it's not even well he even the description of what he said it's just one little you know thing I know some people are like, that's, I mean, I had people in my mentions like, that sounds too confusing and too convoluted and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it, he literally just said one little or, thing that would connect. Yeah. It. Yeah. Was yeah. Where, where these, where these like all the MCU shows going? I don't know how Zack Snyder does movies. Nah, uh, you know, people are dumb. <laughs> people are dumb. I don't know. But uh, I mean, we all just kind of assumed because, I mean, obviously, Army of the Dead is not, it's just a zombie movie. It's got UFOs, aliens, robots. It's in time Maybe loops. Time loops portals. You know. Yeah, portals, portals. I mean, she's. You looked at mural for for Zeus. I mean, it's all about portals and space and shit like that. So, right. I mean, I if I I really hope that we can get something where like it does tie in together. That would be pretty sweet. You know, maybe he maybe it will it'll get to that point. Who knows? But yeah, it just seems like the army verse is like very much. Um, who knows? Like, like a lot of people are like, "Oh, Las Vegas is uh, is, is that what we're calling it?" Water. By the way, we're, we're calling it Army Verse. Yeah, it's Army yep. Verse, and then Rebel Verse. You know, that's the that's Dave. The uh, you're in PST, right? What? Pacific Standard Time. Yes. Yes. Okay, so yeah, it's on. It's oh, at four thirty. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's at four thirty. Zach's, you know, um, interview. Mm. It's four thirty. So PST? it's before the trailer. I no, guess? because the game is at two thirty Eastern time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, wait, no, no. Wait. This is this is four thirty PST. No, but I'm Pacific. talking about when the game starts. Okay, wait a minute here. So the game starts after Zach is talking? No, no, you're not listening to me, Casey. <laughs> but he said six thirty PST. Because he got no. Because he hold got on. the time wrong. It's an afternoon oh, game. Okay. Oh, it's the afternoon mm. game. It's not it's the, the late afternoon game. game that they do. They, they, do, they do games in the afternoon. So I thought it was only like. Oh, it's the day. games are all day. It's, it's are Sunday all day. is all oh, day Sunday for football. NFL. Wait, it's, it's like today. Yeah. Wait, how, wait, wait, how okay, long is Andy, it? Andy, 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 you gotta understand something. Hi, the reason the show is called Friday Night Lights is because high school football is on Fridays, college football is on Saturdays, NFL football is on Sundays, and it starts like at as early as like 10 30, 11 o'clock in the morning, and all the games are happening sometimes simultaneously, simultaneously one after the other. And so you could sit down, and what people do is they just watch football all day sometimes skipping between channels to watch that's the, right okay the, the parallel games and sometimes jumping around to watch games all throughout the day all right so, so this is actually early okay yeah it makes sense now because i was i i typed in because julian edelman did the announcement he was the next football player and yeah because usually uh the sunday night football game is on nbc and he's working for fox so yeah it's the afternoon game okay i was wrong so that starts at 105 my time so probably about yeah yeah that makes i just, sense. Well, the trailer I just want comes the, out two hours the before yeah. <clears throat> what huh? time the trailer comes out like, during, when the, is the, during, the, game. during the second quarter of the game <laughs> what they don't what? tell you they don't tell you an exact time because yeah. what do they want you to do 
watch the game. Watch the watch game. The watch the game. game. That's so, how you get millions of viewers. Okay, so I'll give you like a, a window, uh, Casey, and you do the math when it comes to time. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Um, it's like two. <laughs> 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 oh, <no. laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't say it. It wasn't me. I, never I see an opportunity and I take it. Yes, I know. Lay up, uh, sir. So, True Loki Wish. I would say about one forty-five to about you know two ten. I don't know something around nice. there like that. I'll give you that how that window right there. Pacific time. Pacific time. Yeah. Pacific time. Pacific so. standard time. Specific time. Nice. Is it standard now? I know yes, it's like because we fell back like last week. <laughs> yeah. Daylight saving time ended <laughs> last weekend. We are back in standard time. Don't remind me. I hate it. It's been oh, hell. It's that's why the walk is one Pacific hour late. Slider time. <laughs> Pacific but I know, Scott, time, you got to go. go. You got to go. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, you got work tomorrow. Already? Hired. He yeah. needs his rest. He has a it's job. Right that's, that's I have two he jobs. He has two jobs. There we go. <laughs> Three jobs if you come to man. He's a working man. All right, Scott. Go ahead and uh, promote and do all that. Of course, you can find me on X at ScottDC27, on Instagram at McMurlin, and on Vero at Scott McClellan. You can find my podcast, the DC Squadcast, wherever podcasts can be found. We're on Vero, Facebook, YouTube, with the entire network of shows at SquadcastMedia.com. You can also tune in every Sunday night, including tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, <laughs> as we will be reviewing Mixus Spinelik on oh, dc fanimated stream gee what's right. going on in that one yeah. i know exactly oh uh-huh, 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 baby you're so funny <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks bye, scott. guys bye, bye scott. scott bye have a good night have a good night oh yeah so casey i would say yeah because if the game oh well, shit see that's the thing if the game starts at 105 my time, which is what the afternoon games usually start at, but some of them do start at 125. That's why I'm saying about two o'clock, like start two o'clock Pacific time. So whatever time we are, you're like eight hours ahead, I think, of me or eight and a half. Don't you guys do like a half thing? Isn't there what time? Yeah, is yeah. It? Right now it's 11 a.m. That's right. You're a half. You. That's right. There's like a there's like a part like on that side of the world where they do a half hour, right? Yeah. Because it's 9:30 my time right now. So, yeah. So two o'clock. So yeah. What? Well, yeah. Do the math on that. It'll. That's when they'll probably be dropping it right there. And then I guess the uh, Q and A is going to happen after that. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We're I all it's that. just let's look at Twitter all day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Netflix, uh, speaking of Netflix you, did, did anyone here see? Um, did anyone watch it, the Sandman by on Netflix? Yes. Yep. Yes. Did you guys, did right. you guys see the trailer for the new? Yep. Um, I saw it, but I didn't actually watch it. I saw that it went up. The, oh, there was a lot of trailers Netflix. that went up for Netflix. Yeah. That trailer yeah, was so the, energetic. That do we want, hey, was? Hey, yeah, that, they, how about we react to it together on vodka stream right now? It was, it was Sandman. No, no, no. Dead the, Boy the, Detective. Yeah, oh, yeah, it, uh, yeah. The it, death, yeah, because they dropped like a bunch of trailers, didn't they? Yeah, that's the point of a convention. You know, an online convention. You know, yeah, you promote good. stuff. No, no, no. It's we good, can actually but, watch yeah. it without Dave Gabe worrying about a copyright strike because it's not Warner Brothers. There it is. Yeah, because I didn't watch <laughs> it. Technically, it, it, technically it is Warner Brothers. Oh well. Eh, Netflix. but Netflix is saying. like doing it. I think they'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, let's check it out because I didn't be watch it. Okay. There we go. Dead Boy Let's Detectives, see. DC property. Here we go. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, Ghost He's the brains. I'm the fool. Oh, we ghost. And we saw yeah. mysteries. Yeah. Dead Boy Detectives? It's Aces, right? Just a <laughs> name. <laughs> we're pretty bang on detectives when we're not hiding from death. <clears throat> oh. I've opened a real bag of worms. Marty! Jesus! I'm trying to spend. Threaten some kids.
All right. That not look bad. That looks fun. You know, pretty energetic trailer right there. Quick. And set, set in point. the same universe as Sandman, Man, right? Uh, wow. So they, I wonder if they're gonna like. There's gonna be some kind of little Easter eggs to connect it, maybe awesome. a little connective mm, tissue. There will be. Yeah, they got it's, it right because it's Netflix. It's I'm not saying anything. I'm, oh. I'm not saying. I'm oh, not saying anything. Are you, oh, oh, do you know something, Andy? Darn. I'm telling. All I'm saying is watch Deadpool Detective on Netflix in 2024. Does Constantine show up? Joanna Constantine, aka Mommy. I swear yeah. to God, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I got I got a few TV mommies. I got Sylvie, I got Joanna Constantine, I got Queen Maeve. I am set in stone. Just gonna put it out there right well, now. Hera, Speaking no, of... no, shh, nothing for nothing for Fiona. Fiona. <laughs> Fiona Gallagher? Yeah. She's, she's the more, ultimate mommy. Uh, she's more right, like you guys talk about mommies. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> to do what, Dave? <laughs> to do what? To do what, Dave? All this mommy talk, my God! Yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot yeah, in but here. Like, no, you don't can't go have to the bathroom on. now. Who has yeah. seen Jen Wee? Me, dude. Jen Wee was fucking phenomenal. Oh my! God. How did we get Loki and Jen Wee back to back for weeks? Well, it was see, so binged, fucking amazing. I binged Jen Wee all in a day, and then I was watching Loki every week. So. Yeah, Gen V was awesome. Like, I don't yeah. really know how else to describe they it. They really like, stuck that landing. It was great. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, dude, like Gen V is just an absolute fucking trip. With start to finish. Just absolutely phenomenal performances all across the board. Really great storytelling. Really mm -hmm. solid just character work. Just phenomenal across the board. And he, like Clancy Brown. Oh my god. Like his yeah. character was just great and like what happens with him in the first few episodes you're like whoa what <laughs> wild absolutely what you're, so what you're saying is i need to go back to this convo that we just had so you don't look at fiona as a mommy look at her like a sister because i'm lip pair as fair yeah i'm totally ian by the way i just hope that, 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 that i that, that makes that sense is, if, I, if yeah. i'm lip you're ian it'll make that makes total sense who's dave don't say frank <laughs> No, no, <laughs> no. He's oh, you know who he is? He's um, Kevin. Steve How yes, Kevin. Steve Howard's character. You know what? You know what? He is Kevin. He's Kevin for sure. Axel is obviously Carl. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Axel, Axel, what are we talking Carl? about? <laughs> Carl becomes one of the best characters on Shameless, by the way. He goes Carl from being a shitbag oh, to Shameless. the best oh, okay, antihero okay. ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you need you, Shameless is a good show. It's a good show. Uh, uh, don't watch the English version though. It's not. It's no. Okay, okay, so, who, okay, so who is who's who's KC then? God, you're really gonna make me think about this, aren't you? <laughs> Liam, because he's the cutest. Yeah, you, well, you are Liam. You're. Yeah, you you're, are Liam, you're, Casey. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're the vodka streams, Liam. Um, uh, Walter Hamada is Debbie. Um. <laughs> I don't even know the fuck that is, but like, what's on Mata? How did he get into this? I don't know. Uh, so does that mean? Oh, you know what? Never mind. That would have been because he doesn't deserve that. Frank doesn't no. deserve that. I was gonna say, Who? like, I was gonna say Jeff Johns is Frank, but that that's a disservice to Frank. Yeah, actually, that is actually a disservice. Uh, a total disservice to Frank. Uh, to Toby Emmerich is uh, Frank. No, does he? No. That is See, here's oh the thing. There, there are very small moments where Frank actually has a bit of a human side. Yeah. Toby Emmerich, Jeff Johns, none of those people have a fucking human you side. You know, like in the oh. chat earlier, we were talking about, oh, if, is, if oh, they were to get they, 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 we've agreed. We've agreed that you are Kevin from Shameless. Who, which one was that one again? Steve the tall, Howie. Hunky one. Huh? Steve Howie. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, he's the, yeah, the bartender guy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We, yeah, we were never going to make you Frank. Of course. No. Uh, Casey, Casey is Liam because he's the Q one. Okay. Um, I'm I'm Ian because yeah. I'm the I'm the chaotic uh, queer person in the group. Uh, <laughs> Lip is obviously Lip. Axel is obviously Carl. 
<laughs> when he acts back, so I go, Carl literally becomes one of the best characters in Shameless because yeah, that, is, right, right, yeah. Yeah. that is not an insult. You have That's potential. An, yeah. But what we, I mean, that's the thing. Carl stars when he when we first meet him, he's like, I feel like I don't know what you guys are talking about right now. We're talking about television masterpiece here. <laughs> oh, this guy, okay. Um, we don't know who Frank is. Um, uh, we uh, uh, no, we don't know. Jeff Schultz is not Frank. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, can I just say something in the chat earlier? We we're talking about if there were to make if there was like a Zack Snyder biopic, who would play Zack Snyder? And I said, as a Me. joke, James Gunn, and then <laughs> but Bradley for serious, Cooper. Know. That's a no, Frank, in Frank my Grillo. Did say like uh, Andy Samberg. As a... Frank Frank Grillo. Oh, oh yeah, Frank Grillo would be. Nice, or yeah. and and think like, about it. Think about it. Would be a good one. Frank like, Grillo would be a good someone one. said Kevin Spacey as uh, Jeff Jones, and I'm like. No, Kevin Spacey would be John. Okay, Spacey. okay, okay, okay. I know Jeff has done some bad things, but we're not gonna Wait, we're not gonna have who? a we're not gonna have a we we know Je we know Jeff has done some <laughs> shitty things, but we're okay. not gonna let um our word do mm. play play him. And I said uh, Louis C.K. as Joss Whedon. Can't wait, wait, I know. Wait, guys, I had the perfect casting. I have the perfect casting for They're Debbie right. Snyder, mm. Connie Bur Connie Burton from. Uh, Fire oh Night. yeah, she'd be perfect. She'd be perfect. Yeah, yeah you you nailed it right yeah. there. Yeah, oh, you yeah. said that. Yeah, okay. she'd be great. Yeah. yeah, she'd be a good. Yeah, but yeah, Frank Grillo as Zach. I can see that. I can see that. Because he can get you know jack you know because he's already kind of like yeah he kind of has that facial structure also he's jacked yeah you know, like, and, he probably has some cool like Bradley tattoos. Cooper Bradley Cooper I feel is a little too tall because Zach's yeah. not a tall guy yeah Bradley, Bradley can make him look short Bradley, Bradley Cooper looks like Zach Snyder that's an insult <laughs> Bradley Cooper I I say that because I feel like he has the acting range to pull it off he's you know I get he, that he yeah. has that you know, yeah he has a funny as well as serious okay type, okay you know, and then um Jolo Manuela plays. Dave for vodka stream because you know yes. obviously <laughs> yeah. um, yes uh who, okay we, we need to okay so who will play Joss Whedon uh Louis C K Louis C K you know no I don't, is... I don't I don't I don't I don't want a me two person to play him uh well why uh, not because he yeah. got me food <laughs> because I I don't want him to get paid I don't want him to get no, paid no, but I, yeah but I like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Dave. You need someone who uh, sounds like this and talks up their ass all the fucking time. You know, I'm, I'm actually never heard who, play, who, play, wait, so who plays? You know Tom who should play him? Toby Tom Cruise. Tom no. Cruise. Yes. Let's, let's, yes. Uh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> uh, who plays <laughs> Kevin? Who, who plays Walter Hamada? Who plays Walter Hamada? Um. <sighs> I'm trying to think. Hold on, let, let me look. Let me look for Japanese actors. I don't um, even want to like cast Walter Hamada. I but... wanted to say have, uh, the, uh, Hiroyuki. He's the big but no. He's the big bad. He's the big bad. Yeah, we oh, have. He has. Bad. You know who can wait, play wait, him? Who is um, the true? Wait, sorry, Casey. I just want to the Mandarin. Oh. Ben the, the guy who played the man. Oh no <laughs> no 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 no! The, no, the real <laughs> the real Mandarin, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> At first, I was like, I don't know what the fuck are you talking about? That was great. You saw Ben Kingsley? Because <laughs> technically, yes. That was yeah. great. That was great. Okay, wait, so, yeah, okay. Okay, so who, who would you guys, now that we're on the subject, you know what? Is, you know what I just thought about though? It's like if they were to like it, you know, I was even thinking about like <laughs> wait guys, I know who could be one of them. Hold on, hold on. I was just saying, like, you know, it'd be kind of cool concept to like if they were to do something like this, if the, if if they did like a Scott Pilgrim versus the world like kind of concept for like a yeah. Zack Snyder, like you know, you know, as a you know, do something different. Yeah, it's like, yeah, somebody can make the documentary and do like in and, and really yeah, show so like, defeat what seven happened. evil execs. If you actually were to make a movie. Seven I think Zach there. would be down to be like, let's make this into a fucking like, like something like you know, Sucker Punch or like a Scott Pilgrim, you know, or something. That would be yeah. cool. I know they who did it play. like that, and then he had to defeat like all you know, all the like, seven you know, evil X six. Yeah, something like I don't know. I just they I, all I, got I, crazy hair and shit. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. You know who can play Walter Mata? I have it. Hmm. Dean Kane. Dean Kane. <laughs> he's Japanese, technically. Yeah. yeah. He's not and that he great played... of an actor, though. Well, Walter Mudd is not that great of a person. It shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to play uh, Ant Sonoff? Um, Who? Mm, Ant Sonoff. 
Jessica Chastain. No, hey, oh. Jessica Chastain. No, 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 no. She, 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 no, I don't know. No, no, um, no but, but, but we need a, we need like a obnoxious blonde to play her. Uh, that uh, woman uh, from uh, 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 from uh, Severance. Uh, obnoxious blonde playing who? And sorry, Uma Thurman. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. No, um, uh, her name <laughs> is Anna. Anna. We talked about her earlier. Who Who's plays that? Okay, Who I'm, plays I'm, that I'm, uh, the woman from uh, Severance? I don't uh, know. Patricia, the main, the main girl, the main woman. No, no, no. No, oh, the blonde, the blonde. No, Patricia, something. Patricia Arquette. Yes, you're yes. right. Perfect. Yes, that yes, is perfect. What yes. about um Anna Gunn? You know, she, she, from Breaking Bad. No, no. no. Wait, which one was she on Breaking Bad? She was, she was her wife. wife. No, but I think I think I, I think uh, Casey nailed it with uh, uh, Patricia Arquette. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, John if Berg. You look at both of them. Yeah, yeah. John yeah. Berg. Huh? Oh, Who John Berg. Berg. Yeah. Cast any uh, regular ass white dude, you got John Berg. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because yeah. I'm I'm putting together the cast list right now. Okay, who's just playing himself? Joel, 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 what about uh, Andy Sandberg as uh, Zack Snyder? No. no, I will fucking no. fly to Australia if you keep saying Andy Samberg is that guy. <laughs> Why? It's a good um, guy. No, Joel, no. Andy Samberg would be James. Oh, Manuela as Dave Penny. Wait, so wait, so who would you? How do, how does he meet you? Like in this mythology, how does he meet? Did he meet you as the film junkie or as the Dave? Hey man, so yeah, he might. Uh, yeah, film. Well, junkie. you want Vera, right? Okay. Yeah, he like. Uh, I mean, uh, that's the film. thing. It's like. Oh my god. It wasn't, it was just the fact that it's like some, you know, he put some, you know, he cast people out there to be like, hey, you know, see who can like help with this whole thing. And then uh, somebody saw that at a channel and then refer, you know. Wait a and, minute. Grace Randolph as our uh, Kate McKinnon. Kate McKinnon. <laughs> Jessica Chastain should play her. No, Kate, no, McKinnon, Kate, no, McKinnon, Kate McKinnon, McKinnon is a good one. Yeah. Kate McKinnon oh, yeah, could totally true. do that. Well, Ugh. well. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, okay, so uh, who do we go for Jeff Johns? Uh, Kevin Spacey, Kevin James. No, Maybe. no. <laughs> no, he's a little too. Uh, he's a little too <clears throat> big. For you him. need someone who literally looks like a snake, because Jeff Johns. Oh looks no, like no, no, no! Someone who looks like correct. Ralph um, Finnis from Harry Potter. That's um, a good pick. <laughs> Ralph who? Oh, Voldemort. Oh, Ralph Fiennes. Okay. Oh, yeah, Ralph Fiennes. That's a uh, yeah. John Berg. Who John Berg? Some tall. Because the thing is, I was at um, I went to the Wonder Woman Eddie Baby Z, and I saw what John Berg looked like. And like, cause he and Jeff, they came downstairs, and I was like, Jesus, John Berg is tall. Like he's mm. like a tall. He's a tall talking dude. So like, we need like a like some. Tom he Hiddleston. Is... Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't Ooh. know. I don't. Ooh, he could play. But the, the, the problem, the problem is Ralph F F Fiennes is too tall. The thing is, Jeff is Not supposed Jeff to be short. Because I've, seen, I've seen, yeah, Jeff and Jeff Jeff is a short motherfucker. If I'm not mistaken, uh, like he's a short. Yeah. Oh, he's, 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 no, Jeff is short. Jeff is short. Yeah, uh, I'm a little taller than he is. He so doesn't know how to write. How tall are you, Andy? I am five eight. Okay, I'm five ten, so I'm taller than Jeff Johns. That makes me happy. <laughs> Dude, it's such Why? an asswipe. I do not like Jeff Johns. Anyone, anyone who knows me knows that. Don't even get me started on his fanboys. Oh my Fucking god. Hell. Jed uh, uh, Jed Weedan can play Josh Sweden, his brother. His brother Jed can play him. Yeah, 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 Jed Weedon is actually a pretty nice guy. So um because he did What about Shield. Zach Whedon? Does he have a brother named Zach? Does he? Yeah. I think he does. He does. Wait, there's a there's a third Whedon bird. Hold on, three. <gasps> it's just like the, it's just oh, like looks, the third looks, Nolan he, brother. He looks like a, he looks like right. the three yeah. Joker. There is a third. Wait, 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 there's wait, also a third stop. Hemsworth. There's a wait. third. Wait, there's a third Nolan brother, which nobody cares about. Yeah, but he was so great in uh, what should I call it? Westworld. Westworld? Yeah. Also, yeah, although I will say this, Jonathan Nolan, he can get it. You know what's that's funny is like you know that Jonathan Nolan doesn't have an Eng he doesn't have an accent like I know that's what's so weird because I'm like didn't they not like because I was like is this like a, like a freaky Friday situation where like, you grew up in one country and I the other one grew up that's in what it was that's what it was yeah kind okay of so we will do that Zach Whedon as Josh Sweden because he this dude looks like an asshole like good look he who's directing so... the movie uh, I am <laughs> we all are 
No, it's going to be a big um, group direction. Yeah, well, like, well, like, Dave is going to have to be on set to direct Jolo, Zolo. Like, okay, first of all, Jolo, um, I said like this when I do vodka stream, not like this. Uh, and like, my microphone is here, and also the glasses need to be this big, not these small, like, not like Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, okay, so who plays Toby Emmerich? Um, Jim Carrey. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's an insult. You know that's what Tom Hiddleston will play. We mm -hmm. Need somebody. Smug. John, 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 John Kerry. Yeah. Okay. We, oh, we, I got. We, I got you. I know who can play Toby Emmerich. Peter Safran. Ah, <laughs> Michael Rooker. No, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Holy guy, shit! Yeah. The guy who plays Frank. The guy who plays Frank. Toby oh, William H Macy. Yeah, William, William H Macy. Okay. William Macy, and then okay, we just need John Berg, and then we're done. No, we need. Oh fuck, we need. Um, we need Sujihara too. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> another Asian actor. Got me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, Kevin yeah, Sujihara. Um, not worth. Uh, he shouldn't be worth anything. Uh, what's that? Why? Uh, Jada. I think it is. No, he, she's not Asian, you doofus. No, 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 not as, uh, no, not as that. Not as Kevin. She can be whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah, she already does basically she whatever be she wants, except the hero. Um, um, yeah. um, Henry, you know what? Uh, because I need like uh, because I need some pretty people in this movie too. Uh, Henry Golding. Oh, oh yeah, mm. yeah, as... he needs to be in it. Yeah, and then okay, Henry and, and Golding as Walter Amada. <laughs> No, that no, no, that he, well, he's Chinese. Yeah, but Walter Hamada is oh, okay. Japanese. Okay, so Sujihara is what? He's Chinese, Korean? I can't remember. I don't remember. What I, I, he, no, he's uh, he's Chinese. He's Chinese. Okay. Um, I wonder what he's doing now. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> yeah, whole lot of nothing. Just thinking about the time that uh, Amber Heard blew him. Okay. Oh. What? Wait, really? Oh. 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 I, don't know. I don't know if that's oh. true, but who knows? Oh, yeah. Wait, who's going to play Henry Cavill? Uh, David Cornsweet? I know. See, that's the thing. Is like, uh, <laughs> they would have to. Oh, <laughs> my God. Matt Bomer. <laughs> Matt Bomer. Matt Bomer. Matt, Matt Bomer. Bomer could do it. Yeah, because you'd have to, like. Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> Not Zachary <laughs> Levi. I know. Good Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> It got, um, imagine uh, Zachary Levi in like a Godzilla movie. He's like, ah! like bro. okay, guys, we almost have the cast. We almost have the cast. We just need John Berg, tallest white dude you can think of that is brunette. That's why I was going for Tom Hiddleston. He's tall and lanky. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> hey, God. You know he should have been Doctor Strange. I'm just. Saying. No. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, he Benedict Cumberbatch. Strange. What? He should have been Doctor. You know Strange. what? Benedict oh, Cumberbatch. This white dude. Benedict. No, he should not have been Doctor Strange. What are you? He should have. I'm just saying. And I cooked. No. If you cook anything, you cook a shit here. dish You're like wrong. in Breath of the Wild. That's what you cook Fuck there. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead and read that cast. <laughs> All right, let's see. Frank Grillo is Zack Snyder. Connie Burton is Deborah Snyder. Ralph Fiennes is Jeff Johns. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch is John Berg. William H. Macy, Toby Emmerich. Henry Golden, Kevin Sujihara. Zach Whedon is Joss Whedon. Grace Randolph is Anne Sarnoff. Dean Cain is Walter Amata. Joel Merdwinia is... Why is Jolo me? <laughs> He's like, I'm like but half. I'm, I'm half, not full. Yeah, Dave is old. Oh. And, and, the, and the other guy oh, is... Fuck you, Axel. Oh, and that too. I oh, know he's right. It's a fictional movie. You it's a fictional character. He's gonna be. He's film junkie. Be... Film junkie is not a fictional character. We're based somebody on true on. events. Now we gotta play. We gotta. We got somebody else has gotta play me. And no, 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 no. Why, like Kate McKinnon's gotta play Grace Randolph. No. <laughs> yes. No. Michael Pena is gonna play you. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! And then he does his long recap like he does in Ant Man. Oh god. Yeah. Um, you know what? Because you know what? I have a good idea because they it always do. They always, they, they always fuck up uh, castings when it comes for brown characters. So let's do DJ Katrona as film junkie. Who? Ooh. He was the um. He was the older uh older older Eugene or no not Eugene. He was older Pedro in Shazam. And Shazam. He's one of the Shazam. He was. Yeah, he was gonna be yeah, in, yeah, 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 in Justice League. Yeah, he was gonna play Superman. Yeah. 
Eh, okay. Eh, okay. Well, it's okay if the character is tall, Dave. I know, so right? That mean Casey Affleck is Ben <laughs> Affleck. There we go. Here's the new cast. Aj <laughs> Katona's film done game. Okay, uh, so, I'll go. For, I'll, I'll I'll roll with that. I'll roll with that. That's who will good. play? Uh, who will play Rebecca? Hmm. Rebecca. Mm, Tina Fey. Fey. Rebecca. <laughs> yeah. no, Rebecca that? Johnson. Like, oh, oh, oh! Rebecca. There's only right, one Rebecca right. that matters. Right. Who? See, I was thinking like someone from production. I I didn't know you meant our Rebecca. I, First of all, because he's my Rebecca. I knew him. I know the longest. Because, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck out of me. Funny. It's funny because, like, uh, you know, when we're thinking about this movie, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Justin, Mr. Midside, uh, who used to come on the Vox stream, he wrote the book, The Cut. He wrote, like, so, like, a fictional, like, kind of thing when it comes to that. And it was funny because, like, I remember when I started reading the book, I'm like, did you base one of these characters on me? <laughs> it's like, and he kind of loosely did base one of the characters on me because oh, there's like it jumps if you read the book it jumps back to like a uh, a youtuber that supports Zack snyder and then a youtuber that doesn't or something like that or similar mm. to that I it was kind of interesting Justin. it was just kind of funny because i was like i was like wait did you is this character based on me he's all it's like a it's like a he said he was like he co combined like other youtubers into i was like oh, okay interesting <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of interesting. Wait, so. well, we gotta cast some of more of Zach's people, like um, uh, Wesley Collar or Presterio. We well, it ha yeah, well, we're just getting. Oh, the main, who main would character. be who who would be who would be good as Chris Terrio? What's up, Andre? Hey, hey what's going on, you guys? What's up? Oh, oh, your mic, your God. mic, your mic, your mic. You need so to change bad. mic. <laughs> that brought me back from the dead. I love his wall so much. Hold oh, Andre. Bat, bat. What's up? How's it go. going? Good. A long man. time. Actually, I had, a, you know, I walked into this and I thought, you know what? I have a perfect fan casting for Dave. Oh, as a director, oh no. what I would have done is to make this in, the story more interesting. I would have gender swapped him and have him be played by Selena Gomez, who's half Mexican. There we go. <laughs> right no, no, wait, wait. I, just I would have, watch. That's that's have, her, would have half her boobs <laughs> out. Like the yeah, whole that, that's how we draw in. The uh, the young girls Perfect. and the Latino community. Wait, wait, wait. I you know have my Gomez. vote. Wait, I, no, wait. I'm telling you, if I had Becky boobies, G is going to play him. If vodka stream of mythology, if it put a vodka <laughs> then we obviously know who will play a gender swap. Council Rachel of, of film jump. Rachel Ziegler. Yeah, yeah, that's what no I fucking way. That's <laughs> that's a way to make people not watch the movie. Boy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It didn't happen. That's how you it call didn't call the fun police. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rachel, how yeah. is it like, everybody but because, Hunger Games November because this film else. would be made on the by... promotional tour of the movie, she'll complain about the Snyder Cut campaign. <laughs> no, you know what she's gonna do? Like she will be like, in my in my version, uh, my version of day, I'm actually now a TikToker. It's not 2010 anymore. We have to get with the times. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. If you presented that opportunity to her, she'd be like, no, I want to be Gal Gadot. And it's like, hmm, yeah. no, mm. not you. No, 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 no. But no. I don't even I don't even want Gal Gadot. I don't even want Gal Gadot in this canon. So, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay. so I'm decided to run her mouth. And, uh, so it's, if, so it's if, out if for her? Know, that, was, that was a choice. You, yeah. That was a so uh, that was I'm a excited choice. for a new Wonder Woman in James Gunn's DC universe. So um, I, I'm excited for Dave to play. Gunn, the Gonzalez, Gonzalez, right? I want, I want to see Dave oh, play. God. I want to see Dave. I was. I want to see Dave play Wonder Woman in the James Gunn's DC universe. Me? Holy shit! Yeah. I said Dave. What the? <laughs> That's extreme. Yeah. Wonder Man. You just want to see Dave naked. I would <laughs> rather see James well, Gunn face wait, Jimmy how Olsen. Does, off of Dave. That's what I would rather see. Oh no, no, no. He's gonna cast uh, Soups as Jimmy Olsen. Oh, fuck that. Oh, oh, Taika that. Soups, though. Don't, yeah, you dare, don't you dare bring that name into this stream. Yeah. Anytime Superman flies, let's go! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait. They, they, they. Can you do a full screen on me for a second? Do a full screen oh, on me for a second. Yo, what is that, guys? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, it's gonna be uh -huh. The DCU is in shambles. <laughs> you are the greatest actor. I will say thank though, you. Though, thank, thank you. you. I am the greatest actor. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, yeah, he 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 did a whole like 
He did a whole thing. <laughs> did you see the screenshot of people posting like they posted day one day ago, posted yeah. today, posted yesterday? Like he literally like it was like it was weird. Like okay, yeah, he did like a whole thing. He did a, like, a, but at the same time, it got people to notice. I can't blame him for that. At least you know. So does yeah, it have to be him? Him? Does it have to be him all the time? It's like, you know. Why is it that when one of like us brown folks gets up there, it's always like you know the the ba- like the the worst of us? To get to. It's always the dipshits. It's yeah, it's always, always the dipshits. The dip he is so goddamn fake. He can't even be honest with himself. Like when, Don't when even, this, not only when this Marvel fake. came out, he was like, "Oh my god, it's like Disney. This is like a Disney Channel show." And then a few episodes later, he was like, "Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever." I'm like, "Shut the fuck up! You are so me. fucking fake." Okay, go not on. Only, okay, go not only on, is he kid. fake, go not on. only is he fake, his fucking followers are fake too. Like that, uh, I'm not, I don't even want to name names because I don't want his fans coming after me, but it's just his little f- crowd of following fools. I can't fucking stand them. His, yeah, that's, that's, his, that's, his that's, that's a that's a cult. Now that is a cult. Zack Snyder has, has fads, Real Soups has cult followers. Yeah, there's a cult. What's few. funny about him and other people who are reviewing the Marvels is that all of them praised the first movie and now they're saying that this movie is not perfect it's not good but it's better than the first it's not, so what does that mean oh yeah, yeah, what, is, yeah what is that goof is so confusing shit. that's some goof ass shit i, I, I right actually there. love dave's uh reaction to the movie but the one that you know where the phone where the phone <laughs> fell off the the yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. That was, like, and that should have been it. I'm glad you kept <laughs> yeah, it in. Like, you I know. I was like, I'm gonna keep that in. I'm gonna just yeah. edit can it. Talk, can, can, we, it can we just talk about Andre's background for a second? Because oh my god, there are so <laughs> many funny. Uh, listen, this is my ADHD is now trigger because I. Oh my god, there's so many things there. I tend to focus more on on Axel's background, like that flash there's cup the... and the Superman <laughs> cup in the background. Oh, flash cup. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah, flash cup. Uh, Don't get it right now. It's a great background. I, I absolutely love it. All the way from Australia. Look at that. Oh my fucking god! Where'd you get it? I don't know. He's like some sort of on Amazon. Amazon. Do you, do you Axel, do you need it? Everything <laughs> that he buys, it has to be imported. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. here's like uh, a BBS uh, movie cup. Oh. Uh, wow. I got a. Uh, uh, school photos, uh, but I'm not showing sure you guys that. I heard nothing he said. Uh, <laughs> I know. So wait, Andre, where did you where did you get the um, the bat flag uh, logo symbol? This? Uh, the, my, yeah. good, my good friend Ryan Zeberpet made that. He, like, oh, wow. like, oh, Ryan made that. Oh, he actually made that. He, yeah. Does he take well, commissions? Oh, of course. <laughs> so uh, originally he built this uh, for Dawson, and it had a shelf that ran across the the middle of it. And I was like, well, I don't want a shelf on it. I just want the logo. And so then he was like, all right, cool. So he just made it just as a logo. And at one point, it was nice. actually, uh, it was like, uh, it was like silver at one point when mm. he had it primered. And I almost was going to tell him, hey, just leave it like that. But then I was like, no, nah, fuck it. Silver. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it would have popped, you know, so. And then uh, I got this. Can we, can we, could, could we, could we, could we zoom in if you don't oh, mind, it, Andre? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Like, listen, listen. All I'm... right, you're on the spotlight now. Listen, Look at this. See, there's the Bat Flag Mobile. There's, there's yeah. a it's Boba got Top Gun Maverick right there. Uh, cool. there's, what you don't uh... know too is that there's actually uh, Lego Parademons <laughs> and uh, Lego Nightmare Batman in there driving. Oh yeah, I can see. <laughs> Did you take All down the... uh, Wonder Woman on purpose? No, she's she's right. She's right there. <laughs> what is that? Fun- what is it? Funko <laughs> right behind you. That's uh, Dash. He's an uh, incredible. No, um, that looks like Mr. Incredible. No, no it's, that's his, that. it's his son. No, you can tell by the hair. You can tell by the hair. Yeah. Oh, that looks more like uh, the oh. thing in the blue thingy. Oh, this. Oh, uh, Fear Jason made that. It, that that's it's my your own, logo. That's my own oh. Funko Pop right there. Yeah, your own phone. Yeah, oh then you got that. he made me that too. And then Ryan yeah. made me this placard that says, uh, "It says number one podcast uh, <laughs> in, in Northwest California region." Um, Brought to you by Samba TV. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> see. Then you have a uh, you have a couple of Batman posters. There's Top Gun. Yeah. You have a comic written by Jeff Jones in the back. Um, no, actually, that is that's the comic number one thousand. No, 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 the one just, behind the, the just the just yeah, the one just yeah, the just yeah. One. And then uh, this one over here is actually signed by Jim Lee. Uh, my father-in-law got it Ooh. at a estate sale. 
That's a group. That's an awesome father-in-law you have. That that is. Look at this. My mother-in-law dropped these off the other day. These are actual like folders from school. Like, dude, like, I had those. I had those 80, when 89. I was a kid. Holy shit! Oh my god! It was like holy shit. I had shit. those. I have that one. Wow. One. Get a second one too. And then that is I have crazy. This one. Yeah. I nice. had those. I and fucking I have had those. Too. Holy lord! Nice. Like, oh, I was like holy shit. So I might give these away someday. I don't. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, give me like drunk. I know. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I I do I, I swear to God I had those folders. Yeah, I had, I had those uh, folders. When, oh man! When I was a kid, Dude. I had this one for sure. Yeah. I had this one. I don't know about the other ones though, but man, you just like you just yeah, blew my mind right now. I just uh, see, back. See, right. see, was it a good idea that I told you to zoom in? Like you know, we we're all able to now. Well, yeah, no, no, that was cool. I, yeah, no, we, we're no. Now on. Axel's getting jelly. He's like, I want to show I things. He's like, I want to show everything I have jammed in, in this. Uh, oh, Dude, I, oh my god, I look so shit in this point. Oh no. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's got like a porn stash going. It's not a fucking porn stash. It's like the eighties, Andre. I know you're old. <laughs> Boy, you're not even older to, to say the 80s. You don't even know what the 80s was like. I do I know. know what the 80s are. I just wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You just, you just so, know about a piece of cool. showed up 20 years later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Scott was yeah. just 20 left. Years. It was uh, 20, yeah, you showed up like 25 years later. 25. Well, what am I yeah. looking at now? There's a. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. The light is so bad in Australia. Good for doing this. Oh, man. The light well, is yeah. um, oh, can, oh, my God. Let me get some light. Let me put some light on here. So there's some Whoa. Light. Oh, Christ. That is terrifying. You should have those yeah. behind you, not in front of you. Like, here's like a school. <laughs> school uh, and then, yeah. Nobody asked about your school. Uh, <laughs> fuck. There's a bottle of hand lotion. <laughs> oh, you, you think you're the only who can give the bird in the camera? He's vlogging. Yeah. Then, yeah. He's vlogging. Take, take, take this, Axel. Take this. <laughs> this so is why you're Carl. Fingers. So many middle fingers, so little time. This is why you're Carl. This so is why you're Carl. So little time. Will be what? Can they be? So you, so you guys saw uh, the Marvels, or you guys talked about it? Yeah, right? we no. talked about no. it already. But what did yeah. you think of the Marvels? Yeah, what did you think? I mean, I already saw your. Uh, oh, I thought it was. Well, my, my video, my video is all fucked up anyway. I, like the like, I recorded the whole video, and then I went to go edit it, and I found out that my webcam mic was the primary mic being used. So I was like, oh. holy shit! Oh. Then I worked all day, so I might redo it. But I already edited that version of it because I was at, I had it at work on my phone, so I was like, well, fuck it. Um, what's that? His dog. dog. Oh, it's not where my dog. Oh, I was like, "Where's your dog oh, now?" Why do you, Why do you keep showing it if it's not your dog? Because Because it's something funny and no, it's because you don't it's hear not, anyone it's laughing. Not funny. You. It, this isn't your show. You, <laughs> yeah, but, you can't yeah, comment I know, your no show shit. with with a a satire picture of a dog. Like, but anyway. Okay. Uh, the uh the Marvels. Uh I thought it was a pretty lousy movie. Um the first half of it, I was actually it wasn't so bad, and I kind of thought, okay, maybe they can play. Like the but then the second half of the movie fell off so Why? hard. Like the moment they got to the water planet <clears throat> and they were like singing and shit, that's when I was like, Okay. I thought that was what, so cute. But here's the thing I I, was, I actually hate musicals, but I didn't mind that. What the I, I hell? Did. I minded okay. the fuck out of it because here's the thing: is that if you eliminated that scene and you eliminated the fucking cat scene uh, later yeah, on, the cat scene was the dumb. cat scene was awesome. They're not cats. No, it was awesome. not. How was that awesome? That because it's a very cat. practical way of but transporting the those people. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you cut out those two scenes, the movie's probably only like 120 minutes long. It's a so short basically, know, right? so already 105 minutes. Already 105 minutes long. So basically, when it comes to that scene, if uh, uh, what's the cat's name again? Goose. 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 And it's not Goose. a cat; it's a frog. Goose. 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 Yeah. Goose. Goose. Like Goose. Goose. Okay, so, so if he wasn't like laying Goose. eggs, if he wasn't, so basically, Zeus was laying eggs in the, Goose. In the wiring, a wiring Goose. of the space station, right? Goose. He <laughs> was laying Zeus. eggs. Like, I, I, don't, I didn't understand what was happening because it was like, I thought oh, I was like, oh, there's like another secondary threat, but yes, that's what I thought. But then all of a sudden, it's like it—it it was a bit for fucking alien cats to swallow people. There's was some cats. so stupid. No, was it was—it was, it was, it was a solution to a problem. No, it was—they no, at that point they—they 
Nope. At that point, nope. they nope. had to transport okay, so, so many people from there. Was just mingling around and laying eggs all over the electrical systems. Yeah, like hiding yeah. behind yeah. those it's channels. It's stupid. Okay, okay, That's okay. not even the most ridiculous part of the movie, Dave. <laughs> Well, what was no. the most ridiculous part of the movie? Ultimate. The musical. Oh, yeah, that no, was no. You said what? you like that. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. I mean, on. I didn't so, say I like it. I I didn't mind it. Brie yeah. Larson in that dress was just fantastic. Oh, she was hot, and, but dude, yeah. fuck yeah. everything else about it. But the thing and it was, it was funny. It was funny how she had to be we, awkward. The and... movie movies with dancing, but we can't have one scene in one Mar- no. non-James Gunn movie where like, was... they do a musical. <laughs> That was a stupid scene. Well, there were so many Guardians esque, you know, elements in the movie, right? But, but there even the so cat many scene flaws, was so Guardians. Casey, so There's still not cats. in the story. For instance, <laughs> yeah. uh, what's her name? The the villain. Uh, uh, I forgot her name already. Duh. Yeah, the, the villain. Yeah, villain. Yeah. No one knows who the villain ben is. Ben Jar or something. Ben Jar. Mrs. Hiddleston. Yeah. yeah, Mrs. Hiddleston. She opens up a jump a jump point and sucks all the air off of that planet onto She's president scrub yeah i know but here's the problem Baseball. though is that like they took all that air off that planet and moved it onto uh what's the name of that planet Hala. Hera? Hala. 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 thank Hala. you moved it on to holla right she took all that water Hala. and put it on the holla like was there any thought about like microorganisms bacteria like all kinds <laughs> of shit i mean this is the this Are is you the trying to apply real face. world logic to a fucking comic book I, movie I, I, I have to i mean it was kind of like wait a minute if you did that that's a fucking that's a world extinction event like you're going to kill your entire civilization on your planet Why? the moment also... you drink that water and breathe that air that made no sense the movie should have been longer the yeah, it should have been really that agree with that, yeah. but they didn't but want the movie. It to be actually, should have came out last year. Like, if this would have came yep. out like before Secret Invasion, it would have made more sense. Like right after it was right after the, uh, Miss Marvel. <laughs> That's when it should have came out. Was right after Miss Marvel because otherwise, now it's kind of like so. Wait, so Secret Invasion already happened, which means that uh, Amelia Clark's character was where she wasn't protecting the other scrolls. She, she was hanging out with Olivia Coleman. Oh, Whoa, look, Casey left. left. Casey. Um, but he was like, I can't hear this. And, and thank God she didn't show up. If Amelia Clark's character showed up, well, with her that, drax arm, you know, yeah, with the drax arm, I would have been the like, jerk oh, off, God, the jerking off happening? arm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, dude, you gotta be kidding me with this. Um, but I mean, the three of them, I thought were the most part, they were fine. I mean, yeah. their interaction with each other, it was fine. Uh, and it should have just been more of that. But and like her parents, Kamala's parents. I thought, you know, they were funny, and I was fine with them, but they were in the movie way too much. By the time we were... Well, it didn't make sense why they were... Wasn't that bad as uh, the kid from Black Adam? (laughs) Uh, Because they wanted to save the movie. (laughs) But, but, I mean, like... They're 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 very likable, that's the thing. They're very likable. Yeah. All right. They're they're hurting the cats, like, get in. And and instead of the cats eating them as well, (laughs) they're one of the people who are hurting the cats into the shuttles. So I was like, what? What the fuck? It was a stupid I know, right? Thing. And again, Nick Fury uh, that's, has that's to be definitely... a part of all that. This is Nick yeah. fucking Fury, the, the ultimate, the spy of spies. This guy in the last yeah, episode, all the it was a now, serious, they, they yeah. were trying to be a serious like story and stuff like that. And then he's resorted to a bunch of jokes laser guns dealing with the family and fucking alien cats you know you know, they, you know what they did oh, sorry, they made, i did they, not like they, that they, they, they made a comic relief he was a comic relief a and I was like, he's a multi-layered character finally i don't Wait, know he's he not fine i don't know it was dumb <laughs> we didn't even need to be in the movie to be oh. honest i don't think sam jackson even cared he was just like oh he got a paycheck for like seven million dollars yeah he's like i don't give a fuck oh good for him good for him and you know what just like Dave said about uh, what's his name, uh, Hank Pym, who played him, uh, Michael, yeah, Douglas. Michael Douglas. I Michael thought Keaton. Sam Jackson just fucking nailed this <laughs> yeah. shit in. He was just there, oh, yeah. just like, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, it's cool. It's Miss Marvel. You know what I mean? Or whatever. It was. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> he was away from Earth's problems, chilling in space. Give him a break. He's earned. I will. It. I will take this ten times more than watching the shit that was Secret Invasion. I haven't even watched that. Don't but even bother. It makes you wonder, though. I mean, when you watch this movie, uh, what's her name? The girl shows up from uh, Thor, and she takes Valkyrie? all those. 
yeah. what? Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah. Valkyrie. She's and, the most she forgettable all, cameo in well, the she MCU. Is, but she takes all the scrolls with her. She's and she's like, yeah, I'm going to find you a new home. And then you kind of wonder, like, wait a minute. So was the this new home's be, on Earth? Was this supposed to be new? this is how they got on Earth because in Secret Invasion? Like, this is how they originally got there? I don't it should have been called No Way Home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She fucked you, did, Axel. Did, did she take up? Did she take in the new Asgard on Earth? Is that what happened? Probably. But then, and I, exactly, it didn't make sense. It didn't make, it make sense. sense. I don't know. But I, Phil, Phil, I know you gotta go. I know you gotta go, Phil. <laughs> no, I no, know. let's keep him. <laughs> Axel, you're not the boss. Axel, you're Axel, you're not the boss. You're the intern. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay then. Oh. Okay then. 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 The movie Sometimes. was terrible, though. I, I I really didn't like it. I mean, uh, did you like I, the first movie? The Lost Jedi. Hey, Phil's got to leave, guys. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, no. let's send him off before we start talking about this again. Well, right? Andre, as always, Dave. Jedi. Thank you again for the yeah. invite. It's always, always a pleasure to chat with you guys, especially Andy, especially Casey, Andre, Axel, of course, as always. Um, <laughs> <laughs> especially us five, but not Dave. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will. We'll find out. Anyway, oh. <laughs> uh, if anyone TMI. wants to follow me, just add a. Unfil- it was a joke. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Deadpool. I'm totally touching myself tonight, just to let you <gasps> all have that mental oh. image. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, seriously. If anyone wants to follow me in my shenanigans, just add unfiltered Twitter, Vero, Instagram, Blue Sky. Oh, what's the other one? Threads and uh, X, of course. Um, if anyone wants. <laughs> to listen to my show the eternal night podcast you can catch me on the four nerds every wednesday with the other guy down there in the center mr andre nicotina and yeah dc united show premiering this friday around 4 p.m that's the date i'm shooting for in time so thanks all right thanks again guys have a good night all right see you yeah. cheers Bye, Bye, love. Love. Bye. Uh, but yeah it's just like i yeah the cat bit was so fucking dumb and... that was the worst part and, and realistically if you remove the the dancing singing scene and you remove the cat scene and just had it as a regular uh you know everyone has to evacuate the evacuate the facility it has no impact on the story it which, really doesn't t- which tells me that they sort of they shoehorn those in because the thing is is that that's why they had the family go up to the space station because that's where it actually did like oh yeah we got to get them out of here if if it was if, yeah it didn't really it was yeah it, it was had like no impact it was a very plot like, that didn't even need to be there they could have crash landed on earth they could have crash landed on earth in the, in the escape pods <clears throat> and you wouldn't have known the better there you know, were so not far. enough escape pods for hundreds of people yeah. Okay, what is this, the fucking AC, Titanic? The whole, the whole, the whole part of the. No, it's like Spaceballs. <laughs> Again, somebody watched, whoever the writer was, watched Spaceballs. Yeah. I tell you what, they watched Spaceballs <laughs> because there wasn't enough skate pods in that shit either. You know, I'm telling you, somebody watched Spaceballs, like, let's make a more We're serious version of that number. Yeah. But, wait, but wait a minute you want realism for you you want you want realism for the space pod thing but if you don't want realism for space pod thing but when the whole water and air thing that's where we have to apply logic like dave sweetie i don't want realism i want quality writing yeah. I mean, if these fucking writers just won their fucking sag astra whatever they gotta put out some better shit than this. I mean, I'm pretty okay. sure. Why? I'm pretty you, sure why they yelling? came up. Why are you yelling? I was I, just because you know what? There's been a lot of people out there like, oh, I, I I stand with the writers. Writers strike. You know what? Lately on Disney Plus and in the MCU, we've gotten shit writing. Total crap writing. I mean, this was this was really bad. I mean, like we could have wrote this movie. I'm, I mean, pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they came up with that scene because they wanted to and went away you know to get those people out of there and they only had one cat so they had to make you know oh so how do we get multiple cats dude i was like i was like oh i was like oh what's this little subplot we got these little eggs that are like showing up in the space it's such a james gunn thing it would definitely be in a guardians movie james James gunn nothing to do with it (laughs) yeah but it's kind of like something that would be in a guardians movie he gave that whole sequence yeah kind of yeah kind of gave notes to them no, but I, I, I was like, I was like, oh, what is this going to lead to? And then I'm like, it's eggs for alien cats. Oh, <laughs> that's I mean, not the, even like fucking eggs. The moment it hatched, that's Dave, and you saw Dave. a kitten, I was like, what the fuck? Dave, <laughs> Dave, what? look at my t- look at my title. Yeah, 
They are they're, not cats. But well, they're, 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 they're I, cats, I agree. But they're aliens, they're like fucking whatever yeah, the hell. The flirt- I agree with the flirt- I agree with the fact that even I thought that when when you know Miss Marvel's family were you know guiding the cats, I was like, why are they special that they're not you know exactly. getting to go inside oh, the cat? But the fucking stupid. physicists and scientists who you're fucking I know, right? and attacking, <laughs> they they're not worthy of, of going down well, by themselves. Well, but well, Kamala's well, family, fuck yes. Well, we know that scientists are usually you know lonely. They don't know how to interact with humans. They just don't have to interact with science. No, so. but Miss Marvel's fa- you know family who had no reason to I be up there. They're like listen, they're listen. the main cast. No reason to be up there. there my mother. Day. You would be surprised how did my mother be able to navigate a situation like that last second. Like, you listen, us, us Middle Easters, we are good on our feet in, in chaos. So, I mean, I, 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 I'll get I get that, but why the fuck did... I don't know. I just it, well, My whole screening seen, was laughing at that entire sequence. <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. It, it's a ridiculous <laughs> sequence, but people were comparing it to Blue Beetle. They're like, oh, so it's like the family in Blue Beetle. I said, no, because in Blue Beetle, they didn't leave the fucking city. They didn't go into space. Like, like they were all within the same vicinity. So it kind of yeah, made they, sense. They and it was fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, if like, I could put up with free media and movies and Eternals, I will happily Blue take Blue a Blue nonsense Blue. scenes. The thing is, Miss wait, Marvel's wait, family's Blue? house was broken. So they had exactly. nowhere else to go. So they had nowhere exactly. else to go. So they had to go to a space station. <laughs> They're Middle East in New Jersey. I'm kidding. Yeah, have I know. I'm kidding. I know you are. That's what's so great. It's like They're up at the watchtower. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know what I mean? It was, it was kind of like, what's this thing doing here? Like, how long has that been there for? Uh, uh, well, I mean, that was part of Secret Invasion, too, though. Yeah, um, he kept getting it. It was so out. funny when he when he literally called it a space escalator or space lift or something. Uh, the way that so thing ridiculous. was moving. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. It was dumb. I, I, I mean, not only that, but like the villains that they were fighting against, you know, the guy was like, Annihilator! You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, like it was like, true. well, calm down. Just don't be stupid. You know what I mean? Like, I on. loved I loved that sequence when it was revealed how, you know, she got the name, though. That was, it that was, was cool. cool. I'll give yeah. it that. I'll give it that. But the Professor problem too with that Marvel. is that it, wasn't it was enough. kind of like the Africa scene for Superman, but uh, not as well done. No, good, good God, no. The problem, not, with, yeah. the problem with that scene was that it, it didn't have the biggest <laughs> impact because really the person who had to feel that that scene and, and had to really digest it and it would have been a greater impact was if Kamala heard that and then yeah. was like, wait, what? I agree. What did you do? She should have been because essentially Kamala is us. She's the fans right. that are in the movie, and so she should have been the one to take on that scene where it's like, wait, I, I thought you were gonna save everybody because I mean, she literally says, right, uh, on on that scroll planet, yeah, that whatever she says, don't worry, Captain Marvel's here, she'll fix everything. Right. So it was setting it up for like a big like, uh oh. That's what I'm saying. Like they should have that's, had more time okay. to explore that. That's what it was missing right there was yeah. the fact that like there it was like the whole time it was like Kamala was just swooning over the whole thing. I was like waiting for that time where she was literally going, you know, fuck this hero I've been worshiping and tear down yeah. her the posters and stuff like that. It yeah. never got to that. Oh, I never, never got there. Thing. I never they got couldn't to that afford point. to. I think they couldn't afford to. Like they, they were too afraid to do that. They're, no, they so probably didn't have more time. And it probably got removed. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. Yeah, they didn't have more time in there. And also, it got. It wouldn't make sense for. It wouldn't have make sense for her to go back to Earth just to tear everything well, down. I, and then I mean, look, maybe not go I, back to I, Earth. I meant metaphorically, but, like she yeah. just, you know, I didn't okay, mean well, it. Never mind. I don't mean she actually goes. It feels like it feels like they introduced a lot of things like this and just didn't explore it because of time. That's the thing. This is why I don't get it. Why was this movie so short? Why yeah, was it only 105 right. minutes? Old? Because I was like, when, by the time the movie was over, I looked at my friend, I'm like, hey, didn't we just like get here like an hour ago? And like, I look at the <laughs> time, and I'm like, 105 minutes? 105 minutes? I'm like, Marvel, what the fuck? You, you like, you Everything was happening too like, quickly. Oh, it, it, it happened really quickly, and I, I do feel like the, the singing and dancing scene and or the cat scene was in the movie because they eliminated a lot of things from the movie. And I think they wanted to keep it a little more lighthearted. But to me, having Kamala, you know, come to the realization that Miss like that Captain Marvel isn't perfect would have been a much better scene to have in the movie and it would have had more weight to it. And they so for some reason they didn't yeah, want to do it. And because Captain Marvel needs to fail. <laughs> Captain Marvel needs to be able to do something oh, where she, she fails fun. and you feel the ramifications of her power. And that, she did. And, but it and wasn't they enough. set up 
I, I know, right? Enough because she they didn't kind know of she touched did. on it and it then did. you know left it. Yeah, it was. It happened twice. See, that's the thing. It was like they really could approach the story with like, because um, obviously you got the Kamala who's just like you know the super fan, and then you got Monica, who they haven't had really a reun uh, uh, a reunion. Yeah. Since the whole, you know, thing where she grew up and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, obviously they touched on that. But again, that wasn't fleshed out really. And it yeah. was just, no. just like, one scene and that's yeah. it. Yeah. No, See, that's the it, thing. There it, was just it wasn't, so much missing when it came to doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't fleshed out. And I felt like they sort of touched on it and then they just kind of dropped it. And it was like, yeah. okay. But even then, even when she was like, oh, you guys, you know, Nick Fury's like, you guys do eventually need to talk to each other. It was at the same time. I was kind of like, yeah, but that whole thing that happened like a couple years ago and you waited hell long to get this movie out. Now I almost don't even give a shit about that. And so they just kind of let it go. Like, yeah, but I know she what. does, that's, Andre. That's she does. Well. Not the characters but, hopeful. Like, you know, they don't live in our, I know, but here's the problem though, is that this, this goes to show you that this phase it has been very unorganized. I mean, this film, like I said, this whole song has been unorganized. Like this is the like, phase four has, was like barely perfect. Like I like, I think I like two movies in phase. This four, feels like a phase three movie. And phase I really four, like that. Uh, because it was kind of a change of pace as it connected so many things from the past, unlike the other Marvel movies that are not being you know connected to anything. So I, I liked that aspect of it. So so when it comes to uh, the alter alternate reality, uh, Monica's mom is a mutant. She looks yeah. exactly like herself, and she's just a mutant named she's Binary. Mutant. I mean, I, I it was like, okay, that's convenient. Uh, I was like, when she woke up, I was like, all right, cool. But I'm like, well, we don't know what she looks like when she uses, we don't know what she looks like when she uses her powers. Yeah. But here's the problem with with her she being, also had the bangles, by the way. The what? Did. Oh, the, the bangles. bangles. She yeah. she did have those on. That's right, she did. Yeah. Okay, Are, so I guess did she, she really I didn't even notice that. But yeah, the thing too is that like she was binary and like. The problem with that that I had was that it's not binary. What's yeah, that? No, very binary. Well, yeah. Her, That's her very character well. name is binary. But the thing is, is that like, uh, they, like Carol Danvers, who's Captain Marvel, she became yeah, binary after she had lost her powers because she got in, she got into an altercation with uh, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, as led by Mystique. And so her Mystique's oh. daughter Rogue is the one who 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 touched her, absorbed her energy, and actually ended up robbing. Carol Danvers of all of her powers, and so for a, for a large chunk during Uncanny X Men back in 1985, oh. I want to say, she didn't have oh, any right. powers. She was just Agent Carol Danvers. And then when when they went to space, she had this like this crazy moment where all of a sudden she like her powers came out from inside of her, and she became binary, and she became a cosmic being. And then eventually, binary's powers sort of dwindled down, and she became just Captain Marvel again. Oh, so. Okay. And so, so when you, I saw her in as that binary, old, oh, makes and sense. So and so when I saw her as binary, I was like, so wait, are you telling me that she went through that? She was Captain line? Marvel there, yeah. Yeah, like did she go through that, or are we just doing it because you thought it was cool? Like I don't get it. No, so but they I, said set it up in the movies in that scene where she said that you know it should have been her and stuff like that, right? So I guess in that alternate. Uh, dimension. She w she actually went through that. Yeah, I, I would so that would make sense because that's how Rogue got got her superhuman strength and her ability mm. to fly. Was that when she absorbed her power from uh, Captain Marvel? Her, her, uh, Captain Marvel's uh, power was so intense that she was able to hang on to th those abilities. Well, normally when Rogue touches you, she absorbs your yeah. your, your power, but she can't hang on that's to it for right. too long. Because I remember so like way back that when it just fucked I'm her up. Yeah, because I remember way back when it was like everybody, like especially when the first X Men came out. So I, I never, I, I had my buddy was all about X Men, yeah. so we had a discussion about like, well, why is Rogue not flying? And then yeah, so yeah, okay. I want to go like, back to something Andre said. Mm. Mystique is her mother. No, Mystique is Rogue's mother. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Look at so, his. <laughs> So Mystique. I thought, wait, wait, wait. I thought Nightcrawler was <laughs> the son of uh, actual mother, or are you just saying that she's mother? No, mother. Oh. It, yeah. It, it, yeah. So, <laughs> so she was her mother. She she raised her, and that's why early on in the comics in Uncanny X Men is that uh, Rogue is a part of the uh, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants because, which is such a corny name, <laughs> and uh, because that's her mom. Yeah. So, so 
so having said all that, I was just like, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe she went through that in this world. And it's crazy because then when you look back at the old X-Men movies of the 2000s, Rogue didn't have the ability to fly or superhuman yeah. strength because I would assume that Brian Singer was trying to say true to the comics and like, hey, we haven't introduced Captain Marvel yet, so she doesn't have her powers yet, which he yeah. didn't even have I remember to do. Having which was kind of conversation crazy. with my friend too. Wow, yeah. you just like brought that back up. I yeah. was like, oh, because my brain like, is like blown right now. I didn't know. Was, yeah, it was funny because were... I remember he showed me like a book, and I was like, then Rogue was flying, and then we're like, wait, I was like. Cause I didn't, I wasn't too sure. And I was like, Oh wait, like she flies. He's all, and then, and, yeah. They fly wow. now. They yeah. fly now. What? They fly now. I was like, wait a minute. And then I remember I'm, from I'm, the, the animated series. I was like, yeah, she did fly. Why didn't you know? Uh, wait, is this okay? So is this, are they, are they, is this in this? Uh, wait, can we say it? What? The well, mid yeah. So, yeah, we can well, talk. Yeah, we can talk about well, it. We've all. Okay. We've so all is that, uh, so is Jose this in the same timeline? Right there. Or, so see what Jose said. He said uh, she's the biological mother of Nightcrawler. So what? so she raised Rogue, and Rogue saw her as her mother. Rogue actually has parents. Okay, but but she raised her as her like as if she was her daughter, to be an evil person, and then she ends up joining the X Men. Axel, uh, I don't think it's the same timeline because he he looks different, that, and also Feige has timeline. been. Is it the same timeline as the Fox movies or the no? 90s I don't think so. Movies? I think, it, I, I think it's, I don't think so because I think, it's I think there's a twist to that. I think it's supposed to be Earth 838 and somehow Monica like no no, no, no uh, Maria she survived. Oh, yeah. she survived. And, and Feige seems to be bringing the animated version of the X-Men into the oh, no, like, they had, why did they Well, if you see what Beast looks like, that, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love I can hear so I can't hear even anything. uh even um Charles in Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. The, in, with yeah. a chair and everything, yeah, yeah. yeah like, well, imagine, that, why that are they Charles pushing died. that? Like, and, and pushing so... them that version of the X Men to be the main X Men. It's like when they're DC not going to be the main X Men. Andy, can I continue? Well, it's like back then, like when you know they kept pushing that. Oh, Michael Keaton's the main Batman. I'm like, stop pushing that. For fuck's sake. Like, well, could we just Walter, get a new Walter Batman? Hermata was pushing that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. It's like. Axel, Still, if you it. ever, if you ever raise your voice at me like that again, boy, I, I know what to do. I know. Like, I, I will, will strike raise your voice. I, I will don't strike want to be you. you will cool. Listen, you will respect your elderly Persian here. Oh that's what. God. That's what. Elderly Persian. Like like that. that. oh, yeah, man. that's not gonna be the main expender. Obviously, like again, they're honoring everything that's come in the past uh, to set up the future. Where the expend in phase seven is obviously gonna be brand new, all new actors, yes. whatever, and so on. Phase seven. <laughs> yeah. Damn. After six, Casey oh. comes seven. No, but seven. but I think Andy's <sighs> right. I mean, I really feel like what they're going to do is, is they're setting up Secret Wars, and then after Secret Wars, everything's gonna gonna reset. Now, are they gonna do a James Gunn reset where they keep certain people around? <laughs> Not, maybe, oh but uh, where we I, don't I know what he's doing. <laughs> but <laughs> if they my, keep my, my prediction is that they're going to reset the MCU and they're going to lean heavily. Well, it's into not the about. <laughs> No, they're going to lean heavily into the X-Men. And I think that's how you introduce like your new Tony Stark, your new Captain America is through the X-Men. So like different movies will have them show up. As long up, as like, Amon Bellani like, oh. remains. Um, but that's what you know. What, on, as long as, as long as, <laughs> as, long as Amon Bellani is still Miss Marvel. Um, but Andre, you know what's so funny is that, is that is that we just got Sam as Captain America. But like, and but I, I keep thinking you're right. They're going to bring back Steve Rogers. And I'm like, but then what's the point of Falcon and being, they'll know. be here yeah. just for one movie. Or It'll it's be, just gonna be a reset. Reward. It's going to be yeah. a reset. Who knows? I'm not sure. You know what they're going to do, but I, I think planned that... out my Marvel reboot. Do you know what's so Stop. funny? I said nobody asked for your reboot. You know what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! That's what you said. Kevin like. Feige should just retire after Secret Wars. Honestly, um, I agree. it would just taint because... his legacy. No, because you know why? Because if he does that, what's going to happen? Everyone's going to say, "Is Kevin Feige coming over to DC Studios?" And that's going to no. start. I, I mean, he want him, I don't want. I don't want him in DC. I don't want him in DC. Well, he's I want... probably working on something. Nobody wants him in DC. He'll go to Star Wars. I mean, everyone will say, "I don't want that," or you know, yeah, he'll probably go to Star Wars. But Dave Filoni, Star Wars movie was one. Andrew, you know what's funny? Because he was asked about the Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, he was movie. asked he was about like, it. He's, 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 he's like, like, it's, it's not happening. Yeah. So no Star Wars for him. So good. I do not <laughs> want Kathleen Kennedy to take it. I don't want Kathleen Kennedy over at, at Marvel. Mm -mm. 
I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I can't. You know, there's this hashtag I made. It's called hashtag sell Marvel to Amazon Prime. Andy, that's I know you're gonna say, that. "Oh, I didn't ask." But that's 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 no, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say you're moronic. I'm gonna say you're moronic. Mar Disney is never gonna sell Marvel. You do are Amazon. like awesome right now. You know what? You know <laughs> you're what? awesome today, Axel. <laughs> I think that what we should do is we should make signs and go in front of Disneyland and just say, "Sell it to." <laughs> Yeah, but then I, I won't be in front of Disney now. I'll actually be in front of the Disney store, so it won't make a difference. So, <clears throat> no. Wait, I mean, wait, how, wait, are we gonna take a photo and then just leave, or? Yeah, or we we're gonna take a photo. Then oh, we're gonna like true influencers. We, we need to oh, yeah, Chick Fil A. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be dressed up as Captain America, and yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have um, like a school um, sign. Andre, who would Andre, who would you dress okay. up? What, what Marvel character would you dress up as if you did that? Program? No, I've been on a hero's journey myself lately. Oh, <laughs> Nobody go. Here we go. You're actually a villain, Axel. Right, I love Axel. <laughs> uh, Axel, do me a favor. Uh, you, you did it for me before. Talk in, in an American accent. Hey guys, what's going on? And that yeah. doesn't sound like American accent. That sounds what? like a he, he had brother. a little twang. He had a little twang into it, like a little yeah, subtle. Okay, little twang. okay. 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 In your normal, in your normal accent, just say the word water. Water. Now, <laughs> now I want water. now. So say that, and then I want you to say water. Water. <laughs> yeah, and say it with an that. R. Water. There you oh, go. There that was, it is. Now you say water. it. That was, that was more. That was more. That was more American. Do, yeah. yeah. First you guys do bacon with your hands, and now you guys <laughs> say water like this. I know. <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> you. Uh, fuck. If you think bacon would, if you you think bacon is so complicated to eat, just become a vegetarian because you do not. I don't want to eat anymore. with my hands and then <laughs> get a get all grubby. That's yeah, like, but bacon is one of the only foods you can eat with your hands. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, but at, but at the same time, the bacon he was what? eating looked like ham. I don't it understand. wasn't ham. Oh, yeah. It was like Canadian it, bacon. But it was thick. It was thick like ham almost. Thick you know? cut. Thick lots. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a pass on the, the knife cutting. But so, if it's I think thin, we can agree. Strip, don't oh, do go it. Ahead. Sorry. What? <laughs> no, I was like, I, I guess we can all agree that Captain or that uh, the Marvels was not a very good movie. Well, I, I, unless I, you're Casey. I, I, was, I, was, well, I love the Marvels too, but I will say this. I can, I can agree that there are issues with it. Nobody cares about the dog. I don't care about the damn dog. It's not even your dog. That's I the know, worst part. You silly goose. The Marvels. But, but, but I feel like people are, I feel like it was comparing... kind of like Black Adam. Uh, it, was it? There are good Black Adam is better. Black but... Adam is better. I think Black, Black Adam is better. Marvels. Black Adam. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Black. for sure. But in the way, in the way that you know, the editing and the flow of the movie and how it was moving so quickly there were some good elements some good characters yeah but, shit. but when you're uh, watching black adam you knew at the end you're going to get henry cavill so you're like all right here here it comes here it comes what are you talking uh, about we got we got black black we also black got i watched black adam, oh, we got black adam. i watched black over black adam i'm not like those tiktok influencers who are like i'm just hey. gonna watch it for henry cavill Hey, we got we got oh, yeah. we, we yeah. got, hey, we got Haley Steinfeld at the end of this movie. Oh, that was dope. I, oh yeah, <laughs> Yo, Young Avengers. That was worth thing. it. Dude. I jumped out of my seat for that shit. I was like, yes. <laughs> Wait, what happened? That scene was so funny We're though. Right because you know what? You know was... what? Though? Yeah, I will <laughs> say I did enjoy that scene because I liked how Kamala was like trying she to be like, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that know, was a good was, scene like, in the dark, and then she said that, and then she was like awkward and then it was you know i actually it was really kind of like bruce wayne and barry uh, Allen. yeah kind of like that, that too like but it. it was like uh, i'm sorry i thought, what, they, played, like I thought it played out very awkwardly and she was like she was like uh, you know i've been keeping it in then saying like how do you like, <laughs> i'm 23 i'm like yeah she's like it's just stuff like yeah. that it was just she's like you join my was, team please yeah yeah, yeah. It was just, it was funny. That was yeah. good. I, I like it. Malani, the Imam Malani is the queen of the MCU. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. Andy yes. And I, I, and I, her uh, and Loki need to leave the, the Avengers. Yes. <laughs> her and Loki. No, no, no. I, 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 I thought she was racist. Shut up, Andre. I, I, Don't I, be racist. I'm not racist. <laughs> I didn't think he was racist. Casey, I didn't say he was Most racist. Most people think that I am actually. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, a lot of people ask me if I'm Iranian or if I'm uh, you do look you do Israeli. Look I swear to God, and I'm not. Well, I, I you I mean, you do look ethnic. Yeah, well, right you're now you're not. Yeah. yeah, I can go over there and pass for like, one of them. Uh, yeah, but um, but no, it's uh, it just it you were attacking out, my daughter in Mambalani. Oh my God, it Your started daughter. out really good. Not I say really good. It started out 
fairly decent, and then it just fucking went down the deep end. I was just like, God damn. They just, and it goes to show you that the story itself was not very strong. They added those, mm-hmm. I mean, they put those two big scenes in there of the water world and the cat. Well, went to Camino? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, and Cocker, removed, like, <clears throat> well, it's like, okay, so you know, what do you, what do you guys think about this one aspect of the movie where uh, I've yeah. seen a lot of people talk about this? Um, they felt that the third act reveal of the villains, you know, what happened to the villain should have been at the start of the movie. Yeah, what, I could do that. What do you, you mean? So you know you why mean? she's like doing this? Yeah. But you kind of learn that throughout. I mean, yeah, but a lot of people feel that if that was at the start of the movie and in the marketing, it would have, you know. I I thought it was fine the way it was because I was glad they gave her an arc so that basically she felt like what she was doing was the right thing for her home planet. And so at least they gave her a purpose. But to compare her to Thanos in the (laughs) trailer was like, get the fuck out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did one of the trailers do that? Well, one of the trailers, you know, uh, they showed Robert Downey Jr. They showed uh, Chris Evans. They showed Thanos. You know what I mean? It was kind of like, okay, hold on a minute. I agree with you. Didn't didn't in that trailer, like, Nick Fury says we have to do one more fight. That was not in the movie. They, they, it was they, not in the movie. That wasn't because, in the movie because right. because Nick Fury was too busy gathering up kitty cats up at a fucking <laughs> space station. I, Fuck you! I Sorry. wish I could have seen Dave's reaction in the theater when the cat scene happened. Just like, oh, what? I was like, I winced. I was like, what the? Fit? One thing I also liked uh, at the end is and people were hiding too. They're hiding behind walls. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. It, it was, was like, like these we people doing? were frightened. They're like, oh, no, yes, because you guys would totally be brave if the uh, bunch of tentacles came out of a little kid's mouth. Like, they made it out like, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that, yeah, whatever. And the intercom <laughs> is like, do not run from the furlings. They will eat you <laughs> and save oh, you. It was like, funny. Computer. No, it was not funny. <laughs> it was funny. It was just like, it was not funny. There's nothing funny about it. I just, okay, okay, okay. Okay, one thing, one thing I like about the. Wait, wait, Casey. What? Just one second, yeah, Dave okay. and Andre, because you're the biggest naysayer of this movie. <clears throat> Explain <laughs> the plots for Eternals to me. Oh, the plots Eternals. Eternals. So uh, basically, it's just make like sense uh, of it. them. Make sense of it. Uh, make Salma Hayek dies, and then so don't shut come up. At the, Eternals. the animals that they're hunting, that they're made to believe that they were the ones that they're were tearing Deviants time on, apart. Right? Deviants, whatever. Uh, it turns out that right. they're the ones who are the bad guys, and they're the ones who are breeding these big, I forgot what they're called, big galactic sized uh, beings that essentially eat planets Celestial? and then are born mm-hmm. celestials. Celestials. And so they realize, oh my gosh, so we're actually, you know, essentially the, the harbingers of these these celestial beings that are killing millions of people, billions of people. Created they, robots. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, but still, I, that movie, I thought it was dumb. <laughs> I mean, it was all right. F- it was all right. I mean, but I, Eternals I mean, was amazing, dude. At the end, I, didn't, this movie, I didn't care enough about any of them. Uh, the one girl, where uh, the have they been girl, since? She was beautiful. I cared more about her know, than anybody right? else. I was like, which well, one? everyone take care of her. Which Gemma one? Chan. Which one was that? Gemma uh, Chan. Yeah, the, the main girl who can. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Gemma Chan. And then like Salma Hayek gets like knocked off hell fast, and even then Salma Hayek, I was like. I was watching the movie. I, I was like, "What the hell, is Sam Mahai doing here?" Like, it just seemed really odd. It just seemed really odd. I was like, "Why is she here?" Is Antonio well, Banderas around the corner? Why can't she be here? Yeah, why it can't did, she be? It Andre? didn't feel. It didn't feel very natural for Cassie. A lot of racist energy from you today, man. Yeah, from, from, from the only Latino in this fucking panel. <laughs> what are you talking? What the? Fuck? Oh, he's half. Yeah. He's, <laughs> wow. I, forgot you, I forgot you're half being yourself. I forgot about that. But wow. Um, wait, wait. And not only that. Are you saying you're purebred? And he's <laughs> not. And I wish. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I'm one of the Eternals. But, but the thing the, he's calling you mud blood. Uh, yeah, you're, you're a mud blood. <laughs> you're a muggle. Oh man. Built no, but yeah, I mean, Eternals. I need to watch it again. But well, I always, yeah, no, I, you don't. Like you really don't, Dave. No, it's a well, place no, no, time. because it's gonna be better than this fucking. <laughs> After man. you have to, you have to, you have to watch it. You have to divorce it from the MCU and just watch it as a movie. You really do, and I th- I always thought it should have been a series. I think they could have really yeah, yeah. filmed oh, that yeah. out, and they really could have done a series with this, um, as you know, more than an actual movie, to be honest. But yeah, the, the Eternal should have been a series. Um, 
There was just so much unlimited air. So much limited air. The Marvels probably should have been a series. No, the uh, Marvels should have just been like, ah. Should have been like movie. a uh, one-off yeah. episode of, well, no, if they actually did it correctly, they could have been in the series maybe. But it was just like a one. I don't know. It, uh, yeah. You know, I, I feel like more, adding I those two. Four, four more episodes. I could have done it as four episodes of, four extra episodes of Miss Marvel season one. Yeah. My point is that I don't. I, I think there was a point for this story because it did push things forward for the multiverse saga at least a little bit. But also, yeah. it was a nice. It was also nice to have a break from the entire thing of like you know, like, let's just focus on these three female heroes and yeah, you know, but at finding... the end it went right back to it. <laughs> They're like the X Men. Why? Right, right. Away I, from saying, Earth. That point. was also a good thing. Go go for it, Casey. They were away from Earth. That was also a good thing. Everything okay, just happened. We just, okay, okay. Uh, did we not forget about Guardians of the Galaxy? That was a yeah, way that, was, that is why I liked some of the things, Dave, because yeah, I like yeah, Guardians. Casey, yeah, okay, so yeah, you know what, Casey? We will just go to our DS and we will talk about the movie in peace and where we catch you love that. Because, good lord, it's like, go on Discord and do well, it. Well, no, I, mean, I was just saying, you said like it was away from everything. I'm like, yeah, so it was Guardians. I mean, it yeah, is yeah. like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy is a space trilogy. Yeah, I know, but know it was Captain Marvel. It was, yeah, it was the are the Marvel Cinematic in fucking, Universe. There was nothing else the that had to do with Galaxy, MCU. Dave. I know, but it was the point. But what you said was like this movie was away from the re rest of the MCU. So was Guardians. I said a multiverse yep. song. I didn't yeah, say but, the yeah, oh. but Guardians. It, it was that. It didn't have imagine if, Yeah, in yeah. towards the end, but for the bigger portion of this film, this was a very self-contained story. It was dealing with a fallout. Yeah, until Carol until they ripped the, the, until they ripped the, the the thing in space, and then it was all about the multiverse. <laughs> it wasn't a self-contained story, Andy, because you're talking about worlds being you know destroyed. Not to mention when the fucking uh, water planet got attacked, they warped out of there and they just fucking left them there. They didn't even go back to save them. I was like, wait, you just... Nobody cares about the singing people. Yeah, they care. <laughs> they're like, talking about that prince who is glorious. Monica that prince was Monica so Rambo. shit. Monica oh, Rambo. my God. That, that to go back. He's on the poster. He's on the poster. The he's other guy who introduced the, the prince was better. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? The guy who sang and introduced oh, the prince, yeah. uh, he was, he was better. better. Than the I forgot. Prince. I forgot all about the guy. Sorry. And then, and then, and then, all of a sudden, he like talked normal and like, wait, he didn't sing. It's like he's bilingual. He's bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> I like musicals, and I I was here for it. So. <sighs> I like that adding those two actually Dave, made okay to Captain love... Marvel more fun. <laughs> I Dave, thought, it's, okay, it's okay to I, love fun, Dave. It's okay. I, 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 I like La La Land. I like La La Land. It's not just about fun. That's I mean, if you, if you, if you like fun, quality. then Thor: Love and Thunder was all kinds of fun. I'm sure. Oh, but that was, no. it was not. I didn't even watch it, and it's still imagine, <laughs> imagine standing Taika Waititi in 2023. It's all to say. <laughs> terrible. He's gonna play Jimmy Olsen. I'm just saying. What? Um, <laughs> Axel, shame on you. They put him on time. They put him on timeout right now. Put him on timeout. No, Dave, don't you dare listen to it. Did you guys see the uh, the post from uh, uh, Griffin Schiller about uh, the Marvels? I thought it was it was the best one. Oh, the the Dave about what he hated Griffin? compared it compared it to Josh. Yeah, right? yeah he said it's Joss's league levels of bad, but the, the last that was that was no that was no way that's a fucking insult. that was an absolute no shred. Even stretch, though I didn't yeah. like the movie, it was an absolute stretch. It wasn't that bad. No, I, I hope loved... Adam Driver was a bit stretched too thin. That's what I. Oh heard. god, <laughs> Dave, what? do you remember? Do you remember that it... poster where there were a bunch of cats that they released? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now it makes sense. Film junkies at filmjunkie@gmail.com. That was the worst MCU poster ever. It was the <laughs> International no. Cat Day or something. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the it, irony I that even you cat. literally had Nick Fury trying to like, get cats into a fucking. Uh. Let him be more. That's why I said, that's why I said, Nick Fury. I said, poor Nick Fury, poor Sam Jackson. Is like they resorted him to a fucking joke, and then he had to like you know rattle, get a, a bunch of cats into a, an escape pod. Uh, and and they they already I mean ha, I mean the whole time like before leading up to the first Captain Marvel, we're like, hey, how did he lose his eye? What happened to his eye patch? He got his fucking. Okay, eye, I, I agree. agree. The first that movie was, was shit. See, he can't get away from these stupid fucking cats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, so they were going back to the we cat. We don't care about the dog. We don't I'm care sorry. about the dog. The cats was 
that looks like that a was dog. a nail in the coffin for the movie. When we got to that cat scene, I was like, all right, this is officially. A so they were new. Movie. They they were new I to the that. legacy because I saw it in your title. Yeah. You want to talk? I definitely about get it? that though, uh, Andre, because they look, they a lot of people mad right now. were they probably so <laughs> already no, disappointed in this movie. I, I had a, like a, a message. I had to like respond to that. <laughs> was it uh, Jack Snyder? <laughs> He was the other one telling me I'm go. never coming. He was Let's just the other being right like, Andy, you're yourself. never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go put on my face. <laughs> no. I was just glad <laughs> I saw Godzilla <laughs> later that night, so I had a palate cleanse. Oh what? my god, I know you gotta go see Godzilla minus one. That looks so awesome. Dude, you gotta see it. I like it's dude, really good. Please go support. Oh yeah. It's like the lost yeah. Jedi, but like you know. Oh, Oh Jesus fucking! I, I, which, I liked, I liked, which I, I actually did enjoy. Me so. too. Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. Oh, so, so wait, so it's not even controversial to say that anymore that you can like we're actually. Oh no, I've life. I've always said that. I've always said because I the, the hate so for dramatic. the last Jedi was a little too much. Yeah, yeah dude, I because there's a terrible movie. movie. I have Star Wars. Of scenes, like, how dare you like the sequel it's trilogy? Not about what we, it's not about what you want. A couple of scenes in this movie were pretty good that I thought you know had that gravitas. One was you know obviously the scroll escape scene, uh, and I liked how they. Yeah. No, I mean I liked how they gave Captain Marvel this. Um, stern you know making hard decisions as a captain finally as a leader i like how you know they gave that to her and in even in the end when the villain was you know quote unquote dying you know getting stabbed by that thing that fell on her <laughs> i i liked that she was just you know she didn't give a fuck you know even when she, she was kind of them it was like here it comes yeah <laughs> but that's what heroes do though like right? they, they yeah try to i like that them. yeah they're naive yeah, they're naive. All uh, of them are. All of them in the MCU are naive heroes. Yeah. You know what that's, why, that's why. That's why I liked Hala. that she was being Hala. stern still, and she was making the tough choice. You know, a little nitpick. Uh, it was not. It's, it's such a stupid. Well, one little nitpick. Case. You. I, I found my case, but, but, but like, there was like something that I just kind of laughed at because I was like, I was just thinking about the whole thing. And yes, you got to suspend disbelief. So, and it was the the drama of the scene. It was when like obviously uh, Monica is like trying to close that little rip. And then she's like, nope, I have to fix it. I'm not going to make it. And then, of course, Carol, like, like is trying to get to her. And then when, once it seals up, like, Carol goes, <gasps> she does, like, a, a deep breath. And I'm like, there's no air in space. <laughs> there's no air in space? <laughs> I'm like, hey, you know, like, totally did this, like, deep breath. And I'm like, like, this gas. And I'm like, there's no air in space. I mean, hey, how are they even talking? They, they, they've, done that shit. they've done that shit in Superman 4. Dude, it's when the Clark same is thing. Flying, I know. It, it was like, it was such a stupid like thing that I thought about. But it was just, Those... it, was so, it was such a big gasp. And I'm like, yeah, but there's no air and space for her to do that. Yeah, what are you, like, what are you gasping? <laughs> Those Matter? Avengers yeah. comms are the best yeah. device in the mcu they are the <laughs> best it? things ever because well, best it's not even it's not even bluetooth anymore it's like it has to be like green yep. to red <laughs> yeah, or something it. that, gonna, come on you guys I mean, there's a lot more well, to, to me to, to me if she just did like a just a face like just like like just like just like and there wasn't the big huge gasp that was there i was like you could have just went without the big huge gasp and just the for now right i can here, never Dave. look no, at that scene the same way again it's just around her body that's it the oxygen but no, there's a rip. There's a rip in space, right? And Monica Rambo is like, "Wait, based on the amount of energy we use and the fact that we're using light energy, that's not a a, a different spot in space. That's a different dimension or whatever." I was like, "Well, you could fucking eyeball that. <laughs> you could just look at that and go, I know what that is.'" I was like, "How did she know that?" And then she's like, "Here, both of you guys because, shoot me, and that should be the same amount of power." I was like, okay. "Because Andre, she was seeing like the different Earths, and she saw Nicolas Cage, she saw, um, you know." I, okay, but you let know, me you ask know, you guys Robert, that. Robert Downey Jr. learned wait, wait, Tony Stark learned time travel in two hours because he flipped a model. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, it so it took guys, Loki it, centuries. Hold, hold, yeah, hold, hold, that, hold the same well, standard. Okay, if characters. you had to watch, what was a better movie, the Marvels or the Flash? Oh, the Marvel, the Flash, obviously, yeah. the Flash, Dude, the Flash, yeah, by a big mile, <laughs> babies and, and microwaves. And you know what? You know what? The That's pe- better than Alien Cities. 
Andre, I would say this. It pains me to say that the Flash is worse than Marvel because, like, listen, I am the biggest Flash fan on this stream. Oh, I'm I a huge the... Flash fan. And, a, and, yeah. But out of the two, I'd probably watch the Flash again. I think yeah, that has same. more to it. Oh, I've already watched the Flash like four times. I'm not going to watch yeah, it. Yeah, we know. Dave, yeah. That, that, that's, that's three times more than I have. Yeah. I know. But I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to watch the Marvels again. <laughs> There's no reason yeah. to. Um, and there's no reason to watch the Flash either. Uh, the DC, the DC EU is dead. So it is. So is the MCU. Just kidding. I <laughs> uh, soon it will be. So is the MCU. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, just this little things. It's just like, uh, uh, yeah. So it's just like, I don't know. It, it, was there? There wasn't like a post credit scene. I left after the mid credit scene. There wasn't another scene. Was there another scene? No, there was just a two. Just a two. No, the, the, wait, 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 wait. Wait, there what? Was, there were two. For the Marvels for the Marvels. And the Marvels. Yeah. Um, I they, I, if you right. had stuck through the whole credits, you know all you all you would have heard was just cat noises. I kid you not. Oh, wow, you know what? I'm so glad oh I left. Ah, oh, so glad Me too. I left. Oh, you know what? I, I left. The, yeah. I took. I turned to my friend and because he was kind of asking me like, because he's like he's I'm the big comic person out of us two, so he's always asking me like, hey, what does this mean? Or are there gonna be two post credit scenes? And this time he's like, I are always there gonna be two Google that scenes? shit. I, are there gonna be two post credit scenes? Am I? Uh, if there is, or it's probably gonna be with cats. Well, and well, then literally ten seconds later. Oh God, I'm so glad I left. Um, no, because like the only things that I you know when it when it came to leaks, I heard I I saw the Kate Bishop scene. But that wasn't that was just at the end of the movie. And, Bishop was in and then it? I and then yeah. And then uh <laughs> yeah, get out of your basement act and go watch a movie, you will know what we're talking about. Oh, oh, okay. I I don't live in the basement. <laughs> I didn't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> but then I heard about of course this the, is uh, dawn the of something better. <laughs> yeah. And then of course I of course I heard about the X-Men Beast scene. So once I saw yeah, that, I'm like, yeah, all right, there, there, there must not be anything super, else. There's, there's not gonna be anything super, else. So I just super. left. And thank God. Why did they not have the music? No, they had that in Miss Marvel. I hate that fucking music. I hate that it's a great song. song. It's a kick him, song. kick, kick it's a him right now. Kick him right no, now, Dave. Trying. They put that in Miss Marvel. You know, you know what, Axel? When that song was out on TV, you were just a twinkle in your mama's eye. Yeah. <laughs> not even. Oh. No, 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 no. Not the X Men like, from the movie. His mom so probably wasn't in, even in born. The, in the in the credits, the X Men of the Past and X Men Two. How young he is. How old are you, Axel? You're like what? I'm, uh, 19, 19. I'm turning 20 uh, on the day Rebel Moon comes out. By the way, how, uh, nice. How old's your mom? Yeah. It's a good celebration. Uh, how old, she's how old's your 50s. mom? In her 50s. 50s. Oh, she's no, in her 50s. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so you're she would have been she was around. She was around. She was yeah, she was around. Ask her about the 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 soundtrack yeah. credits. In the soundtrack credits, it says X Men: Days of Future Pet and X Men: Two Scores were used by John Ottman. But never do we hear what I think they were just so subtle that we didn't realize it because we were so mesmerized by all the bullshit. There were no that music in that scene. I don't think there was any music in that scene. So, so there was no music in that scene. There, but again, that's why like, I think the credits are so ridiculous. I'm like, hey, okay, okay. Speaking of that scene, answer, uh, answer this because obviously, the, 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 the scene, the how they wanted to make it heavy was the fact that it's like it's her mom, it looks like her mom, but it's not her mom. So why was binary just chilling there in a blanket like she was her mom? But then she's like, <laughs> "What are you talking about? Who, who, who's this?" It's like, why was she actually just there? Why was she so concerned? She also about coincidentally it? had an accident or something. <laughs> <laughs> why was just she like, wrapped in a blanket? Why but was it's just so like horrible? she was there, like she was a family member. But then when Monica was like, "Oh my god, mom," and then and she was like, "Who are you talking?" It was like, "Okay, so why are you like oh, there? Man. You're a family member. I don't even get I, that's. It was just." It she was probably I, just on the team, you know, discover who discovered her no. from Okay, that well, space. they probably have their own sleeping quarters. I mean, and think then, about <laughs> logistics. If binary is a scene, mutant, if binary like, is okay, mutant. we're gonna have you sit here next to But who to her, got but we're who got photon you. from that space? I don't know. If only there's a it, only if there's a continuation of some kind, Casey. I mean, I'm to be honest, to it should have just been uh, Brie Larson, another version of her. You know what I mean? Like a variant. It would have been like, oh, okay, cool. That, that makes more sense. Instead, it was. It wasn't. It was her mother, and you know, and it wasn't yeah, even like a her scene. Mother, yeah. 
yeah, where she got to talk to her mother one more time and said it was hella awkward. But if it was, if if it was, you know, um, Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, like that would be a waste of character. This way, they have a new character to bring into Secret Wars. Yeah, yeah pretty much. They're like, also, it, oh, will hey, be, it, will be, it will be kind of we nice. We found you a role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's We're bringing you that? back. What's wrong it's with fine. that? No, it's fine. I, I, I was just saying, but. Um, so the X Men are definitely going to be the X Men from X Men ninety seven. I would imagine that's yeah. the world that they that, came that's from. What, that, that's I mean I no. keep wondering why if I keep well, saying because that. Beast oh. he looks just he, like he does in the animated series. You know, it, yeah, like, he looked more like that than he did. I think Kevin Feige is Days bullshitting all of us. He keeps saying that. Oh, he's the, we're not the X Men ninety seven has nothing to do with MC on Mike. Really? Why they bring back that show? I think Axel, they what Axel is saying is right because this is obviously not the main X Men. So whatever the story Kevin Feige is going to give the main X Men, because see they be have to team. have, yeah, they have to exist like for a long time, right? They just can't come in through the muscle. yeah. Like that's why I was so hesitant. Like for I'm sorry to cut you off, Casey, but like um, like just First having them just for putting off someone. Like having this shut up so abruptly is just I don't know. That's why like yeah, your face is abruptly. I guess I guess Feige just didn't find any other way. But this is also not the main X Men, so it's kind of like we're just bringing in multiverse characters at this point for Secret Wars. So I guess and then that's why they're doing it like that. And you know, Marvel isn't even using the multiverse correctly. Like they're just using it for nostalgia bait. And yeah. Stuff. At some point, like... Andre, I think they will soft reboot and then start oh, over. Absolutely, yeah. but I mean, Hashtag like, sell like, like the rumors that, that Shut fucking up, Axel. Hugh gonna Jackman, that. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, and uh, Tobe Maguire Spider Man are gonna lead the new Avengers. Yeah. Like, get the fuck oh. out of here! Come on. Oh my god, but Andre, but Andre, can we listen? Like, okay, how old are you, by the way? Me? Yeah. I'm old enough. No, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm 41. 41. Damn, you're, you're old. 40... I go shut up. You don't look 41. Can you I stop telling me to shut up. It's because I'm Persian. That's why. In that case, I did my, the Persian thing wrong because I look older than I actually am. But like, wouldn't it be kind of, like for us who grew up? You have hair on your shoulders than I do, and that's, that's, that's for sure. Listen, I shaved all this off the other day because I'm like, I listen, I cannot do this right now. But I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> boy, you don't even have chest hair, so you don't even know what it's like. You don't even. Yeah, I do. Boy, I'll sit your hair. Sit your, no, sit your ass down, Andre. For us who grew up with Tobey Maguire, I am sitting and, down. And Hugh Jackman, like, come on, that would be. That would be kind of cool, though, if they lead the Don of something look, better. Look, like, yes, oh does the idea sound cool? Yes, but I logistically, I don't see how Selling they're going to make Amazon. Hugh Jackman and Tobe Maguire the leaders of the Secret in, or Secret Wars Avengers team or whatever. I just don't see that happening. Yeah, I, see sure. I think the movie, they just, but not the they just said like, oh, wait, they okay. just said that they were leads, not leaders of Avengers. I, I think that's also, we have to remember these are from these Twitter scoopers. Scooper. It's from these Twitter scoopers. We need to exactly. fucking yeah. stop giving them so much. Like, yeah, but like sometimes they're right. Like this one, and sometimes they're line. wrong. Sometimes they're fucking wrong. <laughs> a lot, lot of them are wrong. wrong. A lot yeah. of times they're no, wrong. like actually, this is why like people like actually is why I don't want to have kids. They like, cry. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, so you're, sure you're preventing <laughs> someone from being born. Bruh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'd rather have a dog. Oh I wish God. you wouldn't have been born. <laughs> He's oh, still man. here. Hey, still can we here. talk about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, that movie looks like the perfect Christmas movie. I'm just saying. Right? Yeah. right? Uh, this could be coming was... out like in December. It was a breath yeah, of fresh I know, air. But, but the, the writer's strike, though. That's well, who's that Yeah, guy? fuck the writer's strike. I don't give a shit. That, it should have come out. Or not the writer's okay, strike. I don't know why I said the writer's strike, but the whole every strike, whatever the hell. Yeah, it's coming strike. out. When is it coming out? It's coming out next year, right? Next year, it, yeah. It should yeah. come out Christmas. I know, but but the thing is, they couldn't complete it. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. It's like there's That's like, fucking there's Dune. Probably... Dune's fucking done. It's like about Dune, in the can, like... and they oh, been... fucking come on, Axel. I was on your side until now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, no, but yeah. Uh, so obviously, yeah, I wanted to you know briefly get everybody's um, um, response to the uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire uh, trailer. Um, and I, you know, of course, I'm a Ghostbusters. You know, I, I yeah, I was, I'm, I've always loved Ghostbusters, and um, I, I, I thought, yeah, great, 
sweet. And this is something different. It's unique. They're not going to go, obviously, you know, the first, the afterlife was like, all right, we have to balance the nostalgia with like new stuff. And I thought they did it uh, pretty well. And, and then now we just like, okay, they could have easily been like, well, let's try to shoehorn in, you know, Vigo from Ghostbusters 2 or something like that. And maybe eventually they will. But I just was like, cool, they're doing like a whole different thing. This remi- What it reminded me of was the, and I think they were actually going for this, was it reminded me of the cartoon a little bit more than the first one. So I was like, sweet, I'm totally about that. Make it like the cartoon. I don't give a shit. Yeah. You know, as long as the OGs are there and the new people are there, that's what I always wanted. When 2016 Ghostbusters came out, I was like, I was trying to support it because I like Ghostbusters. But then when I saw it, it you know, and I even said it like, because I, I was like, oh, has a movie ever pissed me off? Oh, wait, Ghostbusters 2016 pissed me off that was pretty because bad. of that. And, uh, and I was like, why can't they have a balance of like the OGs and a new crew? And then you can have guys and girls and equality. Hello. Can we do that? As opposed to just having an all, all girl team. And then all the dudes are either dickheads or fucking dumbasses. I'm looking at you, Chris Hemsworth. Jesus Christ. I'm glad you, you saw know, that, that movie. I, I hate that movie because like it made, it made people it, that made, yeah. It, yeah, everything. The cameos were shit. Chris Hemsworth was just like this big, dopey, dummy dude. It was ridiculous. They were just like, I, but what was funny is, is like, I actually liked like the first half hour because it didn't feel like a Ghostbusters movie. And I was like, hey, it's a funny movie with uh, McCarthy, Melissa McCarthy and uh, and Kristen Wiig. I was like, OK, I can get it. But then when it started getting into the Ghostbusters stuff, I was like, nope, fuck this movie. I hate this. I hate this. I, I hate yeah, this, and it, it I kept good. going, and I was like, I hate it more. I keep hating it more, and then I just, I, 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 yeah. why are you watching it then? <laughs> I was, I, I'm the film junkie. He was in the oh, theater. Yeah. He was locked in. <laughs> he was like, oh no, I'm trapped. In. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. I watch movies. I don't know if you know this, but uh, no, oh, but yeah, um, oh shit, I didn't yeah, yeah oh. crazy, right? I'm Australian, by the way. No, but that's the thing. <laughs> That's why I felt I felt for you when I felt for you know you know the Australians because they made Chris Hemsworth look like a big dumb yeah that, 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 that made that I blame that movie because that's what made people think oh my god this is what Thor needs to be funny like yeah yeah how's that gone since? well I mean yeah. yeah well I mean that's the thing I think Hemsworth is now realizing like okay um you know I I think he hates the I I I think he hates Ghostbusters 2016. He's like, yep, yeah, yeah, fuck that. And then now, and you know, like they're 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 planning on doing like a, a fifth Thor movie, you know, and they're gonna be in a different tone. And I'm like, you know what? It's too late. Like, you think so? You I think they could. Yeah, and, I think they could. What did I come yeah. back to? Oh, we're Before just talking about Ghostbusters and how Ghostbusters 2016 sucked, and yeah. But how which the one, you know which, how which one, one is which one is, which one is the 2016 one? That's the all female one. Oh, that's <laughs> the one I actually liked. Oh, oh really? I'm, always I'm sorry. Man. I'm sorry that I like women, Dave. And you didn't like Eternals. Wow, Andy. Oh. Oh, K- 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 or Casey, the Flash. I, wow, Andy. Yeah. I, said, when you're I didn't old. hate. No, hold on. I said oh, I like Adam. Mar- <laughs> I love Andre. You could not tell me good. on Twitter. I was defending Black Adam. To my like fucking dying need, but nobody else would support it. So, um, hey, I was there with you. Well, you didn't know me then, so you know I I don't I don't know what you thought. I also I didn't <laughs> say the Flash was a bad movie. I was saying I would rather take the Marvel than the Flash, and it hurts me to say that as a Flash content creator. Oh. So, don't be putting words in my mouth. <laughs> no, but what did you think about the Ghostbusters uh, Frozen Empire trailer, Andy? So, you know, see, I I struggled to get out with Ghostbusters as a kid, but like it looks fun, okay. you know. I get, uh, and I hope that ca- now the cast can promote it. So I think that's great. That's so great. Yes. And then, yeah, did you watch Ghostbusters Afterlife? By the way, I think I started watching it, and then oh I can't. Kind of get- oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but not because I was bored. Yes, yeah, no. said, hey, all right, guys. Was- all right, guys. Let's go around the horn. Uh, <laughs> Axel, where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at um, yeah, God, I, won't, I, I, I will never answer any more questions. Like, good <laughs> Lord. You guys were asking. I didn't think it was a bad movie. Like, again, I started watching it and then I 
you know, personal shit was going on. But, you know, I'm okay. sorry that my life can't yeah. be as perfect. <laughs> Clearly not as perfect as you guys. And oh, yeah. I'm, so, the, my life I'm is sorry. So perfect. I'm sorry that I can't have a cool background like Andre, that I can't call Zach <laughs> whenever I want, like D- Dave, that I can eat bacon on a fork like Axel, or be pretty as KC. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Dave Dave talks to Zach every day. Dave. Yeah, yeah, all the hey, time. Buddy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad, baby, you haven't mentioned me? Oh, does he mention me? No, I'm just kidding. I did mention you. I said, like, I can't. You know what I thought was cool though about Frozen Empire the trailer was that it starts off with uh was it was that song Blue Summer? Uh yeah, it's kind of like Karate Kid. It was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but I liked it though because it, it still yeah. it has that, that feel from Ghostbusters 80s. in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, it has an 80s feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did. And then yeah, I, no, I'm 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 very intrigued. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm I'm liking this. I'm liking I, this. I'll say something nice it's about the new Ghostbusters nice story. Life. And it's not going to be like full. I mean, there's going to be some nostalgia probably in there, but that's the thing. Afterlife was trying, it had a lot of nostalgia that they were trying to go for and they were balancing and then trying to send it off into a new direction. Now it's just like flat out. This is just a Ghostbuster story and it's a new villain. We don't even know who the fuck this, this, this ice horn dude is, whatever that were, or maybe not babe, chick, whatever. Hey, did, did they you know? show oh, the, the villain? Oh. Yeah, they showed. Uh, you see, like the villain, like oh, put yeah. like horns on, and then you it's, see like a silhouette. You see like a silhouette of uh, of the of the villain. So I was like, Ooh, okay. Well, so I gotta ask you guys a question. I gotta ask you guys a question. Did Ghostbusters? Because I didn't watch the older Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, Shyamalan. And you should. Um, oh, like, man, wow. Um, yeah, but like, did did in Ghostbusters Afterlife handle nostalgia better than The Force Awakens? It was probably the same, to be honest. It was a little bit of like because I thought Force Awakens balanced pretty good too. Um, I think the Force, Force Awakens, Awakens had a woman in it, so that's why it's worse. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. Like <laughs> Force Awakens probably did it better because mm. because because I think of the whole Han Solo and you know Leia and. Eh, but of course luke was i don't know because with ghostbusters you really had you didn't really i don't know it's kind of hard to yeah that's a good question because you, you, you got them all at the end of the movie like they just came well, in. but they, they showed up i mean we saw ray in the middle of the movie at least and went eh, yeah i think i think force right. awakens probably handled it better i thought right. that that ghostbusters afterlife was handle itself the way that like I want to watch Gun Maverick handle itself where it knew what it wanted to be. It knew how much nostalgia to kind of bite off of, but also how to introduce new characters. Um, I I think Top Gun Maverick is a fucking fantastic movie. Yeah, that's great. I wish I saw that. If you would have told me, oh, we're going to make Top Gun part two, I'd have been like, well, this is going to be a train wreck. Instead, it's like, it's one of my favorite movies ever. I I love it. It's such a good movie. You know what I liked in Afterlife? I liked. uh... Do you know how to speak when it's your turn, Axel? <laughs> uh, do you? You keep interrupting me. I, I do. Me when I get, when you keep, I because you keep interrupting me. No, I don't keep, you keep interrupting me. I love uh, McKenna Grace. Uh, Dave, off. you should be charging your viewers. I know. They're getting so much yeah. entertainment. I know, right? Here, Dave, I'm right. sharing sure the screen with you. I'm it, not turned gonna... it, it turned into the uh, the, the, the Axel and... Uh, he and... started at... Uh, I didn't want to do anything. The title, so. This is the AAA show. <laughs> Andy, Andre, and Axel. No, yeah. uh, I'm sharing the screen with you, Dave. I'm not going to play the actual trailer, but this this screenshot, I thought that was cool because these are the lions from the first one. Yeah, from the library, from the library, yeah. right? Like, yeah. So shit like that, I was like, hey, that's awesome. There's yeah, so it was like, lines. there is some still like a little nostalgia they wanted to put in there, yeah. Yeah. You know. I, th- I thought but, that was cool. But that was like the only thing, because like they, they could only do so much, there's only two other movies, you know? And yeah. they could have did like, oh yeah, Vigo is going to return, but maybe, I was like, no, don't do that right away. Maybe save that where like Vigo is going to show up in like the third one, if there's going to be a third one, who knows? But uh, yeah, and Vigo scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Jesus Christ, that fucker! And the, 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 little, the, the little French guy or the German guy, whoever. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah. Was yeah. Little, yeah. what was his name? Uh, uh, Thanos, Thanos, or something. I don't know. Thanos? No, it's not Thanos. Yeah. Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> it was like Thanos, Thanos, or something like Janos. that. Janos. Janos. Yeah, it was like Janos. Yeah. And, and he was he was possessed by the painting. 
Yeah, yeah, he got yeah, he got zapped by it. That mm -hmm. fucking that scene is scary. That's a scary yeah. scene. Jesus Christ. I mean, imagine like you're at a museum and you're like, oh, I'm gonna touch up this painting, and the light, the the eyes zap you, <laughs> and then and then the painting turns into a floating head and is like, hey, guess what? I'm a fucking you know demon that's gonna. Sh I love the chat is like fighting about Black Adam and the Flash right now. I know is that what's happening. Which <laughs> yeah, one's better? Yeah, Black Adam. No, Black Adam yeah. is better than the Flash. We're just we're just gonna put it to rest. Hey. No way. Uh, well, no, no, I gotta way. go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh. To do what? <laughs> to throw I... up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like, on 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 the series note, I wanted to love the Flash. Like I was like, you know, listen, but you know, despite all the Ezra Miller stuff, despite you know, like some of these like you know leaked images, you know, with the bad CGI, so I was like, I was going to be, like, I I'm gonna love this movie. I'm, you know, I love the Flash. You're Barry just Allen, a fake Flash. fan. Yeah, you're a fake fan. <laughs> but no, I mean, so did I. But I mean, honestly, the Flash was doomed. There was just so much going against it, and the fact that they were able to get, even able to get out, get out that movie the way it was, is probably amazing in itself. Because you're talking about two different regime changes, three if you if you count the Deluca and Abney, uh, you know, takeover. Yeah. So I mean, it's just it's fucking crazy that that movie actually, it was so screwed over. It changed how many times? I mean, like. I'm sure that that movie changed so many. I mean, look, they filmed an ending they didn't, they never even used when you had and, Cavill yeah. and Gadot in it, and it, it was just, it's just crazy. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dave. Um, Jose is asking me. You drove Dave to puke, and are you happy? I, I'm 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 happy that you you puked. You puked. I'm happy you were in pain. You're muted, Dave. You're muted. Dave. Dave, you're I'm muted. Hear you. This is why you got to wear headphones. Sorry. Yeah. Even Dave is uh, drunk. Already. Hey, so let me ask you, Dave. How, how do you listen to the audio? You just play it through your your speakers. Yeah. He listens to it with his ears, Andre. No, I, I, I didn't know if he was wearing an earbud. Oh my god! Yeah. I didn't know if you were wearing an earbud on the other. No, ear. no, no. <sighs> oh, Axel. I think it, it helps that I'm hosting the thing, so I don't get an echo, and my mic's pretty good. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you're hearing it? Wait, are you hearing it through your mic? No, I'm hearing through my speakers. I have speakers. How can he hear you through his mic? <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Because... Mike's take in sound, they don't put out sound. Yeah. No. You want no, to no, talk no, through your you. speakers? <laughs> yeah, like ah. look at my subwoofer over here. Hey, this has been like the most this has been the most ball busting this did, stream. Did, 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 did it feel good for the fake Persian to correct the per per to explain <laughs> to the Persian? I'm the prince of Persia. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, you don't even have to, you don't even have to fucking write eyebrows for it, bitch. <laughs> I'm like I dude, I'm like Jake Gyllenhaal, dude. I could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm loving, I'm loving the fat, the ball busting that's happened in this stream. So why? So you had put in the Superman Legacy in your title. Don't click, but your viewers. But, oh yeah, well, let's talk about Superman yeah. Legacy. And well, we, well, we, we we talked oh, about the font that James oh, Gunn posted. Oh, that's we, why, posted why is that a big deal though? Why is that a big deal? It's just a font. Wait, are people actually mad at the font? Wait, wait, a a Axel, you if you don't like the font or what? He doesn't like oh, anything. I don't really give a shit about the font. Okay. I, I'm I can do better fonts because I'm actually I can draw better things than James Gunn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Andy. I'm a, yeah, I'm a big Flash fan, except I didn't like the fucking movie because I'm a fan. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, yeah, okay, he, okay. he's okay. got a point, Andy. Oh, he, he 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 got me there. He got me Where's there. Where's my Tom Welling and Grant Gustin drawing? You said you would do it. Oh, I never, no. I never promise shit. You said you put it on the stream. You said on the stream you were gonna do it. You lie, just like James. You said on the stream. <gasps> you said on this God. fucking stream. I will listen. I will go through the vault, not the vods. This is not Twitch. I will go through the live streams. <laughs> Yeah, I'll yeah, go, go through, through the live, live stream. stream. Yeah, I will clip where you said it. Was it Dude. on the one? Uh, wait, which live stream was it? Exactly. Oh, you, yeah, I, I, you, you didn't don't even that. know. I but that's the thing. Everyone's like, like, "Oh, James Gunn's a liar. He's a liar." What is he? What is he lying about? What is he lying about? I mean, he did. I mean, he once. I mean, he once sung the song "I'm Blue." Da ba dee ba. And like, kick him, Dave. Blue. Kick him. Put guy. him in the waiting room. So Dave? let me ask you, Dave. It's gonna be. I, I'm gonna lay this on you. Do you think that okay. James Gunn is a liar? Uh, no, not like when it comes to certain things. Yes, he, he's yeah. a little bit. Probably he fluffs things for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's 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 define it for a second. Like, oh. 
fluff like what, what do you mean with that oh yeah uh like peacemakers you know reception and stuff like that you know just <laughs> stuff like that i mean I wait thought. what did he say about peace oh, 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 like, definitely wants to work with us absolutely not he got yeah, the, the Samba video. TV award of the best show of all time for Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we, when our fandom was trying to justify yeah. Samba TV and it was like, no, it's just high. But then when Peacemaker did it, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, let's go Peacemaker on Samba TV, whatever the fuck that is. It you know what, Samba happens. TV, it, only when it fits the narrative is it a reliable source. <laughs> well, that's the same it's thing like- with Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten yeah. Tomatoes, same way. Oh, I love people, that this year became the year that finally people realized Rotten Tomatoes is pointless, it's useless, and it's corrupted. <laughs> yeah. It's like, just read read some reviews. That's all you got to do. Just read the reviews and actually read the reviews. Yeah. Don't, like, just look at the percentage. But at the same time, it's like, people will, like, use that. If they hate a movie, they'll use a low Rotten Tomato score against it. If they love the movie, they'll use a positive Rotten Tomato score with, you know, like, hey, it's good. Look at this. Yay. You know, it's like people don't know, you know, but we're supposed to like, you know, but I, I like it because I, the only reason why I like it is like to read the actual reviews. That's all. I mean, obviously, I see the percentage, but I like to actually read the actual what what are people's what are the critics right, actually right. saying about it? You know, I bet you didn't read my review for the Marvels. <laughs> Was it on Rotten Tomatoes? No, because I'm brown. I don't get to be on tomatoes. <laughs> well, what was it on? Uh, uh, Letterboxd? There's, of... <laughs> yeah. Letterbox. there's most, it's most, it's a lot of white critics, Dave. Come on. Like, let's, like, I'm uh, not even going to beat right. around the bush. There are people okay. color on there. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. The, the, anybody, yeah, the, the one part. Oh my God, did I scare off the rest of the crew because I dare to say the truth? <laughs> okay. The one thing, Apparently. the one thing about Rotten Tomatoes is it's not just about being, you know, white or whatever. It's just mostly Americans when movies yeah. are watched Work. worldwide. So people from across the world should be on it. And that yeah, doesn't they happen. Should. They should. They should. I mean, but I mean, anybody, like, if you, I, I even, I, I probably could apply and get on that thing, but I don't want to get on it. I don't give a shit. But like, but if I you guess... have, if you have like a platform, if you have something, yeah. you could get on there. Doesn't matter the color of your skin. You should, you should get on there. Dude. Is Every on review it. that you do, we'll, we'll we'll spam it all over Twitter. <laughs> or here's the here's the thought. Read reviews whether whether or not you're a Rotten Tomatoes creator or not. Rotten Tomatoes is just elitist. We don't need it. Why do you? Why do I need to know that you're Rotten Tomatoes approved critic to somehow think that your opinion matters more? Yeah, you don't. Exactly. You don't. So, so exactly, that I can I, I can go watch Dave's review, but even if he's not on the Rotten Tomatoes, I can go read Rebecca's review. But, on yeah, something. but but my review doesn't give a shit either. It's like go see it if you want to see it. Yeah, I mean, no matter what, it's like I mean, obviously, like there's people that I'll like check and see the reviews, but no matter what, I don't care what they say. I'm still gonna go watch whatever. And even like, well, even with my reviews, I don't like. I go like, hey, this is not for me. Maybe it's for this. I mean, even with like the mo- uh, my review for the Marvels, I talked about how my reaction. I said, yeah, there's a crowd like there's like a little group of people over here who were really enjoying it. It wasn't for yeah. me. But these these people were enjoying it. They were laughing at the jokes. They were cheering in certain part, parts, and they clapped at the end of the movie. Me? No. I did none of that. <laughs> you know, so it was like, it wasn't for me. It was for them. You know, so that's the way you got to do it. Are we going to uh, talk about Superman Legacy or what? <laughs> well, 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 Why are you in the multiverse? Actually, we've been talking about it. Apparently, oh, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's apparently, like apparently, Axel's gonna do some DJing right now. <laughs> DJ, what in the hell? No, no, I don't. We don't need. We don't. We don't need Vanilla Ice too. We already have a DJ. He, <laughs> he, he's right over here. It's it's KC. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. retired. Nine yeah. effects. He's already retired. <laughs> he's I've been Axel doesn't even know who Vanilla Ice is. Andy, so. when did you take that picture? Was that like back when the original X Men came out? Like. <laughs> <laughs> X Men Two. I was X-United. eighteen. I have, I was eighteen, and because I have bar dysmorphia, I don't. I, I have self. I have image problems. So um, how are you talking? Let's pause for that. <laughs> we need a I moment. Mean, I mean, look at this picture of him. He's that got, was such a good roast. He's got like a that was my jaw. He, he looks like he's yeah, ready to kick yeah. Some I was, ass. That was Finn. I was. That was my senior photo. So um, you look like a heartthrob. I'm sure the girls were all over you. Andy. Well, I'm into dudes, so uh, and yeah, boys. I, would, um, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I'm not into, boys, into men's. So, 
<laughs> Andre is being racist and I know. I had no idea, so I apologize. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy. Uh, frozen you always fire. were. I always was. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Okay, that's why it's giving me a fucking no, yeah, no. But uh, uh, um, SAG after we're all happy oh. about that. It's all uh, you know, three year deal. It's all good when it comes to that. Uh, Stephen and Mel been back to become becoming irrelevant <laughs> again yeah, yeah. after this strike. <laughs> Stephen and Mel. Stephen and Mel lost his freaking strike, or it's not strike. Yeah. He lost his uh his show, show after all during this. What's up? Andy. Well, well, a lot of them did. Uh, I said show. Was... I, I just corrected you saying show. I didn't say anything out of that. Oh, was it uh, yeah, Barrymore? Yeah. <laughs> you said Drew, something. You lost. Drew Barrymore like lost her Kent. show during all this. Oh yeah, that was yeah, that was a bad that on her. A, but uh, it was funny because, I mean, and I'll I'll totally eat the crow on this. I I was like, I didn't think that since we're in the holiday months, I was like, oh yeah, none of these productions are even going to start up, but they're all just like. Go, 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 fast track, fast track. And I'm like, okay, I was wrong about that. Because but it's, not, yeah. it's not a bad speculation you had, Dave. Honestly, you didn't have a bad it's like it's I know, I know, but I'm just saying I'm admitting that I was wrong. That's all. I because I do I'm just that. saying I'm just saying that you're I'm just saying you're being too hard on yourself. Oh yeah, I do that. I can't even love you now, so whatever. I mean, look at him, he looks depressed <laughs> now. He's just... Is that Ben Shapiro as the fucking Riddler? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Well, Jesus if we're all going to do that, you know. Here, uh, no, but uh, but I, I do. I, it is pretty awesome that the fact that, that a lot of these productions are just going to be like going into it. The Penguin's going to be fast tracked, which, oh, Ooh. God, I, can't, I, I just, you know, obviously can't wait for that. And even though we're only getting what? The Joker when, when it comes to DC, and then of course you know Deadpool when it comes to Marvel. At least we're gonna have the well, Penguin MCU. Show. There's Madame Web and Craven and Venom. That's right. We got that. Yeah, that's right. We got. Uh, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about you either, Axel. I, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, well, I'm saying, why am I the only one on camera here? <laughs> well, I've got, here, I've got go. male. I've got a man version of Ansarnoff. Is that Ansarnoff? <laughs> yeah. As a man. That's man. That's man Sarnoff. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rose Sarnoff. This is one. this is the highlight of the stream. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the best one right there. <laughs> no, it's what crazy that. Oh, when, I got this when... one of Leia and her feet, but no. Oh God. <laughs> when James gonna announce that today, saying how like you know the movie's on track, you know we're gonna stick to our release date. Is people it? People got mad. It, people uh, were like, "Oh God, I can't wait until it flops." They're gonna. He's not gonna make. I mean, pass will it flop? I mean, Andre, it's like, you don't. I mean, Andre, you don't know if it's not going to flop. You just True, but that. what what's going to happen if it does flop, Axel? I don't know. Okay. That, I, 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 so they just start <laughs> over again. They just start over yeah. again. I mean, I don't think, I think so. He's going to take a break. No, no way. They already are taking a break. Involved. They yeah. already have a plan for five years. There's no way they're just just redoing everything. They'll just go on to the Batman they're movie and that would do well. The, the the DC studios in England they're they're making they're investing yeah. so much money into this there's no way that they're gonna have Superman Legacy and go ah oh, I don't like this you're fired everyone's fired no it's not I mean happen. they would they would definitely need that movie to be a huge success not just you know barely meeting profits um, it has to be a huge success but also I think if it also underperforms. I think they'll have to do some course corrections. Maybe Zaslav will get more involved, or you know, hire another person to help them out. Where whatever. You, get all but... these images. <laughs> <laughs> you got Anthony Mack. I'm actually not like a few years ago. Oh no, not a few years ago. Just like oh, I think lost. Hey, uh, Dave, I would like to get my spot back uh, right after you. I know why we move. Well, yeah, I don't oh, want to no, no, be I, next I, to Dave. So no, I, I want to be next to Dave. But... Oh fuck you! I, You're I a I fish boy. Shut up. You You're shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know why I get to be up here because I have visited DC Comics. You have not, Axel. <laughs> I have DC Comics, right? Fuck I man. visited DC Comics. I've been to the fucking offices. You <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Oh, but oh, what do you want? A fucking medal? Oh, I'm glad me. I got another drink. <laughs> How many <laughs> drinks have you had? That's what I got. What, what is that drink? Oh, it's a top Corona. Chico. Oh, uh, uh, Topo Chico. Chico? Uh, how Coco is that? Chico, yeah, it's good. But That's going the... back to Le Superman Legacy, I, okay. I'm tired. Oh, I am so tired. So, so, sorry, I didn't. It's okay. Didn't... No, you should be sorry. It's not. It's not. It's not. What Shut is up. even there to talk about about them? No, no, no. no, no. I want to say that like, I don't. I didn't know. Let's talk about Josh Cartman in Superman pajamas. Uh, Come on. Oh man! <laughs> yes, oh no. god! I don't know why people were like. So people were actually mad that he used that font. 
to announce it. I found that it's been in the comics for like 40, 50 years. You got to realize the people that are mad are the people that are not Zack Snyder fans. They're not DC fans. They're Zack Snyder DC fans. That's no, no, no. they think they're Zack Snyder fans. They think that's, that's what I. That's what I was. That's the same thing what because they're said. not. They're not <laughs> Zack Snyder fans really. because they don't give a shit about the other movies. They only give a shit about the DC stuff. So they're not DC. Oh yeah, the same people who think they're gonna sell with the Netflix. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's like those kind of people. But no, I, I mean, oh, I look stupid because I said, "Oh, sell Marvel uh -oh. to Amazon Prime," which is a good idea. But, but hey, look at. <laughs> oh my that god! This is a so version. It looks yeah. so bad. Like, like, Brandon Routh looks way better in his Kingdom Comes Through than this. Look how yeah. skinny he was, God. Yeah, god. but this is like a. Oh, no, I mean, no, he no, would. No, this was a. Oh my god! This, it's this, not this, a final suit. He no. would probably, yeah, you know, he was going to He was going to pull up. His head looks so big. Jesus Christ. I mean, He's I just want to punch him in the face. Like, this is not someone I would look at Superman. Well, this looks that's like, why he didn't like get the role. So. This looks like a frat boy. <laughs> Superman. Andre is just in full <laughs> roast mode today. He, he didn't get the role. And it's I, like, I like, I like, well. I, I, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, yeah, fly by never What is the material though. like oh, made out of? I don't know, velvet. I think that's spandex. Uh, like, like, like old school spandex. Hmm. It's velvet. It's velvet. Isn't it? I actually feel bad for Josh Hartnett. Imagine his people were like, "Hey, dude, look, this, this picture just surfaced of you dressed as Superman." He's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, well, he's all bad people can leak that. Some people just stopped leaking things. So. Yeah, I don't even know where it came from. I don't even know where this came and, from. And, and the, no shit, Axel. No shit. What's the talking, Andy? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know what? I'm a panelist on this show, so I get to fucking speak. If you yeah, I'm to... a panelist too. Why the fuck do you think I'm? Yeah, you were speaking to all of us. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking to all. No, I'm fuck your you. mother did not raise you right. Oh, <laughs> okay, fuck you. don't talk about my mother like that. Here we go. I'm bringing your mother. She's mother. in her fifties. Sure, sure. My talk about my mother. She's Muslim. I'm sure there's tons of jokes you can make about that. Uh -huh. Oh, oh damn. okay. We don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Holy crap! I don't know. I just saw this on my timeline. Look, I just saw this on my timeline oh, because no. oh, no. yeah, Timothy Chalamet was uh, I'm hosting so Saturday Night Live, and apparently he played uh, Martin Scorsese. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty what funny. Fuck. I, I'm kind of wondering what the sketch was, but yeah, apparently he's uh, definitely going to be the lead in his next movie, right? Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, the next Martin Scorsese movie is going to star T Timothy Chalamet. Okay, so stop also, casting him as Robin. Please. I know, please. <laughs> I mean, he no looks also. like. I mean, in the in the Gotham Knights game, like the, one of the skins for Robin, he looks like, looks like him. him. I don't <laughs> care. I was really trying to make a I also, who has seen? <laughs> oh my god! Who thinks he Robin? looks like him? Should play him. We, who I never said that. Him these days. <laughs> I, I never said that. God damn it! I, I, I you just sound like one of them. Loki, you sound like you know. Who has seen the killers? The killer. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. It. I haven't seen it's it. It's so good. Okay, I good. It. I mean, it's a David. <laughs> Casey, you're Casey David you're Fincher, so. Okay, Casey, you're good. So good. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of like a hitman movie, but not exactly like that, but inspired by that. Yeah. Okay. Hitman I mean, that's what he is. He's a he's a hitman, right? Is he bold? Yep. <laughs> what? No, he's not. Oh, okay. Actually, I swear you just your like your attempt at stand up comedy is getting oh. like it's becoming. <laughs> he's he's the game. Have he's you played the game? He's referring to the game. He's referring to the hitman. Referring to the game. game. You ever played the game? Or oh, you're too violent for you. you did. I played <laughs> fucking Valorant and Counter Strike, boy. Valorant <laughs> is just a rip off of Overwatch. <laughs> just All right. get out. No, get out. I play Counter Strike no. and Valorant, like and don't like. I play violent games. Oh, I love violent games. <laughs> I'm I'm sure you, your mother doesn't la let you. <laughs> you have to bring everyone's mother into this, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, your mama. <laughs> your mama. Oh, man. 
This has been intense. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why. You know what? You know why I think I'm. You know what? You know I think I'm so aggressive. We've hit rock bottom at this point. You know what? Axel, Axel. Okay, just so that so that people don't think we're actually having a war. Axel, I'm aggressive towards everyone because I'm not mad. I'm fucking. Well, mostly me, but like most of you. But it's like again, I'm 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 angry because he's a bully. Oh my god. I'm angry. I thought Andre was a bully. This is the equivalent of the cat scene in. The Marvels. <laughs> Flurkin still. The Axel, Flurkins. I'm mad. I'm mad because the hospital let me won't let me see my dad, and it's it's starting to get to me. So, uh, my me taking out my anger on you was I don't know why it happened, but I'm just like I'm hormonal. Why did it hormonal. have to be me? I don't know. There's just something with <laughs> your energy, energy up like he does. Well, like, why I eat bacon? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can like you can eat. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not one of those vegetarians who's like you know. Like, oh, Joking. God, you're I... killing animals. Oh like, you, just stop eating with forks. I just like just like if you bake it. Well, with I it. don't want to get my fingers dirty. Well, put on. <sighs> I'm not putting on fucking gloves. I'm not. How do you eat? Gloves. How do you eat pizza? How do you oh, eat with pizza? My hands. But I don't, okay, but, so oh, he eats pizza with his head, but he can't do it to be. Oh, I can't do this bullet. I can hold it on the bottom of the crust. Oh, shit. <laughs> but that's greasy, too. No, it's uh, uh, some it depends. <laughs> it depends. How the fuck did we get on The this? sexual <laughs> tension <laughs> between the two. <laughs> <It's> too much. <laughs> you can cut with a knife. Too much. much. I don't want him. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I don't want him. Okay, you do. Kiss. No, I'm fuck no, he's a fuck. teenager. I don't want him. <laughs> yeah, he's too old for me. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, you're a fucking you're a fucking child. Fuck you, I'm not a child. I'm 19. I'm not, yeah, like 19. You know what you just built teen? Teenager. Oh yeah, good, good Yeah, point. but he's turning 20 in like a month, so yeah, when Rebel Moon comes out. Fuck yeah, you. we're gonna yeah. celebrate. Hell yeah. He's Rebel able Moon. to be not teenager anymore, I guess. Yeah. I, 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 I you can already drink. You can already drink where you live. Yeah, oh, really? Drink. You can drink at twenty? No, no, you can uh, drink at can eighteen. Drink. No, we drink. Oh, well, I mean, I dr I started drinking at the cemetery until like. Well, yeah, but you're legal. Oh, you're such legal. a rebel. Don't, uh, don't advertise that here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I had my first drink that was a. Yeah, so yeah. I had my first. Little did you know. <laughs> no, what when I was, when I was you, wasn't Ziva Fett like drink driving on one, on one of your streams once? I don't know. I'm not. A, did I, you? I don't no, speak no, no, no. I don't. No, why did Ryan, Ryan, I don't. Speak oh my him. god, He's people. Okay. Fuck. I remember that stream. That so the Australian fun. police are gonna go through Dave's stream and be like, which stream did he drink on when he was 17? Uh, and then no, and I didn't, no, I, no. I only started coming on this stream like uh, <laughs> this year, not like yeah. He was. Yeah. He's been 19 the whole time. Yeah. Oh my god. I got a, I got a heart attack almost. <laughs> as long as we've known him, he's been 19. <laughs> he's, been long, he's been 19 years for three years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mentioned it. It has been about four years. What the hell's going on? <laughs> he's been 19 years for four years. Yeah. He was yeah. born on he's the not real. He, He's just the AI. I don't exist. <laughs> just like the Snyder Cut, I don't exist. <laughs> It's, it's just an AI. animation that we haven't figured out yet. I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an AI. Yeah, you're not a real boy. You're like He's Pinocchio. in Australia, so we can't get to him. Fucking Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, you're Pinocchio. Like, yeah. Just like oh, the right wait, angel. Wait, I'm a, I'm wait, an Dave, AI. Dave, 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 Dave. I have, a, I have a riddle for you. I have a riddle for you. Okay. Oh, God. If, 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 if Pinocchio says that his nose is going to grow oh my God. Is, when he lies, is that a lie? Or is he telling the truth? Oh yeah, I've heard this one. Oh, I, I don't that's remember the one. Is isn't that concerning? No, yeah, that is a little. Is he like James right Gunn and he lies? Can you shut the fuck? What has he <laughs> lied about? <laughs> he lied about everything. About everything. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of, he doesn't I'm really so run DC this. Studios. It's all a lie. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't ever want to make a Superman. But it makes it's Superman. David Zaslav who runs everything. Why, gonna, like, why do you hate James Gunn so Snyder much, Axel? Axel? Why do you hate James Gunn so much, Axel? I don't like James Gunn. I'm just not a fan of him. <laughs> Wait, I, didn't, I, I heard him just like... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Wait, say that. <laughs> yeah, because your ears go so fucking quickly. <laughs> How about listen for once? <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Talk slowly. <laughs> Enunciate the word. I words. am just not a fan of James Gunn. <laughs> okay, so you're so when you're saying he's lying, you're you're being biased. I'm not being biased. I just am I not allowed to be a fan of something? 
Yeah, but that's fine, but to accuse him of lies, I think that's I mean, a little bit lie. extreme. About... <laughs> Dave, where can we find you on social media and all your other stuff? We're not ending, <laughs> we're not ending the stream. We're, not, we're never ending the stream. I know, right? I we lied about Gagado working just... with... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, working with Gagado, Affleck, working, working with Ben Affleck. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah I mean, him. yeah, there's always going to be things there. I mean... Nobody in Hollywood is truthful all the no time. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, because with AI, we movie. can now do any. With AI, we can now bring people back. Yeah. Axel's AI. He haven't figured that one out yeah. yet. Yeah, I am yeah. AI. I... <laughs> <laughs> that was so perfect. That was good. I thought you glitched. I really I thought, thought you glitched. glitched I, I thought you did too, but he kept blinking, and that gave yeah. it away. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I kind of don't blink. But that was because pretty I good. I was so in love with his own uh, eyes. He uh, has to blink uh, all the time. Union Army. Or, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but God bless the SAG actor strike is over. People going back to work. Yes. Um, respect unions. Stand with your unions. You know, oh, now fuck just. The unions. Go yeah, fuck, fuck those. Them. What are you talking about? <laughs> just get back to work. <laughs> yeah. If they get paid what they deserve. Write some probably. better shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Christina Hodgson. Have you seen uh, the book of Bubba Fett? It's garbage. I will oh, see, have you seen oh, 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 Obi One was the biggest. Jordan said, Jordan no, no, said no, 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 Why no, are you no, pointing no, out no, only no, the bad ones, though? You can. Andor was great. Andor was great. You guys hated on that show too much. But Jordan told me, Jordan told me I need to watch. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking Star Wars thing. I'm sorry to go off, but like Jordan told me I didn't need. Jordan said I didn't need to watch Book of Boba Fett. Chainsaw. You, said, you don't need to watch that show. It's it's yeah. it's uh, yeah. No, because if I get, if I get all my Star Wars, if I need to ask about Star Wars, I always go to Chainsaw. And he said you don't need to watch Boba Fett. I'm like cool. <laughs> End <laughs> of discussion. <laughs> yeah, doesn't. But I love Obi Wan. I love it. Uh, this Christmas. You don't even have money. How the fuck are you going to buy a house? I do have fucking money. I have a job, motherfucker. You, what do you, you have? You have a job? <laughs> yeah, I have a job. Yeah, where do you work? At the, it, it's yeah, like what do you work, work at? A, uh, I work at, at a, a subway? Store. Oh, a grocery store. A grocery yeah, store. I, yeah. I'm not saying which place because... Yeah. Nobody wants. To, nobody cares enough about yeah, you. They're okay. going to want to know where you're going to go to. I'm, I'm actually kind of Australia. curious. What is it called? What is it called? What is the grocery store called? Um, Say it. I played the fifth. Um, oh, that's not how yeah. it works. Uh, oh, I don't give a shit. I'm no one's going here. to Australia to go find you at work. So well, yeah, I've nobody's wasting Andy money on. The of, it seems like the yeah, type of park, the I would not, would not sweetie. I would not fly over to Australia. Don't call me sweetie. sweetie. <laughs> the fuck. Don't that's like Casey sweet. telling us, I uh, work at a grocery store. Uh, which one? I, I'm going to go find it right <laughs> Axel, now. Axel, I would rather spend money on a plane ticket to see KC than to see you, okay? <laughs> yeah, and I'm, 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 I'm uh, yeah, same here. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> just going to call my answer? <laughs> just copying answers now? Is that what you do? Is that what you did in high school to, to Andy, graduate? Andy, are you in the U.S. or are you no, uh, I don't. A, uh, don't dox me. Oh, yeah, see, plead the fifth. <laughs> Right, there we go. <laughs> like, 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 I don't want to be doxxed. I don't want to. I live in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing. Conduct. I'm doing. I'm doing the, tri the 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 triangle symbol right now in the sky. <laughs> Black Adam, save me. <laughs> and we have to ride my skateboard again. That was the worst fucking character. Holy shit! Yeah. The moment they did that, all the people, I was I like, oh, that was the one. Good. That, that was yeah. that was. Like, I didn't understand if that was supposed to be like something religious or something just for the people. That's what my. So that was like, horrible. I, that was Illuminati. I showed, my, I, I showed it to my mom. I'm like, what, mom? Yes, mom, does mom, does that have to do with Islam? She's like, uh, no, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> I that's a, that's a great you. image right there. Oh, so yeah, that's you, huh? That. That's, that's me you. as Kamala. Yeah, Kamala <laughs> She's never looked better. You want to switch with? Hey, don't you, don't you come for Iman like that? What? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, not not you, Axel. For what? It was not about you. Oh, okay, good. You know, some of these scenes in these movies is kind of like, what were they thinking? Like, when did they watch that and go, "Yeah, I like it. That works." Yeah, you the know? falling babies, dude. This so, is gonna be fucking. Epic. Or like, it's also know, kind of it's also kind of weird scene? that they. Did so many flashbacks from the Disney Plus shows because they know that the general audience don't watch yeah, those. I know. You probably didn't see this, so let, let's uh, clue you in. 
Yeah, they yeah. had to like they had to do like a, a previously good on. exposition dump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like but small when it came so to Monica, fun. it was like Monica, like how'd you get your powers? Oh well, you know there was a hex when it came to. Well, it. Well, did, did anybody watch? Well, well, anybody well, watch well, one of those? That's true. They totally <laughs> did that. They're like, in case you missed it. Miss Marvel's um, opening, you know, sequence was cool because they kept that in the style yeah. of. Uh, oh, you know the show, show. Yeah. 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 The show yeah. yeah i thought that, that was show. great too that's what i liked about the show it's like that unique style that the yeah that the two batgirl directors <laughs> created uh, <laughs> why are you laughing know. why are you laughing oh my at god them? that's right they're the ones who created that yeah they yeah. They, they started off the miss marvel show which i was like god damn okay and they did bad boys yeah season two Balil, happens Balil, they are gonna be bad oh something arby's or something i don't know Oh, Bilal, Bilal, and Adele. Arby's, yeah, something like Arby's. One of the, one of them. Okay, so... thank you, Axel. Now I'm hungry for Arby's, man. Oh, Arby's geez, sounds good. Who the fuck is yeah. Arby's? <sighs> What's because Arby's? You keep talking about that. Arby's. Okay, so Arby's. Yeah, because I brought it up. Okay, so up. when it when it comes to a restaurant, they make these delicious uh roast beef sandwiches, uh Damn. like fast food. Right here, let me. I'm wow. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks. Arby's like. is some good shit. If I get, yeah, you know, uh, I yeah. went to this uh, restaurant. We don't have that here. I know, I figured yeah. you didn't. On but... the subject of those directors, yeah. Bilal Fala, oh my god, that, that man. I Do know, they right? have yeah. chains um, in, in India, Casey, or is it just all like, yeah, like, they do, but I don't like think RV is that popular. <laughs> there we go. This is the shot right I a, here. I got a lot of cat videos on my Instagram, but I don't know why. Nobody asked, I hey. asked. <laughs> Oh, so you're talking to God yourself now? Wow, that's not crazy. I'm gonna be hungry now, but yeah, there's your there's your Arby's right Ooh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my look God! Oh, right there. Whoa, look at these sandwiches. sandwiches. Oh, and they're juicy and they're warm. Oh, that's so Dude, good. I need to get my lotion. Hold up. Oh, big coke. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what we're talking about right that's there. Not, that's yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, even get exactly anything exactly. similar to that here. You don't? Oh, I, so. I can't go no. over there. Like, we have fried fried chicken burgers, and we have um, the ones with patty, but not like that. Dude, yeah, they're actual, are they actual restaurants, or do they cook them right there on the sidewalk on the little grill? <laughs> no, I mean, you have both. You have the uh, McDonald's, KFC, and all of that, Burger oh, King, Mac stuff we call like it that. Mac but... Yeah, they call it Maccas. Yeah, it's Maccas. Fucking Maccas can't. Yeah, we. I mean, we got a cat. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else we have? We got <laughs> a long time ago. So I why is he? Why is why is Akko still talking? Why are you still talking? Why is your camera still on? You still yeah, because you, you because you all turned off your camera up when I said something you all clearly didn't like. So I was like, yeah, yeah and, our, and our cameras besides. Uh, well, case, uh, 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 you know what's God crazy? Damn it, I want an Arby's right now. I know. You know, what's I want to watch that. I don't have the menu yeah. up on my screen. I'm like looking at it. My mouth's I mean, like, uh, I, mean, I did bring a pizza here. So, like, um, yeah. how do you always day. have pizza? What pizza I place is that? Because he's Dumbers. 19 years old and he can eat it. Uh, you want to see like a cool ad I know. But eventually, they have Domino's in Australia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, um, they, they have um, Domino's here too. I don't like Don yeah. as much. Dave, put me full screen. Okay. Oh, God. You guys want to see me as Kamala? What is this? How, how, how about yeah, Andre, do not call this a fucking porn video. I swear to fucking God. Okay, I swear to God, if you put. Okay. So this is like. Uh, I don't understand. Copyrighted, 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 the copyrighted, last copyrighted, one. copyrighted, 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 copyrighted. Okay, so she's looking at her phone. That was a cool shot. I like that. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty cool. Huh? Is that a bottle of lube? What is that? Yeah, I know. No. It looks like it. Oh, fuck off. What is this from? Who's is the girl? Is that you like your sister? I can't read the text. No, not my sister. That's a friend. I can't see the text. Oh my god, what does it say, Axel? It said knock knock. Knock knock. Oh, okay. Oh, it's is gonna be a horror. Is this it's your horror. film? No, I, don't, I don't. I don't believe you, Axel. I think you're lying. Is this Red Robin? Am I James Gunn? No. <laughs> he hasn't even <laughs> lied. <laughs> he has. What is this? It's a. I feel like I'm watching God. someone's everyday life. Is this something? Why are you watching this? Yeah, I made this. It's in my, that's okay. My good. Right it's good. Oh, okay. I like it. I'm, I'm okay. I'm digging this. Is she Australian? Bit. Of course. <laughs> I actually, I don't watch anything else. Andy's being uh, Andre is being full racist today. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe you mixed me up with you... fake Persian. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, is this a, oh, this is a actual commercial. Yeah, you filmed this though. No. Yes, or is this an actor no, he didn't. in Australia? I, I feel like he taped this off of his television. <laughs> no, yeah. this is mine. <laughs> so you yeah. act bullshit. 
No <laughs> way. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? You got Darth Vader showing. <laughs> yeah, was it really worth? Was, was, was it really, wor- yeah. was it really okay, worth? That, that's that you, money. right? That's you and yeah, okay. I don't get the point of it though. It's like oh, okay, it's a Halloween. Oh, okay, I get it. But what does Darth Vader have to do with Halloween? What kind of pizza? Uh, is that? It's you dress up. up. It's a scary character, and um, it's the only mask we had. <laughs> I shaved my balls for this. Oh, oh my god. Okay. So you did that game. commercial. You did that commercial? Yeah, I did that commercial. That was really good. Bullshit. That was good. That was I did. What am I? James Gunn. like bullshit. Oh my god. What am I? Really? What am I? James Gunn? What am I? James Gunn? Really hey, 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 you guys, he's full of shit. I just found that video on YouTube. No. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Like, out. He's like, damn it! Axel, receive the damn half. Where's the receipt? Where's your fucking receipt? You blew my Axel? cover! You blew my cover! Where's your receipt, Axel? For, for what do you mean, where's my receipts? Yeah, I want to see your credits. I don't believe that you made a cover. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. Are you ever gonna fucking. Why are you looking so fast? Me. I'm gonna find that video right now, and I'm gonna expose him. <laughs> Are you gonna expose me? What am I? Australian. Exactly. Yeah. For once, I actually agree with Jose in the in the chat. Prove it. Prove it. That was my kitchen downstairs. It my was. kitchen downstairs. We never seen it. Prove it. Go there right now. Paranormal if that, activity. If that, this if shit. that trail, if that trail, if that mar- if that commercial doesn't say directed by Axel Droga, then I don't believe you. <laughs> oh my god, that's my Darth Vader helmet. He did okay. show that the other day. That was yeah, was that yeah, you yeah, standing yeah, there? Oh, the yeah. other day when we weren't here. How oh convenient! Well, yeah, and you, you, yeah, he just you, shot you that right now. <laughs> 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 but, uh, okay, Axel, what was the point of it though? Like, it's just a Halloween. Oh, it's, commercial? Oh, it's for an assignment. Okay, okay. I was wondering. I was, I was like, nice. what made you film that in particular? Oh no, no wait, this is just for like an assignment for like uni and shit. Okay, That's like all nice. of a sudden Dave having like a stream dedicated mm. to like Little Caesars. <laughs> I was just like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, where's, the, where's the old James Gunn image? Dude, Dave, if, if you, you got sponsored by Little Caesars, that'd be the shit. That'd be Stop awesome. Stop going after James Gunn. Stop I going like after James Gunn all the time. What, like James Gunn? What, like James Gunn? I would what, love like any Gunn? sponsor, really. Imagine if you got a sponsor <laughs> where they gave you free food. I would <laughs> that is be so... in love with it. He, that's so creative of you. Oh my that's god! What, that's what James I, Gunn's gonna look like after Superman comes out because he's so stressed. <laughs> that's his, his hair legacy. already turned white. His hair already turned white. Now it's gonna fall out. But James Gunn needs to stay away from social media when he starts filming. For fuck's sake! No. Oh he, yeah. No. 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 He, okay. He needs to stay away when it comes to posting. He needs to post some shit though. He needs to hype. That, that's the thing. James Gunn really needs to hype up the movie. You so really post. Post behind the scenes stuff. If he whatever he can post, post it. And that's not going to be spoilery. Post some cool shit. Yeah. Post, it's gonna post, look okay, okay. post post David Corn Sweat dancing in the Superman costume. Working no, working in working in the yeah. Superman costume. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, we get. Um, no, but why like, why are you so confused? Well, because everybody turned the cameras off again. Uh, well, they made me feel bad. Looking, I'm, 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 David I'm just, I'm just that looking I at your, your little icon assholes, you know? So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, I have something to say about David Corn Syrup that I will not say on stream. Can anyway, you stop no. saying cor- Say his name correctly, Axel. Why? Show the respect. Like him. Yeah. I'm going to rule with respect. Henry I'm Cavill told him not to say it right. You know, that's why. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, he hired me. He was like, "Yeah." Excellent. I'm not gonna right. lie, Dave. I, I really thought you were gonna be impressed by my profile picture. The what? I really thought you were gonna be. Is that Nicotina my... in your profile picture, or is that you? <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I paid your laundry. No, I thought you yeah. were. I, I thought you were really like that, Dave. What? Oh no, no. My picture. What picture? The one I have right now, stream. Yeah. That is me. At, not, in the, I can barely in the tell it to you, dude. I can barely tell it. And even the last picture, I, I can barely tell it to you because it was so old. <laughs> yeah, old, like Michael Keaton. Oh, there he is. That's pretty. Cool. Oh my god! Wait, what the hell's wrong? Are with you the standing wife? beside oh, Jeff Johns right there? <laughs> it was the rock <laughs> right like, on the corner. Oh, no, 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 the only who did I meet that day? Uh, the security guard who told you to leave. <laughs> no, I was invited. Get out! <laughs> no, I was invited. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah it's cool. <laughs> I think. I don't know. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Yeah. I'm just going to start DMing with Casey about the Marvels. You guys don't even like <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marvels. 
He's like, Casey, tell me the cat scene. It was just amazing. They're not cats. They're flurkins. Whatever the they fuck were CGI they cats. Jesus Christ. Ugh. God, that was such They're a like. Dumb. So uh, we're really hurting cats. Yeah. I was like, Ugh. you know what? They, all they had to do was remove all the space station scenes. All the Nick Fury didn't need Nick Fury in there. They were if they removed that and then uh, flushed out all the you know the three mains, would have been perfect. Yeah. And somehow if they could, I mean, obviously I, I like Kamala's family. <laughs> but somehow they had to like have them in there, and I didn't. I mean, I like that they were there at the the space station because it added to it and it actually made it tolerable a little bit. But if they <laughs> just if they just uh if they just like had them in a you know just still a, on Earth. I guess you could say it's like and 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 doing whatever they could have just eliminated everything in that space station scene scene for me like that whole thing and then fleshed out some more of the scenes when it came to the three of them. Yeah, I could I I would have been like, all right, there's a good movie right there. I, I would have probably I would have definitely enjoyed it more. But that that the whole everything in the space station I did not like at all. Did this really? director um, write or direct any? Uh, you know, comic book movie before, but no. Naya Costa. Yeah, no, she only she did Candyman last time. She did the Candyman movie. No, she's never done a comic book movie. Mm. No, no. But again, I I I I predict in like in like five, five years, years in like five years she's gonna say like, oh yeah, that was my well, that wasn't my definitive cut. <laughs> just like David Ayer, <laughs> you know, he oh, played oh, he okay. played ball. David Ayer played ball. He's all, this is my cut. And then now he's like, nope, yeah, that wasn't yeah. my fucking cut. Well, you know, like Paul Feig, she's, just, remember? she's just playing ball right now. There's no way yeah. that this is her actual, like, definitive cut. There's no I way. I mean, she oh, has okay. been saying, she has been saying that she lost control over the movie a long yeah. time ago in the yeah. interviews and stuff. So. It got pushed four times. The release date got pushed four times. It was supposed yeah. to be a year and a half that she was going to work on this. It went over three years that she was working on this. Also, Marvel d doesn't let the you know each director shoot the action. They have their own action unit for every movie and stuff. So this movie was mostly just action. Yeah. So they were doing the you know the entire job. So she should have done more of the you know character work, like you said, and that would definitely help because literally they touched on the things that we wanted to see and just didn't dive deep into it. Yeah. So that's the thing. But I think the whole, yeah, if the whole Nick Fury space station thing wasn't a part of it, it would have helped it big time because I thought hey, that can I, can I ask a constructive question? They would out okay. us filling up in each other's, you know, whatever. Um, take out Nick Fury, <laughs> take out the space station stuff. What would you put there instead? Something I would better. put more, I would put more scenes with the freaking three leads yeah. and flesh that shit out. Like, put more of the it. family too. Put more of her of Kamala's family as well. That's, you know what? That is that is I like that. That's fair. Yeah. One thing it one thing they could have done. Dave. One thing they could have done is, you know, like Dave said, um, Miss Marvel could have, you know, got pissed off at Captain Marvel after the second, you know, the annihilator stuff happened. Oh, yeah. When that happened, she she could have gotten pissed at her and you know, then later she could have come around. So that could have been a part of her arc as well. Part of the arc too, yeah. 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 So there you go. I think that's a good way to wrap up the stream tonight. Yeah. Right there. So as you know. Uh, Again, not a perfect movie. A, it's not a perfect a, movie. It's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. Yeah. And I'm about to have a seizure looking at actual. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, actual, actual. Dude, what the your the camera can't even handle it. <laughs> All kinds of waves in the camera. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. like, what's I happening? Had look, <laughs> I, had look, I had to really look for Casey's profile just to see him about the voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go around the horn and uh, promote ourselves. And I appreciate you guys. And, of course, uh, Scott also appreciates Scott for uh, giving some time tonight, too. But uh, let's go around. And like Andy, go way first. Way around, around, yeah, go on. <laughs> you want to actually you go first? Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. All right, so you can find me. What? Okay, so you can find me at. Um... <laughs> you can... <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't know. Andre sent me a message. I don't know. I'm not gonna read it. Like, but like, oh wow, I was Andre would say me a message, but okay. He sent me one as well. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Oh shit! I got. I just got a message from Zach. He just. I got <laughs> you wish. Actually, yeah, you, actually, I bet you wish you were invited to the Flash uh, fan screening. Uh, anyway, it's, it's so, restored. You know, honestly, I, w- I wish I was. Is that why you yeah. hate the movie? No, I, I don't hate the movie. I'm disappointed. I, I like it. So. I don't love it, though. Oh, oh my God. Okay. okay. So the problem with The Last Jedi. Okay, so wait. Okay. My, <sighs> you can find me at uh, Droga52 on YouTube. I'm thinking of starting my own, my uh, a new series called Across the I Stars. I should change your handle. Can you shut the fuck up while I speak? Um, you, you, you should be your co-host. No, yeah. I will no. But actually, no you, that just change, would... you just change your handle on Twitter. So say the right one. Oh, okay. Well, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get. Wait, let me change uh, the hashtag. So, um, fuck. Mom, hat, yeah. kind of... I was just trying to help you, but fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Uh, wait, no. Um. So you finally the... got there. Yeah, we oh. finally got there. So oh, love is finally. blooming. Okay, so you can find me at Droga. I am th- thinking of starting my new show called Across the Stars, where we talk about my new. Star Wars and DC mix story called Infinity Warfare, which I've been taught, which I've been posting a lot of art lately. I'm up to my Empire Strikes Back version of that, and yeah, hopefully someone like will be on my stream and like you know I asked Andre earlier and he was like, no, fuck that, I don't like Australia. Yeah, I don't but, stream with Axel anymore. Yeah, fuck you. Too. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Only Dave <laughs> streams with him. Yeah, it, it, it's because Dave is a real. Guy. There it is. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a top G. He's a real what? <laughs> top wow. G. You did not yeah. just quote that man, Axel. What? <laughs> a top G. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. We could, we say that in Australia all the time. <laughs> no, Jose, we're not gonna kiss. <laughs> I don't kiss. I don't. Kiss, I don't. I don't kiss children. Oh, well, I hope so. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> All right, continue. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you can find me on yeah. Droga52 on you. You can find me on Twitter via actual R Droga. Sometimes I will. Actually, I never. Oh, uh, wait. wait. Andre, when are you streaming? Uh, I don't give a <sighs> um, You can find me. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay, hell. This is one hell of a stream. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, All right, pretty Andy, funny. Andy, you want to. And you want to go next? No, I'm going last. I'm going to be scared. okay. You're going to go last. All right, Andre. Uh, you can find me at the Nicotina Show on YouTube. I'm dropping a, a video tomorrow morning. Uh, it's going to be a character breakdown of all the characters, all the main characters uh, in Rebel Moon, and that I'll be dropping tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to release my Captain Marvel. I mean, the the Marvels review the Marvels. because the, the the sound it sounds terrible. But mm-hmm. it's I already edited the video, so I think I'm just gonna release it. And I'll, I, I can tell you, I can show you what it sounds like. It sounds like this. Like, let me see, audio. Let's see. This is. It sounds like this. Holy Some shit! Way. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Well, just. But just, anyway. Just, uh, just, oh my god! This wasn't just bring, just just bring right down the up. audio. Just bring down the audio a little bit. And yeah. Like, so right I, 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 that's why I, I did. I brought the audio down, and then I I, yeah. I amped up the music a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there you go. Just do that. Just for dad. Just fuck it. Don't yeah, if, you know, if you don't want to re re record it and edit it, then don't do it. Because then like when I have to re record it, then I just feel like it's really fake. You know what I mean? That I have to reenact it. Yeah. I kinda have to read okay. Well, you know, not, like, 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 not necessarily. Yeah. Not necessarily. I've I have i have had I've done that before too, but I, I I the way I look at it is like, all right, that was take one. Yeah. So then you do take two, and then sometimes you might even come up with something even better. Mm-hmm. So you could look at it like that too. I've done that before. I did that with a recent video where I didn't even hit record. I was like, <laughs> shit. Oh. So you did the so whole like, thing. You're like, oh. yeah, I didn't. Even hit the movie and so I, I was like, like so so instead, I was just like, I was like, all right, that was just like a rehearsal kind of thing. So let's do it again. You know. So you could look at it like that. You don't. You know. Just look at it like that if you if you want to re-record it. You know? Right. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. And, like I said, I have a new video dropping tomorrow morning. It's about Rebel Moon. Uh, so, definitely check that out. I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. There you go. Okay. AC. 
Do not find me anywhere. <laughs> all right, we go. He's all leave me alone. Find us, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, you can find me at Krypton Caged on X and Insta. <laughs> <laughs> that's it all right <laughs> what the hell is that jesus christ nobody right. can see your photos yeah they're too bright it, it does yeah too I mean, bright. Really... unlike andy's future what no, oh i don't even yeah, yeah andy are you there andy well, no, there he is Shit. what now that now that i didn't say anything uh, so Dave, where can we find? Oh, wait, no, it's yeah, yeah, Andy, oh. you, you're it's your turn now. You just leave my fucking hand on follow me there. All right, <laughs> if I please, exactly. Let me say please. <laughs> Don't call me light for dinner. That's all. <laughs> all right, then. God, this is the type all of right, guys. Uh... <laughs> They're definitely fucking right. Um, all right, excuse all me. right, guys. Smash that like button up. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Andy. Thank you to An Andre. Thank you to Axel. Thank you to Casey. Thank You're you to welcome. Scott for joining. And uh, thank you everybody who watched. And we it's will. You know, what? Shh. Phil. Phil. Also, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate that. Sorry, I forgot that Phil was here too. Yes. And uh, you know, yeah. Too many, too many seltzers. All right, guys. Uh, thank you to everybody who joined, and thank you to everybody who watched. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow on DC Fanimated, and then of course uh, Film Junkie Life Monday. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>